Okay, I'm on my journey to become the world's best manager, and our career is really starting to take off. But really quick, let's go back to the beginning. I started my career as an assistant coach for Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United, where we won two Premier League titles and one Champions League. I then left to start my own manager career at Inter Miami in the MLS, where we won the treble with Lionel Messi, who we got along with very well. I then set my sights for Europe, more specifically Belgium. Coaching Anderlecht, we led them to the Belgium Domestic Cup trophy and also the Jupiler Pro League title. And now we must pick our next team to manage manage the next challenge for us in our career so drop a like if you want daily episodes of this series and let's get into it so uh yeah this is my new house yep we bought a house and we're already all moved in and settled including fergie our dog he absolutely loves this house but you're probably wondering how did we get here and where even are we well let's see now after our season was over with underlect there were a lot of reports saying numerous teams are interested in hiring us as their new manager after our success at underlect we were very coveted and we spoke to some close friends david beckham our former boss at Inter Miami said that we should go to England and then our other former boss Eric Ten Hag says that Ajax in the Netherlands is the right choice and after weeks and weeks of thinking we finally made our decision and that decision was to become Ajax's new manager. We are going to the Netherlands. The Eredivisie is our next stop in this journeyman series. And this is about to be insane. So soon after that, we arrived at Ajax headquarters, walked through the doors for the very first time. We met everyone who worked for Ajax, the medical staff that cooks, and also their director of football, Sven Mislintat, who of course welcomed us to Ajax, welcomed us to the team. Then we held our introductory press conference. And we say this club has such rich history in world football. We could not be happier to be joining Ajax. We will make the fans proud and take Ajax to a completely new level. So officially our new team is gonna be Ajax and I am so excited. Now we went from the MLS to Belgium to the Jupiler Pro League. I feel like to the Eredivisie, it's a perfect leap from Belgium and we have a chance to do something special here. Bring back that Ajax magic they had a couple years ago. Now this team has pretty much been gutted recently and they're going through a very big rebuild that we are now in control of basically. They've entrusted us the rebuild. They've lost players like Kudas to AC Milan and we may lose even more potential players. It's kind of just the Ajax way. Now our three best players in this team are gonna be Keeper, Drawn Animal Ruli, 82 overall, I feel like it's a very decent keeper for this league, and not too old. Next is Steven Bergwijn. Now, he's an interesting one. He made a move to Tottenham in the Premier League and then came back to the Netherlands to play for Ajax. And he's still relatively young, so his future is unsure. And now, Edson Alvarez from Mexico. Now, he's, of course, our best midfielder. The issue is, so, transfer window's open, and he is one of the most highly coveted CDMs in the market right now, so there's a very good chance he's on his way out. So, for us to make this team, not only the best team in the Netherlands, to take them to the next level, even in Europe, it's gonna take a lot of work. Now, first comment, maybe you can reunite all the young to reach their potential at Ajax. Players like Jorgensen, Ramirez, Nikosi, Tarek, Anderson, and Verskaren. Yeah, so we do have some plans for maybe some reunions with our former players, but only if it makes sense. And also if it's uh, within our budget here at Ajax. You can sign the goalkeeper you discovered at May United at your next club. Yeah, so we're talking about Cody Anderson at Manchester United. Now he's 76 overall, so I bet he's still the backup to Costa, and I don't think he's really that close to any starting spot there. We do have Ruli as our starting keeper, but who knows? We definitely have options here. And last one, love how you're uploading every day. Keep up the hard work. Once again, I appreciate the kind words. I'll say it again. We're going to try to make this series a daily series. So if you want that, then drop a like on this video. And also, I'm going to need some help with transfers for this team. Now, our budget at Ajax is actually 82 million after selling Kudas to AC Milan. That happened like right before we joined. And so far, this is our starting shortlist here at Ajax. So let me know in the comments who we should add to it. And by the way, we were not the only person to make a move from Anderlecht. As Eden Hazard got a move to a big team again, he's at PSG. So we basically revived his career. Sam goes for Delhi, who's now playing at West Ham United. And even Casper Dolberg got a move to Borussia Dortmund as their new starting striker. I mean, all of our players are flourishing at their new teams. But as they say, sometimes out with the old and in with the new. Now, if we take a more broader look at the squad, this team uh, is very thin. These are our best two center backs. Like, Akbaguma's pretty good, but uh, Kaplan's at 70, and then our two others are a Sertzen, a Yeritsen, I don't want to say his name, but he's 68. And then we have Pierre, who's 67, so we need a center back desperately. But more notable players, Owen Weindahl, left back, is a very good player. Um, Wrench at right back's really good. Also, Sanchez is too, the 26-year-old from Mexico. He looks pretty good. Now, like I said, we might lose Edson Alvarez, but it seems like Ajax were prepared because they are Already signed his replacement basically in Alan Varela from Argentina, who could be a very special player. We got Van den Boomen who just signed recently, I think, and also Kenneth Taylor, who's got some insane potential. And then behind him, a few midfield prospects, and then the legend, uh, Klassen is still here. I mean, now I'm thinking about it, he probably should be the captain, right? We probably should have fixed that. But under Bergwijn, we have Univar and then Dorami, who are both like really good looking wingers, young, so they could be pretty good. And then along with Mika Gatz, we used a little bit of Anderlecht. He is now back at Ajax with us. We have Brian Brabiat striker, the former uh, Leipzig man, and also Francisco Kinsesa, who's the son of uh, 
Sergio can say South the coach. Once again, some decent potential. So there are a lot of bright spots in this team, definitely. But I feel like if we want to make any noise in the Champions League, we need to improve this squad a lot. And then try to do it with maybe losing some of our best players too. All right, so unfortunately, it's already happened. Edson Alvarez has gone off to Chelsea. I mean, this deal was already in the works, like even before we got here. So they signed him for 40 million. So that now puts our budget at 121 million. I mean, we could do some damage with that. So Varela becomes our new CDM. And first things first, this team needs a center back. 1000%. Now, I don't want to go out and just sign anyone. I want to try to find a player that's playing at a team that you would say generally is a less prestigious team than Ajax. And the player I like for that move is Jeremiah St. Juice. Now, I don't know if it's just or juiced, but Jeremiah looks like a very, very good center back. Now, he is insanely quick. Also good jumping and he's pretty good on the ball too. So, and he would just fit in perfectly with the system we want to play at Ajax. And also, he's very budget friendly. Now, we have a few on the shortlist too, but I feel like out of all of them, he's probably the most, the most efficient signing we can make right now is our first signing. So, we're going to try to make it happen. Jeremiah, I want you to be our first signing at Ajax. Now, I'm going to start with like 16.5. See what uh, Sporting say to that. I mean, that's a respectable offer. Is it too low? Not as, no, it's not too low. Okay. 16.5 for him. That's a deal. I mean, we can start the season with a 70 rated center back starting. We just can't do that. So I feel like we're definitely probably going to need one more center back at least. But Jeremiah will be our first signing at Ajax. And I like this signing a lot. I mean, the fact that he's also Dutch helps a lot. We keep the theme of the team here. But that is first signing in the books. Jeremiah, welcome to Ajax. So immediately, it can't be understated how big of an upgrade that is at center back. All of a sudden, our defense actually looks like a defense. So our first problem is sorted. Now, we are definitely going to be a little more busy with transfers. Like, I mean, busy. We still got 104 million to spend. But the Eredivisie season is already here. Now, we expect some competition from PSV, Feyenoord for the Eredivisie title. But come on, being at Ajax in the Netherlands, we should win this league. There should be no question about it. And that journey towards our third league title starts now. So since we're in uh, the Netherlands, we're going to start with a 4 through 3 holding. I feel like it's a solid way to start with this team. Now, we're going to play pressure on every touch and also forward runs in our attacking style. That is our starting tactics with this team, but we got to get a few games and actually see how these players play because this is like a brand new team. So first game in the Eredivisie, first game coaching Ajax. Let's try and get a win. So this game right here is where we can truly assess the team, really see who we need to sign. And also it's Groningham. It's not whatever I said before. Hey, I'm not from Netherlands. There is going to be some mispronunciations just like in Belgium. But first game with our new team, a brand new challenge. Once again, let's see how we do our first game in the Eredivisie. It's very funny. Our first boss is Eric Ten Hag. Now we're managing his former team. It's just funny the way that works. And also, could be a great start. Oh, that shot was so weak, though. Now, wrench driving forward. Brobby. Okay, that's not Brobby. I don't know who that cross is to. And I don't even know what the header was, but Brobby back heels it into Taylor. Shoots, and it's the post. Okay, this is a fast start. Brobby over to Weindahl. Get it back to him. Okay, what was that? This is extremely fast. Taylor, finesse shot goes all the way over the net. That is a high pace start. Oh, Jeremiah, I need you. His first defensive uh, chance, but okay, Aquaguma did well there to stop that shot. Yeah, okay, I feel like we're being a little bit too aggressive with tackling right now, and we are leaving space in our defense, which is a little bit concerning, but Jeremiah, was that Jeremiah? Whoever it was, it was a great tackle. Taylor threw to Brobby. Brian Brobby, let's see the pace. The pace. Oh, he gets all the way to it. Brobby will shoot, and that is the first goal of the game to Ajax. Man, that was just pure speed. So, Brobby scores the first goal on our Ajax reign, and it was a pretty simple just counter-attacking goal, calm finish. 1-0 to Ajax. Weindahl to Bergwijn. Now, Bergwijn, I used him a couple years ago in a Spurs crew mode. He was really good, so I feel like he might be good in this one if he stays. Brobby gets it over to Wrench. Back to Brobby. Shoots, and Brobby's got a brace. Okay. Brobby might be an absolute beast. He's already got two in 30 minutes. Just beautiful combo play with uh, Wrench at right back. Like this drag back and Brobby first time shot. That is beautiful. Okay, 2-0. This has been a wonderful start. All right, Bergvine has kind of uh, destroyed that man. Taylor threw it to Brobby. Brobby has got a pass to Kinsei Sao. Volley attempt. Oh, it goes right at the keeper, though. That could have been special. Oh, Bergwine. The dribbling is beautiful, and that shot would have been beautiful, too. Okay, this team so far is looking good. Bergwijn cross in. That might be Taylor. It's actually Clausen. Oh, man, that almost fell to one of us. Okay, Varela, what a tackle. Losing Alvarez sucks, but Varela, I mean, that's a very good replacement, if you ask me. And he's going on a run. Gets it over. Okay, that pass wasn't the best, but into Bergwijn. Good first touch. Bergwijn finesse shot. Oh, man, we are just dominating right now. Cross in. Clausen can't get that, unfortunately. Bergwijn, can we send another cross in? I think we can. Bergwijn, okay. I didn't aim there. I was trying to aim at Clausen. All right, I am seeing Akpo Guma is a very good center back too. Like he's made more tackles than uh, Jeremiah so far. But first half 2-0, that first half was pretty much perfect. Like talking about a great 45 minutes to our career at Ajax. And say so up to Taylor. All right, Clausen has room to run into. Gets it over to Francisco. Can say so. And he just hits the post. Okay, Varela out to Bergwijn. What a pass from our CDM. Now Taylor gets it back to Bergwijn. And we got Can say so far post to Bergwijn. Into Kinsei Sao. That header, was that even on target? Our attack just looks so good right now, though. Lawson 
Climbs, can't get a rebound. Is gonna probably gonna be cleared. Yes, it is. Over two. Can say so again. Can say so. Almost just scored. And this probably should be 3 0. Right now, this is bad. We got fast center backs, though. So Jeremiah catches all the way up, and Jeremiah makes a great tackle. Bergwine to Brobby. Brobby's looking for his hat trick. I feel like he might get it, though. He's a player that I haven't used, and I don't think any crew mode. Maybe a little bit in our Leipzig crew mode a long time ago, but he looks like he might be. Maybe the next big thing, but can't reach that one. Oh man, our formation tactics, we are not letting them do anything right now. Now we tried to come in and play a style that players are familiar with, and I think that's the reason why this game has been so successful so far. Like we're not implementing a whole new system for the players. Oh, Bergwine, great pass. Taylor, is he on side still? Please be on side. No, he's just off side. That was so perfect though. And I'm really liking Bergwine. All right, two subs, Dorami's coming on, and also uh, Sanchez at right back. I mean, this is still 2 0, so we gotta be careful. Varela, great tackle though. This game is not exactly over yet. Sanchez, two. Dorami, Dorami gets it back to Sanchez. Now, Sanchez, what kind of cross you got? A great cross, and Robbie will get his hat trick. Sanchez, what a cross. Okay, first game in our Ajax reign has been perfect, especially for Robbie hat trick. I mean, we pretty much just dominated this team. Great cross and a perfect header. I didn't realize Robbie was this good. I mean, at least in the first game. Jeremiah up to Clausen. Clausen has got Robbie who's in again. Robbie swings it over to Bergwine. Bergwine, oh man, he can't get the shot away though. Trying to be unselfish and it doesn't pay off. Come on, I really want a clean sheet at Anderlecht. We struggle to keep clean sheets, so in our first game, if we get one, it will be a welcome surprise. Clausen, we're gonna try to play long ball. That was meant for Dorami, but it goes to uh, Bergwine, who almost actually steals it. All right, Robbie's going off to a standing ovation. He should be to the away fans. Jeremiah, great interception. He's also had a very good debut. Now, can we get one more here? Maybe just one more to top it off. Dorami is going to try to get it to Bergwine in time. Bergwine trying to run there. Okay, Bergwine, you made the worst run I've ever seen, though. Lawson will steal it. Dorami gets it over to Sanchez. Sanchez cross to Bergwine. Can he get it? He can't get it. I want this fourth goal, but we're not going to get it. Hey, 3-0. That was literally a perfect first game. Like the other team didn't even stand a chance. That was just complete domination. Now in our post-game interview, we say that we love what we saw out there. The boys played hard. They controlled the game and we couldn't have asked for a better start than that. But it was only still the first game. Things can change very fast. And that game went so well though that I'm trying to think like who else we should sign. And it's hard to like nail down a position where I feel like we absolutely need a player. I feel like more so now it's for like bench depth of course because i feel like our depth is very bad starting level looks good but the bench not so good so we have Durami, we have univar but we don't have a backup striker to brobby like at all brobby is the only striker on our team so i think right now we might change that and there's a player that you guys have been wanting us to sign since pretty much the third episode and that is sammy jorgensen the youth player we found at inter miami i think it's time for jorgensen to make a move to europe he's played two years with messi he's valued at almost 50 million so he's gonna be expensive but he is maybe the next erling holland so that money i think is worth it so we're gonna off our old team we're gonna start with like 45 is there anyone who can offer in a swap deal i mean i'm not sure if there's anyone here that i would so likely just give up um probably not i can't see any other player wanting to go to inter miami so let's start with 45 million for sammy jorgensen the player that we signed at miami 45 million they want 46 you know what that's only a million more we're doing it it's a lot of money but sammy jorgensen has so much potential and i want to bring this man to europe coach him again and make him the next erling holland so five-year deal 14k per week absolutely sign the contract sammy jorgensen has been signed up and i've been waiting to do this for so long now but we are once again reunited with sammy jorgensen so just like us from miami to now europe it's the biggest move of sammy's career so far but we may have just signed a future ballon d'or winner i mean the sky the limit for him so if you didn't know sammy is a right mid slash striker he's 20 years old he is 6'4 left footed from norway so you can see the holland comparison especially because for that height he is rapid quick and he's actually grown a bit since we used him so he's even better now like finishing dribbling ball control all look good he is ready for this big move now i do think i want to make him a striker though finally i feel like at 6'4 he's got to be a striker now it's going to take 30 weeks apparently but i doubt it'll actually take that long but oh man sammy Jorgensen is back and he's about to get his debut for ajax so sammy gives a press conference before his first game now he says he's extremely excited to be here that with us being the manager he feels like this is a perfect team where he can make himself a better player and also help the team win now i think for his first game he's got to start so since probably played so good a striker i'm gonna start jorgensen at right wing but oh man it's been a while i'm so excited to see how he plays in this new league in this new team so second game at ajax jorgensen's debut let's see what we do all right so facing sparta rotterham now it's not a home game i want to play our first home game we have a beautiful stadium it will come in time but game number two jorgensen i am expecting special things from him so let's see what he can do that first this game was so perfect it's hard to believe that we can actually keep that up but we would try Jorgensen first touch you know what from distance Jorgensen shot oh man I felt so good about that wrench into Klaassen Klaassen's got Brobby in the middle Brobby first touch lays it off to Kenneth Taylor and it's gonna be a save we gotta score that Bergwijn cross in it's gonna go to Klaassen okay Jorgensen you need to get in the box probably one of the tallest players in this team now he's actually calling for it and Bergwijn into Jorgensen. Okay, he didn't even go for that. Now, we are playing on the same sliders we used for the uh, Man United series. We did for that one. Plus, competitor mode is on, so they're actually tougher than that series. So, even being there to visit, like, it still should be a challenge. But honestly, you never know until you play 
And right now we're having a great start to our career at Ajax. Did I just jinx it? You know, I always jinx things. I never fail to jinx things. So I wouldn't be surprised if I said that and they score, but thankfully they don't. All right, Brobby gets it to Jorgensen. Jorgensen is going to try to go on one. He does. Jorgensen, the power, plays it to Brobby. Brobby gets it back to Sammy. Jorgensen shoots and the keeper makes the save. And that would have been such a good first goal for him. Lawson gets it to Bergvine. Sammy Jorgensen is calling for it. Far post. Sammy. Oh, man, that was going towards his head. I might flip him and Brobby maybe in the second half because I feel like at that height at striker, he'd be so good. And Brobby's probably quick enough to play on the wing. I'll try that maybe in the second half. But right now, we're trying to not concede our first goal here at Ajax, which we actually might. Oh, we're going to concede our first goal. That dribbling by that team was so good. That was like really good tight control dribbling. Now, I'm not mad. We have a good start, so I'm not mad. But yeah, that dribbling is so good. That's hard to defend. Let's just not make it a regular thing. We are 1-0 down, though. So we need to come to life. Taylor, Bergvine into Brobby. Brobby. Oh, okay, Brobby. That pass was so bad. That was like a miss hit. Now Sammy gets it to Brobby. Oh, Sammy's pass kind of bad. Okay, our level is kind of dropping here. Our standards are dropping. Now I need to wake up a little bit. All right, corner for Rotterdam. That's going to be cleared. They've actually had a very good start of the game. They actually look a lot more threatening than the last team. But we are still Ajax. We need to take control of the game. Now, Brobby dink up to Jorgensen. Gets it back to Klaassen. Brobby, good first touch. Brobby. Brobby seems not quite as sharp as last game, but it might be like a whole team thing. We got one minute added on a try and tied up for halftime. Brobby is going to get it over to Bergvine. Bergvine tries to find Klaassen. Okay, they defended well, those passing lanes. I still feel though, second half, we should take control of the game. We should. And I'm going to try Jorgensen up top. Now, Brobby on the right wing. Okay, that was a interesting tackle by Weindahl. Thankfully, it doesn't amount to much. Okay, I don't know how we got that pass off. We got to try to defend this. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, though. We should be able to deal with it. Good pass, though. Very good pass. Okay, great team defending, though. Okay, Brobby making a tackle from right wing. I was not expecting that, but I like it. Lawson over to Wrench. Wrench has a cross to Sammy. Jorgensen header. Okay, Sammy Jorgensen goal on his debut. That is why he should finally play striker. The way he shouldered that defender and just had that much power on that header, that was pretty nuts. Like, Sammy Jorgensen, welcome to Ajax. Welcome to their Divisi. That header is perfect. The next early Holland scores his first goal in Europe. All right, 1-1. Now we take control of this game. All right, boys, we can't let him score immediately. Oh, man, I went for a, a rough tackle there. Is he onside? I'm not sure. He was actually onside. Great save by Ruli, though. I thought he was offside. Bro, this team has actually played good. I don't really know their Divisi exactly the smaller teams who's good and who's not but this team is giving us actually a good fight and that's gonna be another corner bergvine out wide of brobby brobby first time past jorgensen and that actually worked okay and jorgensen got destroyed he's got to get used to the physicality of the defenders it's not the mls anymore good ball all oh, great passing wrench can't recover and they're gonna score their second oh man we just missed a few tackles and gave them room that passing is great though yeah we missed we we stepped up there and we allowed that space we took a risk and we got punished for it now we're down 2-1 with like 30 minutes left well, we can't lose our first game here all right clausen has got brobby on the right side we're gonna play it to him great ball actually brobby does he have a pass back he does clausen will shoot and it goes just wide i mean that was not a bad move all right taylor great steal jorgensen is making a run but he was defended well there come on clausen has bergvine i think on the far post bergvine will get free there bergvine oh, okay that clearance was insane all right vanden boom is on and also uh drami's on again we got 12 minutes to try and tie this up come on, we can definitely do this bergvine gets it to Van or vanden boom and that's kind of interesting name to say clausen will shoot and the keeper makes the save that's got to be in the back of the net bergvine a lot of power on that man that needs to go to Jorgensen it goes right back to the keeper though here we got like a minute left of regular time this is bad just this team has been so surprisingly solid like not flashy but their passing has been very solid loss in a chance to play it out wide we do Bergvine cuts inside oh man his stamina is too low last chance for an attack here Bergvine oh no the ref blows a whistle I was in my attack man I didn't mean to pass it backwards I meant to pass it to whoever was next to Vindal we actually suffer our first loss in our second game that is so unfortunate this team just played a very solid game Game, though and our attack all of a sudden did not look as good but Jorgensen scored a debut goal he played good still I am not happy about that loss though almost a dream debut for Jorgensen I mean that's a pretty good way to put it now we've just received something very interesting an offer for Brobby for 58.8 million from Frankfurt now honestly if we get an offer from a bigger team I'm not sure whether to accept it or not like Brobby was so good in that first game I don't want to just lose him but is it realistic in the comments let me know what you think we should do in terms of transfers like this do we keep them do we sell them for now I'm gonna say just a, a light no to that but that could change now Borussia Dortmund are offering 62 million for Brobby. And honestly, I just don't know. Let me know in the comments. So our next game is a team that I am not going to even try and pronounce their name. After two games, we sit in 10th place, which is just not good at all. But thankfully, our next game is our first home game. So we can finally show off our new house. I mean, Ajax is a big club. We're getting paid a lot of money to coach them. So the house reflects that.
that. This place is nice. Definitely the nicest place we've lived in so far. I mean, the entrance is majestic. We got a nice spacious living room. The kitchen is extremely nice. It's almost too nice, if you know what I mean. And then this is our bedroom. We got our stuff set up in the office so we can work from home. And maybe most excitingly, we have a huge backyard for Fergie to run around in. So you can say that Fergie also likes this house a lot. And in our time at Ajax, this is our new home. And now it's time for our first game in our other new home, the Johan Cruyff Arena. Now, I'm not sure who I should start. I feel like that first game was so good. I probably should start the same lineup. So Jorgensen to the bench and uh, same lineup as that first game. We can't lose two in a row. We can't even draw. This needs to be a win in our first home game at Ajax. And this stadium is just beautiful. Definitely the biggest stadium we ever coached in, Inter Miami, Belgium. Our teams didn't have these kind of stadiums. So this is extremely, extremely special. So we got to give the fans a very good first home game of the year. We need a good start like that first game. We really took control immediately. That needs to happen again, which Taylor... Chance for a long shot keeper right into his arms, though. Now, I think I think I'm noticing is that we don't really have many midfield options other than like uh, the starters, then Van den Boomen. OK, I don't know why there's so much space here. I'm trying to get back to mark him. Why was there such a big hole in our defense? I don't know. But Aquaguma, good tackle. We're definitely going to sign some uh, midfielders, at least at least one. And say so tries to flip to Bergvine, but can't get it to him. Should win that, though. Should it does not. Now, Varela in to Robbie, finesse shot right to the keeper again. Now, Conceição's got space. We're going to play it over to Wrench. Probably not how you say his name, but I'm saying that for now. Corner in or cross in, and it's going to be cleared. Man, they keep getting through Varela, which is not good. That's a turn. And okay, uh, Jeremiah just probably saved to go with that tackle, although it looked very weird. Lawson gets it over to Taylor. Taylor is going to wait for Vindal. Vindal can't get it to him. And we look a lot different than that first game. It is a little bit concerning, but I mean, we're only we're only two games in. Robbie gets it back to Taylor. Okay, let's get a good attack going. Taylor, good ball to Bergvine. Bergvine, we got Robbie for a cross. Robbie. Oh my, Brobby, what a finish. I did not know Brobby was this good. Also, Bergvine, what a cross. When he goes for that finish in that spot. Okay, just breaks away from the defender and then in front of goal does that. Okay, he is special. And this game is 1-0 to Ajax. Come on, is this where we once again take control? Varela goes for a long shot. Varela, oh my, Alan Varela. 2-0 to Ajax, what a shot. Okay, that is two insane goals back to back. This had so much height to it, the keeper didn't even try saving it. Just, it has so much lift to it. The keeper, like, barely jumped. I was not expecting this from our CDM, but that shot is beautiful. And it's 2-0 to Ajax, okay. Feels like we're bouncing back a little bit now. We are not stopping here. Robbie, good first touch. Robbie, maybe a chance or a chance to cross at a Bergwijn this time. Almost actually did. Almost repaid him for the other cross. Okay, what a tackle. We are definitely... A bit different this game. Bergvine goes for an insane shot, but it's right at the keeper. And say so. I'm waiting for Wrench to make that run. He is making that run. Not going to reach him, though. Hey, I like Kinsesa a lot, though. He reminds me of a certain player I used recently, but I can't remember who. But halftime 2-0, that first half was a lot better than the last game. Now, Jorgensen is definitely going to make an appearance in this game at some point. But for now, let's try and make it 3-0. Bergvine up to Brobby. Kinsesa is making a run. But Brobby might find Bergvine. He will. Bergvine, chance to score. Oh, a side-footed shot right at the keeper, though. Lawson, okay. Clausen, what a ball to Bergvine. Bergvine gets touch on it. Did he handball it? Oh, no. Bergvine, he just ruined a great pass. Just gave the ball a high five. Oh, Kinsesa. Kinsesa is going on an insane run here. Goes. Maybe all the way. Okay, if you would have scored that. Bro, I'm liking this team so much right now. Cross in. That was almost going to be a good cross. Robbie gets it back to Kinsesa. Oh, finesse shot after that fake shot, and it's going to go over the net. Okay, don't let him score, though. Don't let him score. Really great save. All right, Jorgensen on for Bergwijn. Let's get Bergwijn some rest. But Sammy, the Norwegian next Holland is on. Corner sent in. That looks a great corner, but we got it out. Okay, Kinsesa, great turn. Gets it over to Clausen. Clausen back to Kinsesa. Now, Jorgensen is very close here. I don't know why, but Kinsesa tries to get it back to him. Okay, that is actually not the greatest pass, and we just took a guy out, but apparently it's not a foul. Jorgensen out to Vindal. Vindal. He's going to try to lift it up for someone. It's going to be a corner, though. I mean, actually, a goal kick. That's kind of poor right there. Robbie dink up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen heads it to Klassen. Klassen will take the shot, and Klassen scores. What a move. All right, 79th minute, 3-0. Our first home game, I think, is going to be a win, I think. And Jorgensen, it was a Brobby a little past him, then he edited it over, and it was perfect. And then Klassen, like, what a shot. All right, we definitely found what made us good in that first game. Jorgensen, are you on side? Jorgensen is on side. Sammy. Jorgensen will score his second goal for Ajax. And our home debut was a perfect debut for us. And I feel like Jorgensen, if we find a way to fit him into the team, like whether it's at right wing or striker, he's going to have a breakout year at Ajax. I mean, already two goals in two games. But I want another clean sheet. I want to rack up these clean sheets. I've only had a few in my career. Now, free kick sent in. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, Jeremiah gets it away. And we do get it away a second time. But not really, actually. Because Varela just fell there. Oh, no. Clean sheet, please. Jeremiah at center back. He has been extremely good. Now, Jorgensen, we got two minutes. Power and the pace from Sammy. Jorgensen goes all the way. 
He's gonna try to take the keeper, and oh man, he sends it over the net. He tried. Bro, the man is just powerful, and he actually might still get another chance because Vindal, oh, he's so offside. It actually goes all the way to Kinsaysa. Do we have one more chance here? Jorgensen will fall, and the ref doesn't let him shoot. Today, 4 0. That's a very good home debut in front of the home fans. That one right there felt good. So, our place in the league table looks a little bit more respectable now. And so far, Brabby Jorgensen are scoring the goals for us. Now, if you guys remember, we sent out youth scouts at Anderlecht, I think like two episodes ago, and we did find some players. Now, we sent scouts out to Brazil and then Nigeria. From Nigeria, we found Steven Thompson. And then from Brazil, we found Matias Nicholas. Now, the names are a little bit interesting for what we found them, but both of these guys look really good, both Thompson and Nicholas. Now, they're worth about 7,800,000 million like we could sign up at Ajax. Ajax are known for signing youngsters. So in the comments, let me know if we should sign both of our youth players we found at Anderlecht. Maybe give them a chance in the Eredivisie. Now in terms of like our other past players, of course we have Cody Anderson still. We have Kamal Miller on the short list. Although I'm not sure if I want to bring him to Ajax. I'm not sure. Um, Kai and Kosi, I would like to bring him, but his value is 104 million. And I think he wants to try and fight now for a starting spot at United. So for now, I think we're going to let Nikosi stay at United. And once again, I love to sign Miguel Ramirez, but his value is literally insane. He's the next Ronaldo. Now speaking of uh, actual youth academy stuff, same thing last time we're gonna hire two scouts and tell me in the comments where to send them which countries and we'll send them in the next episode now next game might be our biggest test yeah we're facing AZ. now they're in second place they're a decent team and i want to start jorgensen so i feel like i might try my right wing again over can say so i might try that so our biggest test in the air divisi so far and we win three of our first four games okay the commentator is saying it's a derby i completely forgot that it's a derby so obviously it just raises the uh the levels even more so a very big game for sammy to start and now can say so has played so good i kind of feel bad but my gut is telling me start Sammy Jorgensen. We'll see if I made the right choice. Now, for Rella to cost in, this could be a good start. I see space here. Over to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, oh, his first touch was good, but it was right into a defender. All right, Jeremiah, great steal. Gets it over to Bergwijn. Bergwijn, chance for finesse shot. That's handball. Give me the free kick. I will take that free kick. All right, I feel like Bergwijn's probably the best uh, free kick here. No, Taylor is actually. Uh, left foot, let's give it to Taylor. So, Kenneth Taylor, what do you got? This would be an absolutely amazing start from the free kick. Taylor. Oh, that was heading in. I feel like I need more power, though. Yeah, I can already tell this team is uh, definitely a bit better than the last one. Just the passing, the penetration seems a bit better from their attack. But, okay. Akpo Guma is a very solid center back. You just saw why. Now, Bergwijn's going on to this. And Robbie is making a run. But back to Steven. Is his first name Steven? I actually don't know. But it's Bergwijn. And he misses. I think it is Steven, right? And that was a good chance. Corner in, though. Looked good. Over. Get it over. Taylor in to Akpo Guma. You're not shooting. Taylor will shoot, but he was absolutely clobbered there. Right, this has been a very competitive start, but Klassen gets it over. Bergvine, chance to shoot, and Keeper will save it again. Come on, we believe that we will score. We believe that we will score. Maybe not. Never mind again, I believe. I believe again. I once again believe that we will score. That cross is insane. What a volley by Bergvine, though. Bro, these corners need to go to Sammy. Like, Sammy is nowhere near. Okay, Brobby, he must like the spectacular because that shot was almost spectacular. No, that is a good ball. Come on, boys. We can't concede first. We cannot concede first in this game. Defense doing good. Jeremiah, great tackle. Brobby, wrench over to Sammy Jorgensen. Gets it back to Clausen. Clausen into Brobby. Good shot. What a save. Is Matt Ryan really at AZ or is that a transfer? I don't even know nowadays in the save. I don't even know if these transfers are real or if they've actually happened in the save. Oh no, they're away, but thankfully my both my center backs are quick. Never mind, they're not quick, never mind. I take that back, keeper comes out for it. Ruli, great save. That was so timed perfectly and very luckily. Come on, we can't let him score first. Once again, we are not gonna let Ozad score first in this game. It will not happen, it will not happen. Okay, it might happen. It might happen, Ruli, good save. I'm gonna stop saying that. Bro, this is just a lot of pressure. Like we are absorbing this and they are going to score. 36 minutes, a great shot. We can't do much here. This number six picks it up outside the box and into the corner. It's very unfortunate. One nil down, it's fine. We will tie this game up. I know it. Toss it over to Taylor. Taylor needs a pass into Brobby. He does get it to Brobby. Over to Bergvine. Bergvine, get it to Taylor. Taylor, first time shot. Oh, what a move by Ajax. Kenneth Taylor scores, and that was beautiful. The first time shooting in the box right now is very uh, clinical. His first time shot left foot. It's a great shot. Now, that right there is a swift response. Taylor back to Bergvine. Now, Bergvine. Oh, man, he's got space. Finesse shot. Oh, I felt so good about that shot. I could have played it to Klaassen. Jorgensen up to Klaassen. Klaassen back to Sammy. Jorgensen. How does Matt Ryan save that? That shot has so much, like, power on it. Corner sent in. That should go. I'm aiming for Sammy. It's not going to Sammy, though. All right, Varela gets it over. It's going to be Jeremiah. That's going to be another corner, at least. Okay, I'm going to literally take control of Sammy because, like, how are we not getting these crosses to him? Sammy. Make a run in the box. Corner in. Sammy. Oh, he had no chance there. Barella 
Chance for a long shot, and it goes wide. All right, last chance, first half. Jeremiah get tackle. This one at least has been competitive. But at halftime, it is 1-1. Now, this is a great attack. Oh, they're going to play it back. I was trying to get back, but he took so long. And then it's going to be a penalty? I was trying to slide over, but Jeremiah, like, wouldn't turn. Oh, man, I was trying. Then we we definitely took him out, though. That's a penalty. Man, that's not his fault. That's so unfortunate. All right, Ruli, we need you to save this. First penalty at Ajax, and it's going to be in the back of the net for Azed. All right, 2-1. Man, that is so unfortunate. We will bounce back. We're trying to bring that same mentality we had on. Or, like, we never give up. We never put our heads down. We always feel like we can get back into a game. Jorgensen to Wrench into Brobby. Gets it back to Jorgensen. I tried right there. He's making a good run. Oh, man. Varela gets closed down. Didn't really even see him there. And now they have a chance to maybe take their lead to two. And they are going to take their lead to two. Oh, man. Varela's been so good. That was a bad giveaway. But obviously, I don't really blame him for that. Just got closed down in a bad spot. Okay, now down two goals. This is not good. We can still make this comeback, though. We've done it before. Of course, with other teams. Bergvine up to Klaassen. Klaassen gets it back to Sammy, who's now up top. Uh, Robbie's to left wing. Oh, it's St. Justa. I was saying it wrong. Okay, at least now I know. But ball to Vindal. Cross it in. We got Sammy there. Also, Bergvine. Oh, rebound. It goes in. Okay, 3-2. We got so fortunate there. The ball just bounced right back up. But hey, within one goal. And I was aiming for Sammy. The ball doesn't want to go to Sammy on these crosses, but this time it worked out. Okay, we got a chance now to tie this up. Still got a lot of time left, too. Lawson, good steal. Varela, get it to Taylor. Taylor into Brobby. Brobby, good find Jorgensen. Will, Jorgensen takes forever to shoot. Oh, man, it's one of those, like, running animations. I wanted him to shoot that so much sooner. Bergvine cross. Okay, I don't know what that was. Sammy will get it, though. Sammy to Taylor. Taylor. Tries to find a little bit of space, but can't find it. Come on, we can't let him score again, though. Oh, no, they might seal this. I went for the block, and they're going to actually score it. Oh, man, they're just so patient to the very last second. Try to get around him there. I went for the block, but just, they're so patient. All right, two goals in what? 15 minutes? Can we do it? You're obviously going to try. Jorgensen gets it to Bergvine. Bergvine in to Clausen. Clausen. We get a little dink to Taylor. Oh, man, that was at Taylor's head. He just, like, didn't go for it. Oh, man, now we're just, like, trying to attack too much, and we might let them seal this game even more. Maybe not. You're telling me that's not a foul? Wait, what? How is that not a foul on Vindal? That makes no sense. Please, no, please, please. Oh, they're actually going to score another. How is that not a foul on Vindal? Okay, second minute, 5-2. It doesn't even feel like 5-2. It feels like 3-2 still. Jorgensen, come on, we play to the final whistle. I don't care the score line. Jorgensen could get to that. Jorgensen almost does. It falls right to Matt Ryan, though. Taylor good still. Come on, play to the final whistle. Bergwine, great turn. Bergwine. We'll take the shot. Matt Ryan has been so good for them today, though. Varela, I got no option here. Get it over to Taylor. Taylor tries to find space, but it's a good tackle. Man, we just got back in the game. We went so aggressive that we got punished for our mistakes. We took a risk. Okay, that's a good tackle with the yellow card. We took a risk by going more aggressive, and we got immediately punished for it. So, fourth game is going to be a 5-2 loss against Azed. I mean, there's a reason. Earlier, I said this is a rebuild, because it is. It's not exactly the Ajax team we all think of. This is a rebuild. And starting off, out of four games, two really bad losses. I think clearly we need to make more signings and we still got money to do something. So let me know in the comments. How do we transform this team? Who should we sign? Now we're in our new office and we get a call from Lionel Messi. Now he says, remember what we talked about when you were at Anderlecht? We say, uh, yeah, Messi says it's time and also that he is ready. So big things in the next episode. Okay. We have just become the new manager of Ajax. The Eredivisie is our next stop in this journeyman series. Now our goal is to rebuild Ajax and recapture some of that magic they lost ever since Eric Tenag left. We've made our First two signings in Jeremiah St. Just and also the next Erling Holland, Sammy Jorgensen. But we are not done yet in this transfer window. So drop a like if you want more daily episodes and let's get into it. Now, right now, we're waking up in our beautiful new house in the Netherlands. I mean, Ajax gave us a very nice place to live while being manager. Now, we're making breakfast really quick because transfer deadline is coming up very soon. We are going to be very busy the next few days. So we say good morning to Fergie and then we sit down to watch some TV. And as we flip it on, the headlines say that Messi's son, Thiago Messi, is about to make a big move to Europe. But first comment, you should sign Zia because he's linked to Ajax and wants the move really bad. Yeah, I've heard reports saying that Ziyech really wants to make a return to Ajax. Now, someone also said that he just failed a medical in Saudi Arabia. So I don't know how much truth is there that Ziyech could be coming back to Ajax. But hey, he remains a possibility in this series. And next one, you should use a two-striker formation so you can fit Bobby and Sammy into the same team. Yeah, so Bobby's played amazing at striker, but so has Sammy Jorgensen. We may try that in the episode, though, getting them both at striker. And last one, you should sign Joseph Zutalo from Dynamo Zagreb. Very high potential center back, and also he's heavily linked. Yeah, I saw that he was linked in real life. And Ajax fans seem to want him. And I do feel like we need at least one more 
more center back. So there's a possibility. Now there has been some unfortunate news though. We have already sold a player and that player is going to be Mohamed Darami. He has been sold to Burnley. Now in real life, they're already saying that agreements already been reached between Ajax and Burnley. So that pretty much means in this series, we have to sell him. And it was for 20 million. So I didn't give us a little bit of cash and we now have 72 million to spend. So I liked him. I wanted to use him. So I'm kind of mad, but it might open up some possibilities for us. Now we meet with Ajax sporting director Sven Mislintat and he says, do you have any plans for deadline day? How you want to shape this team? And we say, yeah, I got some things that we want to do. So our best three center backs are Akpaguma, St. Just, and also Ayertsen. The next is a uh, Kaplan who's 70, who I'm going to try to sell. So we need at least one more center back to be third choice. And I'm, honestly, I'm fine with Ayertsen being fourth choice. I mean, he's 20 years old. Maybe he can get some game time and grow, but we need one more center back though, for sure. And by the way, I also sold three more players that just really weren't going to find any game time. So they're gone, which will allow us to sign this next player. Now, I really wanted to sign Mickey Van Deven, but very unfortunately, he has made his way to Tottenham Hotspur already. So with him off the cards, I think we switch to our next best option. I think that might be Sotalo. I mean, he's young, 24 years old, 6'3". He's pretty quick for a very strong center back. And playing at Zagreb coming to Ajax, I feel like it just makes sense. I mean, we joined here and the biggest issue was the center back department. So we've signed Jeremiah St. Just. If we can sign a Sotalo up, that would fix those two issues and they accept 29 million. I mean, it is a hefty price tag, but I think it's worth it. And as you know, with our sliders, we need a strong defense. So Sotalo has been signed up first signing of the episode, but not the last. Now, three center backs, Aquaguma, St. Just, and Sotalo. That sounds like a very good trio. They could rotate game in, game out. So Sotalo, welcome to Ajax. This rebuild is truly under way. So there is our new starting center back partnership. Now, since we lost Edson Alvarez, I like Varela to slotting in as a starting CM now, but he doesn't have a backup. We have Silvano Voss, who's like a potential prospect, but at only 67 rated, we might need to sign like one more midfielder. And I'm thinking Elliot Matazzo from Monaco. Now, while we were on our luck, he was on our list, but we never got around to signing him. He's 22 years old, 5'7". He seems like a very quick CDM though. Very good like physical stats. And he'd only be around 15 million. I feel like he really fits like the theme of Ajax, signing a youngster like that. So I'm going to offer about 17. See what uh, Monaco said to that. And they flat out just accept. Accepted. So you could say this is kind of like that it's an Alvarez replacement, although Varela really was. But Elliot Matazzo is signed up. So once again, welcome to Ajax. So a defender signed up, a midfielder signed up now. I feel like I got one more signing in the bag. And since we lost Durami to Burnley, obviously I think we need to sign a replacement for him. And if you guys remember a few months ago, Messi told us that his son was ready for a move to Europe and he wants us to be Tiago's coach. Now the son of Messi, Tiago Messi, is a left winger and his stats are very well balanced. Like he's not the quickest, but he's got pace, shooting, dribbling, some really good passing too. We feel that Tiago Messi Messi, if he improves his skills, could be a really special player. And like Leo said in the last episode, it is time. Thiago Messi is ready for his move to Europe, and we should be able to afford him. Now, we are signing the son of Messi. That is the first time I've said that in a series, so uh, we are going to offer about, let's do 19 million. Actually, let's do, let's do 17. Our money is starting to run out here, but 17, they want, they want Mika Gats. I'm not giving Mika Gats away. I will do 18 for Thiago. 18, they want 1% selling clause. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. Just 1% Beckham. Now, he is only 70 overall, but once again, the potential is there. Now, obviously, he's a little bit taller than Leo. He's like 5'9 or 5'10. But with uh, Durami leaving, I feel like that backup left winger spot is pretty much up for grabs. And I think I want to give it to Tiago Messi. Tiago Messi is signed up. We just signed the son of Messi. Will he be as good of his father or maybe even better? His journey starts here at Ajax under our leadership. So Tiago Messi signs for Ajax in the Eredivisie. So Messi, Matazzo, and uh, Sutalo brought in. I feel like for now, unless someone shockingly leaves, we might be done with transfers. We might. So here we are. Officially deadline day, 10 hours left. Now we did get some like lucrative offers for Robbie. I do want to keep him. I think the only way we sell him or anyone else right now is if we get an offer from like United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, someone huge. And that could happen in these next 10 hours. Now, as the clock gets down slowly and slowly, it seems like things have gone quiet. So I think for the first half of the season, the squad is now set. Transfer window is now officially shut. I mean, I'm cool with that because I'm happy with this squad right now. Now, Thiago Messi is about to make his debut and it's going to be in the Champions League, which funny enough is also our Champions League debut as a coach. So it's a very big moment, but that moment has been soured a little bit because the group have been drawn and we are in the group of death. Our group has Spurs and Atletico Madrid. Now, I don't know who the last team is. I don't even know how to pronounce their name, but our first time in the Champions League, we might be fighting for our lives here. Like that is just extremely unlucky. Now, thankfully, first game is against the, uh, was it Apple? I don't know how to say it, but it's a good chance to start off with a win at least before we play uh, Spurs and Atletico Madrid. So before this game, Thiago Messi gives a press conference and says, after watching his father play in the Champions League for so many years, it's a dream come true to make his debut in the Champions League. And he says that he just wants to make everyone proud. I mean, being the son of Messi, you can imagine the amount of pressure on his shoulders right now. I was thinking about bringing him off the bench, but I think since we're playing a team that it probably we should beat, I think I'm giving Thiago Messi the start. I'm going to do Bergwijn at right wing, Brabi at striker, and then Messi on the left. So Jorgensen to the bench, but it's time for Thiago Messi's debut for Ajax. This could be the start of something special. I mean, 
debut in front of the home fans in the Champions League. It doesn't get much bigger than this. And also, how are we going to do in our first ever Champions League game? We are kicked off. Is it Applewell, I think? Now, this team, we should beat, I think. But you just never know. Also, uh, Sutalo's debut. Cannot forget that. Okay, Bergvine has a lot of room here. Has a lot of room. Gets it out to Wrench. Crossover to Brobby Brobby. He was up for that, at least. Now, it'd be very obvious, like, if this team played good considering that i don't know who they are and of course they score first i literally spoke it into existence now i'm not sure why my defense was so like not getting back there but these passes are so good like that runner right there is not even being tracked by who's number eight is that taylor i think it's taylor right he just let him run right in front of him eight minutes into our champions league debut we're already down one nil i mean i'm not sure why taylor is just not marking him he's just standing there lawson into brobby can't quite get the ball to him okay we cannot go down two nil against team that i don't know who they are where they're from that needs to be a still varela misses attack one four Unfortunately, Italo, Italo. Okay. Oh, our new center back gives up a penalty in the 14th minute. Is this actually a penalty? Is it a penalty? I mean, no, it's not. We got the ball. We got the ball and then he just fell over. We are in danger of being 2-0 down in 14 minutes, but Ruli makes a great save. Okay. Can we wake up? Just get the ball out. Get it out. That's such a good pass right there. Who is this team and where are they from? Who are they? Because they are playing so good right now and they're actually going to score their second. Why can't we defend? We are all over this guy. We have three guys, but is it Sotalo? Sotalo doesn't... Look, at Sotalo. You can come over and mark him, but he just doesn't do it. What a terrible start to our Champions League campaign against the one team in the group we should beat. Are we even going to make it out of the group this year? Because right now, it's not looking like it. All right, Tiago Messi finally gets his first touch. Now, Brabi into Tiago Messi. Okay, he's making a good run here. Messi in to Klaassen. Klaassen has Bergwijn. Oh, man, I tried to play it to him. Klaassen wouldn't give the ball up, though. It was a good run by Thiago, though. All right, there's still a lot of time left. We can get back in this. We just need to score one and find our game. All right, Wrench is making a crazy run into the attacking third. In to Brobby. Brobby will shoot. And just like that, it's 1-2. Okay, we are back in this. Good goal by Brobby and also uh, Wrench. This team is not good. We've had a few defensive mistakes, but we should still win this. Yeah, I feel like Brobby is about to have an insane season. Like, probably 30-plus goals. Oh, this team is, like, playing incredible against us right now. I feel like I'm playing, like, Barcelona or Real Madrid. Like, they are cutting me apart every single chance they get. Good tackle, Sotalo. Okay, Sotalo did uh, better there. And we get the ball out. Brobby out to Thiago Messi on a run. Wait, you're telling me that's not a foul? Okay, just like his daddy gets no calls. Because that right there was a foul. Bergvine out to wrench. Come on, boys. Tie this up. Brobby gives it to Bergvine. Bergvine out to wrench. Wrench. Flip it up. Get it to Brobby. Oh, man, I wanted to go to Taylor instead. Bro, the way this team is playing is insane. This doesn't happen often, but when it does, it just feels like everything is going against you. But halftime, it's still 2-1. As long as they don't score another goal, I think we still could win this. Find out to Tiago. Tiago's had a good debut. Hasn't really gotten the score sheet or anything too attacking yet, but here he is. Tiago Messi's in. Tiago Messi almost scores on his debut. Oh, he did so well there. Get away from the defender. All right, that was good to see, though. They can actually do that. Robbie out to Tiago again. Tiago gets it back to Robbie. Find all. Robbie in to Taylor. Taylor. Oh, I was going to try to find Bergwine. Taylor steals it. Bergwine, chance to shoot, and the keeper makes the save. Come on, boys. Taylor. Corner in. Robbie gets to it. The header is right at the keeper, though. Tiago to Weindahl. Weindahl making a decent run. Tiago is going to be right behind Robbie. In to Tiago. Tiago, chance to score, and he scores in his debut. The son of Messi scores and ties it up. Oh, what a moment for Tiago Messi. Man, this was worked beautifully, though. Brobby drifted all the way out, and then we got it back to Tiago Messi in a good spot, and it's a good finish. Oh, man, number 30, Messi on the score sheet. What a moment. Okay, 58th minute, 2-2. Now we go on and win this game. Taylor out to Tiago. Tiago is in a fine Klaassen. Klaassen, good wait for Bergwine. Good wait for him. Gets it to Steven Bergvine. Good shot, but it's also going to be saved. All right, I'm going to go for a pretty tall corner here. Can't get to anyone, though. Okay, that's a decent header. Over to... Oh, I was going to try to head it to Brobby. And this team we're facing is not afraid. They're, like, pressing and everything. Playing aggressive. You got to respect it. Now, Thiago Messi has a pass to Klaassen. Oh, man, I was going to try to get it to Brobby. That was going to work. You see Messi's passing, though. It reminds us of the father. Bergvine, good shot, but again, right at the keeper. Come on, we are putting so much pressure on them. Klaassen over to Bergvine. Bergvine will shoot. This keeper is saving everything right now. Please just let me score. All right, Robbie's a little tired. So Sammy Jorgensen on for Matt Stryker. And I'm going to try to aim for Jorgensen to get his first touch into the game. Sammy is up for it. Header attempt. Cleared off the line. He went for a bicycle kick. Klaassen in front of the net. Oh, we can't get his shot away. It's going to be blocked. Bro, the chances right now are literally insane. Taylor gets it up to Klaassen. Klaassen. Oh, okay. Oh, Taylor just lost it. I thought he was going to collect it. Bro, we got so much momentum right now. We just got to score. Bergvine into Sammy. Jorgensen will shoot, and Sammy Jorgensen gives us the lead from 2-0 all the way to 3-2. We found our game, I think. Oh, man. Sammy 
Look at his run right there. That is perfect. And then left foot finish looking like Holland. Hey, we're not stopping here though. I don't want to leave it up to my defense to hold the lead. I want at least one more. And hey, Sammy and Tiago were teammates at Inter Miami, so they got to have some chemistry. You would think at least. Hey, the defense has looked much better in the second half. I'll say that. Taylor, a chance to run forward. Bergvine making a good run. Steven might get to it, might not. He's not going to. Okay, we got a free kick. I'm just going to pass it off though. Now, Tiago has a little bit of space. Tiago tries to dink it up to Sammy. Sammy tried to dink it up again. That would have been something. Tiago into Klaassen. Klaassen gets it back. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted to pass it to. Thankfully, Taylor steals it back. Sammy out to Tiago. Tiago gets it back to Sammy Jorgensen. Jorgensen turns. Waits for something, gets it back to Klaassen. Klaassen shoots, rebound, will finally go in. And it's going to be a 4-2 win for Ajax. Oh man, for our first ever Champions League game, what a game. 2-0 down to 4-2. And we made this so much harder for ourselves. Like this team probably should have been like a, a more comfortable result, but they scored two good goals. We had to make the comeback and we did. Oh man, final subs on. This game feels so good to win after all that. And Sammy scored, Thiago scored. Like minus those first two goals, this has been like a dream game for us for our first ever Champions League game. Now I'm talking, the game is over. And the game is not over yet so maybe i should stop talking like that until the final whistle sounds because they might score another nope they won't wine dog gets it out thank you very much okay we have a chance for another because tiago good play and sammy jorgensen for just one more sammy jorgensen will not score oh that's so sad okay one more cross into it's gonna be out chance shoot maybe chance four it's gonna be Unavar, but his shot is blocked. And that should end a wonderful first game, though. We're bringing that same Anderlecht mentality where you never give up. We always feel like we can come back in a game. It seems like we brought that over to Ajax. And also, Thiago Messi, what a debut. We might remember this being the very first of many for uh, the son of Messi. Now, after the game in our post-game interview, we say that we definitely need a team to go over why we conceded those first two goals. But we loved the response and the comeback after. The team has shown that they can fight. So, I mean, I'm, I'm still not sure if we're gonna make it out of the group, but that first win gets us off to a decent start. It gives us a very good chance now our next game in the league is against Vitesse we currently sit fourth and we're six points off AZ so we need to try and like climb back into the title race now Vitesse are in 17th so I would say it should be an easy win but the past few times I've said that it has not been and also by the way we did send out our youth scouts so in the comments I saw Morocco and Denmark so our first little scouting run we'll see what we can find I mean trying to keep up that reputation of Ajax being a great youth academy but before our next game Sammy walks into our office and he says boss I really want to play striker I don't mind playing right wing if I have to but he says he really wants a chance to play up top and now against a team like Vitesse, it might be a chance to try the 4-2-2-2. Now, we could also do like a 3-5-2 if you want to play Bobby and Jorgensen up top. But I think I want to try this one first. So Jorgensen, Bobby, both up top, can say Sal, Bergvine, wingers, and then Varela, Taylor, midfield. We're going to try this against Vitesse. Now, after that last game, I got to start Thiago Messi again. So our first time playing Jorgensen and Bobby both in a striker duo. I mean, if this works, we could have like one of the most exciting young attacks in world football. Thiago Messi, Jorgensen, Bergwijn, and then uh, Bobby up top. This could be special. Let's see if it works though because in the past 4-2-2-2 i feel like it hasn't quite worked uh the best for me maybe this time it'll change should i give a chance for uh sammy and Robbie to have more combo play all right this is a good throw ball in though we gotta try and track that pass back and akboguma makes a good tackle find all in to taylor taylor has got Robbie. can he actually feed him in though oh man that was almost a really smart pass though and jorgensen tracking back a little bit i like that and say sal gets it over to taylor taylor has a chance to shoot a cross goal shoots and Taylor scores the first goal of the game. Okay, nine minutes in, already 1-0 to Ajax. Beautiful start. My one worry in the setup is only two midfielders, but if uh, Varela and Taylor can boss the midfield, it could work. 1-0 to Ajax, though. Oh, Windall, that is such a smart steal. Sammy is making a run. Sammy Jorgensen gets it back to Brobby. Oh, Sammy. What was that pass? I didn't want a flashy pass there. I don't know why we did that, but Sammy gets it over to Thiago Messi. In front of goal, shoots. Oh, Thiago hits the post and he comes back to the keeper. And Messi almost scores a second goal. Oh, that's a good run. Okay. What did my defender just do there? Um, I am... Uh, we we got to see that again. Um, uh, Akpoguma goes for a slide tackle and then breaks every bone in his body. What is that? That is a thing of nightmares. Bro, slide tackle and he just bounces up. Oh, he did a whole entire spin. Akbo Guma, are you okay? We need to get the stretcher out. What is that? Bro, he's literally walking off. What? What a psycho. Messi, Jorgensen, good pass into Brabi. Okay, Jorgensen, that play on the right wing or right mid, that passing, just came into play there because he played a beautiful ball into Brabi. 2-0 in the 27th minute. I mean, offensively, it seems like it's working. It's just I worry about defensively against better teams, if it would work the same. Messi over to Brabi. Brabi plays it to Thiago Messi. And oh, he puts this shot wide. That was such a good chance. And yeah, this has been domination. Sammy gets it to Brabi again. Brabi 
around the keeper. Tries to go for an impossible angle and misses. Man, I should have tried a chip shot there. Say so up to Brobby. Brobby gets it all. Kinsaisa, you're so offside. You're so offside. I try to cancel the pass. I can totally see Brobby holding the ball up, then getting it to Kinsaisa. And then Kinsaisa getting across to Sammy and scoring. I can easily see that. Now, this is the only issue because, like, we don't really have a true CDM. Okay, what a tackle by Jeremiah St. Just. Probably two can say so. Is it going to be right here? Can say so. I'm waiting for Sammy to get in a better spot. Kind of got it there. Sammy, header attempt. Oh, man, I almost spoke it into existence. The header was right at the keeper, though. Okay, another chance here, though. Okay, I think that's Taylor in the box. Say so. Wait for a wrench to overlap. He does. Can say so. That ball was terrible. Wrench keeps it in, but the corner, or cross, actually, is to no one. Taylor, Sammy gets it over to Tiago Messi. Tiago tries to get it to Brobby. Gets it to Brobby. Oh, man, that could have been such a nice goal. We are playing so well in this game right now. Halftime, it's 2-0. Come on, second half, we got to make sure they don't get back in this game at all. Because we've seen it before, where it happens a lot. Man, that's a good tackle, but it goes right back to them. That's so unfortunate. That is blocked. Okay, why do we just fall there? It always happens, second half, the teams come out playing better. You got to try and prevent that. Okay, we are just going on a run here. Say so, waiting for Brobby. Brobby, should be time there. Okay, that was uh, that was not to Brobby. That might have been my fault. I might have aimed too far to the right. Seeing their push right here for Tess is one push. Aquagumo get it out. Jorgensen out to Vindal. Vindal into Thiago Messi. Thiago tries to play a long ball to Brobby. Not a bad ball. Okay, defense is kind of scrambled here. I'm not sure why. Pass. Ruli, great save. Hey, once again, they're making their push. Also, by the way, I forgot. Ruli is captain when Klaassen is out. I feel like he's probably the best suited to be captain next, right? Since Timber was vice captain and he left, I feel like Ruli probably the best option. I don't know. If you guys have a better option, let me know. Please get it out. We got it out. Jorgensen to Thiago Messi. Messi cuts inside. Beautifully gets it to Taylor. Taylor over to Brobby. Brobby will shoot. And the shot had no power on it, though. Man, Thiago Messi is looking good, though. Like, he's not the quickest player, but his dribbling is so good that it kind of, like, allows him to get past players. Oh, that's a good corner. Ruli will catch it safely. Oh, what a good ball from Wrench. That's actually insane. Sammy, oh, try to get it to Thiago. All right, we might need some fresh legs on right now. Because I am sensing some tired legs out there. They just hit the post, and we barely survive. Okay, we got to score this third. Robbie got a long ball to Wrench. Great ball. Wrench, good first touch. Sammy, you're too close, though. Oh, Wrench, we got to play. Super long ball. Gets it over to Thiago Messi. Oh, we had to go for that volley. Can you imagine if he scored that? The fact that he got it on target shows that Thiago has that skill. Sammy, Jorgensen goes for a shot, and it goes over the net. All right, 12 minutes left. Bergwijn coming on. Also, like, Univar's on. I want just one more goal to seal this game. Because right now, it doesn't feel sealed. Good ball, good ball. But St. Just gets into it, and now we get the ball out. Very well. And I mean very well. Messi to Jorgensen. Jorgensen has Bergwijn. Bergwijn, keep making that run. Oh, man, I thought he was quick enough to get that. Come on, boys. Keep the clean sheet. Great tackle. Man, St. Just is such a good center back. But is he good enough to keep... This clean sheet, I'm not sure that needs to be a tackle. Varela misses it. Oh, I'm missing all these tackles, and they're gonna they're gonna not score because Ruli makes a great save. Bro, that dribbling was insane. I can't defend that. Okay, keeper is up here in the 89th minute, kind of a little bit early, but oh, does it get out? Oh, it's not gonna get out. There's an open net down the field. We get it out, Unavar. Oh, it's gonna be another corner or no, a goal kick. You know what? I'll take that. All right, second half wasn't that good as as good as the first half, but we do secure the win and we hang on to the clean sheet. So the two striker formation, I feel like it did work. Although against a better team, I'm worried that the defense will not be good enough. Not having that extra midfielder. All right, fast forward a few days. We just got home. We went for a little gym workout in the morning, but we get in, we get something to eat, we go take a shower. We of course gotta play a little bit with Fergie, but then we go straight to our office because it's business time. We are scouting our next game, which might be the toughest so far at Ajax. On the TV, we see a press conference by Diego Simeone. And Simeone says that he doesn't like young, arrogant managers. He thinks that modern football is going the wrong way. And he tries to say he's not talking about anyone specifically, but also that he's looking forward to the next game, which, in coincidentally, is against us. And we know Simeone is a little bit of a, I mean, a hothead, kind of. He's very outspoken. Obviously, he might not like us that much. So we are going to Madrid to play Letico Madrid. And that is not an easy place to play. So undoubtedly, our toughest game so far managing Ajax. And they have a very good team, a scary team. Now, if I'm being honest, I don't know what to play here, though. The 4-2-2-2 or the 4-3-3? I feel like with that 5 at the back, we might actually need the 4-2-2-2. So we're going to play that. It's a very big risk, but I'm going with my gut here. I mean, joining Ajax, we knew these type of games would come. Going to a very hostile environment. Playing a very good team that plays a very defensive style. It's going to be a tough game. Now, Messi's on the bench for this one. I feel like he's not exactly ready to start in a game like this. So 4-2-2 with uh, Brobby, Jorgensen, Bergvine, and Kinsesa. Let's uh, see what we can do. Okay, James St. Just, that's a very good tackle to start the game off. Now, I feel like that 5 at the back, we need everyone to get forward and overload because that will allow us to break through in their defense which also means we can't give up in a bad spot we can't let their attackers have freedom taylor out to bergvine bergvine get it back to taylor taylor looking for a pass but man they defended that so well once again the five of the back gonna be hard to break down bergvine up to sammy sammy 
Oh, could feed in. Oh, Brobby was so in there. That was a little bit too late. We are seeing the space, though. We're seeing it. Oh, we came with the ball again. These spots. These are the dangerous spots. That's Barella. Okay, they signed Barella. Bro, this Madrid team is insane. Oh, gets it over to Rodrigo de Paul, who Messi should know. Tiago Messi should know a little bit. And Memphis Depay scores. It's 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. Yeah, with that defending there was just terrible. Whenever they get in that spot on the wing there, we just always concede. Like, we need to prevent that. All right, 1-0 to Atletico Madrid in the 16th minute. Well, we can't let this get out of hand, though. Oh, it might score again. They might score again. Ruli, oh, really great save. And it bounces right back up to Barella. 2-0 down and now probably, what, 18 minutes? Yeah. All right, is the 4 triple 2 not working? I'm not sure it is. Man, that's so unfortunate. It was a good save. It just bounced right for him. All right, I'm going to give it maybe, like, 20 more minutes, 15 more minutes. Guys, if nothing changes, we might go back to... Honestly, you might have not enough time. Okay, what a tackle. That just saved it being from 3-0. Robbie Jorgensen, he was making a good run. Oh, he had a good first touch, but he needs to run outside of the defenders there. All right, Varela should win that he does. Robbie, chance to go for maybe a long shot. Goes for a long shot, but it's, it's completely sliced. Okay, we're going to a 4 through the holding with Kinseisau as the right attacking mid. We just need to have like a stronger midfield here. Our attack with the 4 2 looks good, but our defense just looks... Hair okay, it might not even matter. Because Memphis gets in behind my defense and he scores and it's 3-0. How does he get in behind like that easily? Are they just better? Like Akpaguma gets turned there. No, saying just gets turned. All right, 3-0 in 30 minutes. This is uh, kind of a disaster here. Once again, though, we never... We never give up, even when we probably should. And it's like Memphis and Felix, they're working so well together. I thought Griezmann was starting. They changed their lineup. Simeone faked me out, and they might score again. They are going to score again. It's 4-0. Our defense just can't contain Felix or Depay. 34 minutes. It is 4-0. I am shocked. I've only gotten beaten like this recently by Manchester United with Anderlecht, where it just feels like we stand literally no hope. Like, literally nothing. We are just hopeless for our life. I've never seen a team play this good. 38th minute, it's 5-0. This passing is just insane, though. The triangles, the one-touch shot. What am I supposed to do there? I think we're looking at the literally worst loss of our career right now. All right, we just need to play like we're not looking at the score anymore. We are just playing, trying to get one goal at a time. I mean, our biggest challenge yet, I didn't think it would go like this, though. I thought we'd at least stand more of a chance. Bro, Felix, they're just playing insane, like literally insane. But Akpoguma just did not clear it. 45 minutes, it is 6-0. I've never lost this bad ever, I don't think. Like, bro, the turn by Felix, ball in. I tried to clear this. I thought he was going to clear it, but... Oh, he just... I guess he did miss it or something. Uh, halftime, it is currently 6-0. Nil to Atletico Madrid. You know what? You're about to see the greatest second half comeback of all time right now. You're about to see it. Brobby, Brobby. Oh, Bergwijn was so in there, but now he's offside. Sammy, Brobby, Brobby. Through to Berg. Oh, we just can't find any lanes right now either. Say so. I was going to try to play to Sammy, bro. They're stopping every single pass we make, any attempt. And now we're playing desperate, playing like very risky passes. But pretty much because we have to. Say so. I was going to find a ball to Brobby. Finally, a ball gets through. But there's not many options to attack this at all. Jorgensen gets it to Brobby. Brobby. Taylor. Gets it back. One more. Just need one more pass to Kinsaysa or just one more. Okay, Varela good steal. At least we're showing some fight here. Although not much. Kinsaysa gets it to Brobby. Brobby. We just can't get any chance. Any clear chance right now. Brobby into Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it back to Brobby. Brobby will shoot that. Oh, the shot is just terrible though. I feel like we were never meant to win this game. We had zero chance. Now, Messi's coming on. I don't know why, but Thiago Messi's coming on. Also, Matazzo's getting his debut. He hasn't played yet. Our new uh, Belgium CDM. 20 minutes to score six goals. Yeah, we could totally do that. Thiago through to Jorgensen. Look at their defense, bro. Simeone doesn't want us to get even one goal, but we might get one because Bergwijn shot. That's actually one of our first shots. That is, uh, that is depressing. Bergwijn cross in. Sammy can't get to that. Matazo, okay, I was gonna go for that shot, I guess not. Messi goes for the shot, that is blocked, and it's gonna go right to their player. Okay, that's a great steal. Into Tiago, Messi shoots, and he even hits, like, the back little post thing. Now we know how Tenog felt in that Liverpool game. We know the same pain. I have never felt more hopeless in a game, ever. Uh, Rench is making a great run here, Kinsaysa. Why is Kinsaysa still running? Sir, the ball is behind you. Oh, they might make it seven. Please don't. Ruli, thank you. And they take just one corner, and they get back immediately. That is going to be a through ball to Jorgensen. We just literally cannot find any space. Jorgensen, great tackle, though. That is a small, bright moment. Something to smile about. Because there's not much right now. Bro, they just... I cannot believe. Oh, my. Outside the boot to make it seven. We were just never meant to do anything in this game. This is probably the worst loss I've ever had in any series. But we are also playing on the hardest sliders and competitor mode. So, technically, it's also the hardest settings we've ever played on. So, it makes sense. Sammy... Could get one back. All oh, Black makes the save. It doesn't make it any less sad. Corner in. Can someone fight for that? Can they get something? Can say so? Right to All Black. And full time whistle sounds. Our suffering is done. Bro, I have never felt that hopeless in a game ever. It felt literally since like the whistle started. 
we stood no chance at all. That is the kind of game that you bury deep into your head and never think about, never talk about it, unless you're in therapy. So that sets us in third. We're still only one point off Atletico Madrid and Spurs though. So despite how bad that was, we're still not in bad shape. We still have a chance. So Thiago Messi on his debut episode, I feel like he did pretty well. He's one of the better 70 overall players I've ever used. We could mold him into a player that's close to his father, I think. Now we have bounced back in the league. We're only one point behind AZ now. So we're right there trying to head into first place. And then Champions League, that win against Spurs was huge because we're now in second place. Now we're going to face Spurs on the reverse leg in London. So that game might be the most important of our Champions League group stage. So a lot of ups and downs, but I like the direction of this team, the direction we've given them. Now later in the week, we're in our office and Sven Mislintat walks in. He says that they've been notified of an opportunity to sign a certain striker, that he is one of the most special prospects in world football and we need to convince him to join. That'll be in the next episode. Okay, we just signed Lionel Messi's son, Thiago Messi, and he actually scored on his debut in the Champions League. Now, will he be better than his father. I guess only time will tell. Now we've had a bit of a rocky start to life at Ajax, a bit of inconsistency, but if we look at the tables, we're not actually doing that bad. We are slowly, slowly transforming this team, recapturing some of that Ajax magic, and today we might add to that with an absolute future star. So drop a like if you want daily episodes, and come on, you gotta drop a like for me my girlfriend's dog Trixie. It's illegal if you don't, but okay, let's get back into it. So right now we're taking a walk in downtown Amsterdam. We're just taking in the sights of our new home, and we even got noticed by a few Ajax fans, and it feels like the support for the team has grown a lot since we first arrived. But okay, first comment, I think you should use a 5-3-2 formation. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I kind of agree. If we want to play Brabby and Jorgensen as strike partners, I feel like the 5-3-2 might be the best way to do that. We are definitely going to test that in this episode. With the performance Brabby has been showing, I won't be surprised if he makes a big move to bigger club in the January transfer window. I mean, right now, Brabby is playing amazing for us. I did not expect him to be this good. And that January window is approaching, so we'll see what happens. And last one, sign Yenizai and save his career. Yeah, you know what? I feel like Yenizai actually might fit into this Ajax team. If we're forced to uh, sell a few players, I wouldn't mind bringing him here because we've revived the careers of Delhi, Eden Hazard, maybe Yanazai is next. So for us to get Robby and Jorgensen as strike partners, I think the only way we do that is in this 3-5-2 formation. Now it's the same starting 11, the same exact players as the 4-3-3. It's just arranged differently. So we're going to try that in the episode for sure. Now before our next game, Sven Mislintat, the sporting director of Ajax, walks into our office. Now he says, remember that player I told you about? And we say the striker prospect, right? And he says, yes, he's flying in next week. He has offers from multiple teams, but he wants to talk to you before he makes his final decision. So that'll be after our next game, which our next game is the biggest of our Champions League group stage. Now we currently sit in second, two points above Spurs. If we draw or win this, we have a good chance making it out of the group. But if we lose, there's a good chance Spurs make it out and we get grouped in the Champions League. It's not definitive, but this game right here is the most important one of the group stage, the entire group stage. So although I want to test it out, I think this game we go with the trusty 4-3-3 because we literally just beat Tottenham using this formation. So by this time we are in London and they're going to want their revenge. And this is also save their Champions League hopes too. Now I have decided to go with uh, Kinsesa this game over Jorgensen. Basically due to his dribbling, I feel like we might need Kinsesa as like better dribbling stats to penetrate this Spurs defense. So we'll see what we can do. As long as we don't lose, we'll be in good shape. But if we lose, it is panic time. All right, this is already kind of a bad start, but Varela makes a very good tackle. We cannot let them get in those dangerous spots right there. Now, Clausen Taylor has got Brobby. Okay, that's not Brobby. That's not exactly where I aimed at, but it's fine. Okay, someone's got a Mark Lacelso. Someone's got a Mark Lacelso. Gets it over to Lucas. Mindal misses a tackle. That's going to be a tackle. Oh, okay, Sotalo. What a strong challenge that is. Brobby to Bergvine. Bergvine against his former team cuts inside is gonna try to play long ball you know what that's not bad now wrench good first touch swing it in someone can get to it okay no one is even close to i don't know if it's something about spurs but i feel very confident playing against them for some reason not at all like Atletico madrid i am terrified of Atletico madrid now they gave me the worst loss i think i've ever had Bergvine, that shot was so slow. Like, weirdly slow. I can say so. This is what I'm playing you for. Oh, man. Probably was in there, too. Okay, Richarlison turns. Sotalo, that's not good. Lucas is probably looking for Richarlison. I don't want to see the bird celebration. If Richarlison scores, I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, they just broke our press very well there. Oh, man. Richarlison's in. St. Just. St. Just. What a tackle. And the ball goes right back to him. Bro, St. Just is like uh, Kamal Miller 2.0. He's just so good. Bergvine. Okay, he went around him there. So that back five is incredibly hard to break down. He's got to find the seams. Bergvine out to Vindal. Vindal, good cross in, but it's not going to reach anyone. Right, let's go through the middle this time. Good passing. Robbie gets it over to Kinsesa. Kinsesa into Clausen. What a beautiful move by Ajax. Oh, man, that passing was just picture perfect. 1-0 at the London Stadium. Man, the combo play, Bergvine, Brobby to Kinsesa, back to Clausen. It is just beautiful. All right, 1-0 in the 27th minute. We might have Spurs number at Ajax. Now, that's a good ball to Richarlison. We're defending this well, though. I think we are. That's going to be okay. He just missed it and we'll clear it. That was incredibly dangerous. Okay, they're starting to get the game a little bit. Is that a foul? No, it's not a foul. It's a strong challenge by Vindal. Beautiful. Oh, man. Okay, this is dangerous again. Dangerous, dangerous. I need to make a tackle. 
Uh, St. Just made a very, uh, that was risky. Kind of just went right at him. Thankfully, it didn't end in disaster, but this corner might. But can Seisaw gets it out? Robbie, second clearance is great. Okay, counterattack is about to happen now. Robbie gets it to Bergvine. Bergvine, do you have the pace? He does. Bergvine, is it? Steven Bergvine. Oh, he completely sliced the shot. I had so much confidence in Bergvine. Oh, this game should be 2-0 right now. Okay, we're still looking good, but man, we should have two goals, not just one. Bergvine over to Clausen. Clausen. Oh, that pass was so bad. It can say so. It had no juice on it. Hoybeer up to Sun. Gets it to the man who I do not want to score. Hoybeer. Oh, St. Just, St. Just, great, great defending. How many times have I said that so far in this team? Say so, also great dribbling into Wrench. Wrench, okay, Robbie's calling for it. It's going to be, uh, is that handball? It's handball. All right, two subs, the inter Miami youngsters, Thiago Messi, and also Sammy Jorgensen. Now, I think we're going to try and lift this in with a little bit of curl on it. So, see what we got. That's not bad. Thiago Messi almost just scored with his first touch. That was not a bad little free kick. Now, corner in. Can someone get to that? Sammy gets to it, but it's right at the keeper. Okay, this is a quick counterattack. Lucas is in. Oh, Ruli. Ruli, what a save. I thought that was a goal right there. Come on, boys. Don't let them tie this up. A home team, if they tie it up, they're going to get so much momentum. Oh, Lucas, that dribbling is insane. And they're going to score. I can just feel it. That move by Lucas is the reason they scored. It destroyed me. All right, this game is now 1-1. Yeah, I can't let Lucas get by me there. I just can't do that. All right, 1-1 with about 30 minutes left. Again, as long as we don't lose, it's not a bad result. If we draw, that'd be a great result at least. Because we faced that team you guys said it's from Cyprus, the Applewell team. If we beat them, I think it might be enough to uh, send Spurs out of the group if we don't lose this game. But if we win it, it would be obviously even better. Now, Taylor has a chance to go for a shot. That's blocked. Clausen, okay, can't even control it. Barella into... Tiago Messi, his shot is blocked. At least we're keeping the ball, though. Barella gets it to Sammy. Sammy, oh, man, I was going to try to play it to wrench right there. All right, Klaassen off for uh, Van Den Boomen for a little bit more defensive ability. I just feel like there's one more goal in this game. I don't know for which team, though. Carlison gets it over to Benton Kerr. Now, that's going to be a good tackle by Varela. Not quite good enough, but second one. Oh, falls right to them, and Ruli does make the save at least. That would have been so unfortunate if they scored that. 77th minute corner in Varela. Okay, we'll go back to... Keeps it in. Wait, what? It's a goal kick. I thought he kept that in. It was going to be a tap in. Tiago into Taylor. Taylor. Try to wait for Tiago. Gets to him. Tiago. Does he have a cross to Sammy? Sammy. Jorgensen. He was absolutely climbing for that, but he couldn't get it. We got six minutes. All we have to do is not concede. And pretty much they need to score, so they're about to throw everything at us. Okay, do not let Benton Kerr buy us. We cannot do that. Oh, we kind of did it there. Oh, we played it out. Thank you. Three minutes. If we keep this ball, it'll be such a big result. Just don't lose it. Keep possession. We got two minutes added on. Just everyone relax. Van den Boomen out to Sammy. I'm giving it to the 6'5 man or 6'4 man. Hold this. Oh, the strength. Sammy does the job. Van den Boomen cross in, and it's going to be cleared, but we have done it. Man, that is like one of the best draws I've I've had in a series so this is huge we stay above spurs now and if we beat that up well team our chances of making it out of the group of death just went up so much look at that class on target and draw against ajax wait class on target against ajax i'm not sure what that's about so a win would have been nice but if we beat up well and then atletico madrid beat spurs we're through to the knockout stage so now we just need spurs to lose against uh diego simeone's atletico madrid but okay that striker prospect has flown in and we're about to reveal who it is now he was recently released from his team in the save that player is going to be kyle jorge the former Juventus striker I guess former now but after all the Juventus drama they had to release him and now he just gets to freely choose his next team and I mean, if you ask me I see the Brazilian Ronaldo here wait wait wait. the Brazilian Cristiano Ronaldo the CR7 he's six foot he's got really good pace really good strength and jumping but probably most importantly he's got 85 dribbling combined with all that also good shot power I feel like if we train him up he could be the Brazilian Cristiano Ronaldo I see so much potential here and the fact that this man's a free agent we're gonna try and convince him to join so we meet in our office and Jorge says he has offers from Chelsea, Bayern Munich, and Manchester United. He says, why should I pick Ajax over those other teams? And we say, this club Ajax is known for taking players just like you with your skill set and transforming them into world-class footballers. You will not get that kind of development anywhere else. And compared to those other teams at Ajax, we can give you a much more clear path to the starting 11. And we really believe in you as a player. And he says he likes what he hears, but he's going to talk it over with his agent and his family first. And after a few days, we get a call back from Kyle Jorge. He wants to sign for Ajax. So now all is left is to decide on a contract contract looks good i think we just signed maybe the next cristiano ronaldo because kyle jorge is now joining ajax i mean tenog had his uh antony at ajax maybe kyle jorge could be our antony he has that potential and we're about to see that potential maybe firsthand in our next game against psv our first matchup with them now they're in fourth we're in first but only a five point lead over them so this meeting is a very big game and i think we might give the 352 a chance in this one and i wanted to start jorge but i think it's better maybe coming off the bench in his first game he will make an appearance no doubt though so 352 for the very first time in a very big game against PSV. 
I feel like definitely against teams that are more our level or even worse, this formation might be really good. And also, yeah, I forgot to say, Verskaren. That's Verskaren right there, our former player. I totally forgot. He made a move to PSV and he's like 85 rated. So we're facing our former player there. I totally forgot. So this one could be interesting. Let's see uh, Sammy, Robbie up top together. I want this to work, Gorilla into taylor taylor gonna try to dink it up to sammy oh man that would have been a good ball if sammy was actually looking for it oh clausen great steal robbie tries to get it to clausen clausen he actually got something on that but it was his hand okay let's get their ball come on defense look at our look at our numbers back we should be more defensively sound then the four triple two that's a good shot though it was blocked thankfully and then okay taylor actually won that okay the strength from kenneth taylor i was not expecting that but i like it taylor cuts inside sammy sammy organson this run is kind of too angled right good play back to robbie though we do robbie Chance to shoot, and it hits side netting. You know what? Not a bad move, though. I like that attack. Okay, that's a good through ball, but... Okay, Satalo, is that a foul? Nope, Satalo, great tackle. He looks Satalo, he's been good, but I feel like Jeremiah St. Just is so good that he overshadows everyone else. Probably to Taylor. Taylor has got Sammy making a run. Also, Taylor's got room to shoot. He's going to get it to Robbie. Robbie. good first touch. Tries to go farther away. Oh, man, that could have fell to Clausen. Taylor to Sammy Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Waits for Brobby. I was actually going to aim for, uh, I was aiming for Kloss in there. All right, not a bad start, though. I like the setup. I like the way the team looks. Bergvine into Taylor. Taylor. Going to try to play it all the way to Wrench. I like it. Cross in. Okay, I don't know how that cross went at the player, but I'll take it. All right, corner sent in. Now, that's going to go to St. Justin. It's going to almost be like a pretty good header. Now, I'm aiming for Sammy this whole time, but the ball never goes to Sammy on these corners. This one might actually. Nope, that goes to Brobby. That's a great corner, though. No one can get their head to it. It's hollow to Steven Bergvine. Steven Bergwine, what a shot. Sammy, oh, that's got to be in the back of the net right there, though. Oh, Bergwine, what a shot. But this header by Sammy, I mean, I guess it was tough, but I was trying to head into the ground. Scar, and you are a former player. I totally forgot he went to PSV. That's hilarious. We molded him into the player he is over two seasons. Yeah, Taylor is going to find Sammy Jorgensen with one of the passes of the season, but he's just offside. Jorgensen gets it back. Taylor, Taylor. Has a chance to probably shoot this himself. Kenneth Taylor is going to be saved by their keeper. Come on, this first goal is right there for us. Corner in. It's going to go to St. Justin. It's going to be another save. Corner in. St. Justin again. It's the same exact save. Okay, that bounces up. Robbie, go for a bicycle kick. Uh, I don't know what Robbie just tried there, but I respect it. Oh, that was a bad pass by me. Very bad, but Weindahl in a great spot to save me. Now, Robbie, great dribbling into Bergvine. Sammy. You might be in here. You should be. Sammy Jorgensen. The power of Sammy Jorgensen. We got too close to the keeper. Oh, man. I wanted to get just a clearer shot right there. All right. I'm finishing this game. has not been great, but everything else doesn't look that bad. Sammy will shoot. Uh, saved. That almost went in. Maybe last chance. The first half. Brobby could go for that. Okay. He goes for it, but the keeper is just going to grab it. And that was kind of domination by us. We just can't find the goal yet. Now I'm thinking Kyle Jorge debut coming up very soon here. I want to see if he actually is the Brazilian uh, CR7. Now that's a great ball though. This is a very fast start to the second half. Oh, that pass is so good. Why isn't... Okay. That's Bergvine. Maybe that's a problem with this formation. Bergvine, he does not have a mark exactly. He's not a defender, so I can't be mad there. That was a great ball though. And that's also a good pass. That is why they scored, but Akiyoko is unmarked is because that is uh, Bergvine. All right. One out of PSV. Man, that is so against the run of play though. Like we been the better team okay they're looking for a quick two fire goals and oh my that shot is so bad they should have scored that jorgensen could find probably here oh man so close to combining bergvine a taylor can we get can we just tie this up please now probably was in there but i think we might get a better chance if we wait taylor tries to get it back to bergvine that is defended so well good tackle by vindal come on boys you gotta tie this up this game feels a lot different though the second half feels like they all of a sudden they're the better team a switch has flipped just like that but clausen has probably Great ball to Brobby. Brobby will shoot and Brobby will score. What a ball by Clausen. Okay, game is tied up in the 60th minute. Bro, I didn't think I'd play Clausen this much this year, but every time he plays, he does so many good things. Like the leader in the team, what a cross and Brobby, what a finish. First time off the volley, beautiful. All right, it is time though. Kyle Jorge debut for Ajax at left mid over Bergvine. Is he the next CR7? We are about to find out maybe. At least a uh, hint if he is. Bro, they're playing different in the second half though. This is going to be a very tough second half. I can already tell Varela, good steal though. Right, Varela to Jorge, Jorge. Gets it. Oh, man. Probably should have got that. It was going to be a, a quick give and go. The chemistry isn't quite there yet. But this is a great ball. Bakayoko is having a very good game here. And okay, St. Just, that defending is just so good. Brobby through to Kyle Warre. Now he is running forward. He's going to do a little skill there. Get it to Brobby. Brobby into Sammy. Sammy gets it back to Taylor. Taylor will shoot. What a save by their keeper. Okay, Kyle Warre is on a run here. He is looking spry. 
Tries to get it to Sammy Organs and he does. Sammy, rebound. The Benitez is going to get it. Now that's a great ball. Bakayoko again. Bakayoko again. He's just so dangerous. Same dress though again. I don't, I'm not going to even say it this time. You already know what I'm going to say. Man, we got five minutes. I'm not sure. Okay, Varela, great tackle actually. Lawson gets it to Brobby Brobby. Through to Sammy Jorgensen. Oh man, the pass was way too powerful. It needed to be softer. Come on, boys. We got to steal this. We got to steal this. Oh, Varela can't steal it. Okay, they might get the final chance. Bakayoko running forward. Good ball. Varela was in a good spot there. Bakayoko tracks it back we do clear it oh but that's gonna be full time man we could have won this game honestly though a draw might be a fair result they played well i think well enough to earn a point i think we did too so it's unfortunate but i'm not i'm not exactly mad at that and also kyle Jorge, i mean he created like three chances in the last like 15 20 minutes first little impression looks good so next game is up well in the champions league we could secure a spot in the knockout stage here if we win and atletico madrid beat spurs so we're gonna sim this can we get a good result it's gonna be a 4-0 win st just bergvine st just and Klassen. now did spurs lose to atletico madrid Oh, yes, they did. Spurs lose. So that confirms we make it out of the group of death this year. For us to make it out of this group, our manager rating in Europe, like our popularity, I think just went up. And we also have a chance to get in the first over Letico Madrid because we faced them on the final match day where we can maybe get revenge. That means our next game, which is the most important game of our group stage, the rematch versus Letico Madrid. We're going into this game on just very shaky form. If we can beat them, though, we'd finish in first place. But also a bad thing is Brobby is out for this game. He's only out for a week, but he is going to miss this one. So it's just so incredibly unlucky. But okay, back home, we're sitting outside with Fergie, just trying to relax and de-stress. Now, I think Kyle Jorge looks like a very good player. Maybe he is the next CR7, but he might need some help. So we give a call to our good friend Miguel Ramirez, and we ask him to get in touch with Cristiano Ronaldo himself to see if he can meet with Kyle Jorge and maybe train him up a little bit, maybe in the offseason, because we think Jorge could really benefit from that. And Ramirez says that he'll see what he can do. I mean, a summer of training with Ronaldo could make Jorge an absolute beast. Now, against Letigo Madrid with Brobby out, we're definitely going to play the 4-3-3. I'm just, who do I play over him? Definitely Jorgensen, right? definitely now Bergwijn actually hasn't played that great so I think I might start Jorge in this one too I might go with this lineup right here now these results have been just uh not satisfactory at all recently and now we face the team that beat us 7-0 in the last episode can we get revenge and can Kyle Jorge show that he is the next Cristiano Ronaldo it is kind of wild we have a chance to actually be in first in the group stage that win and draw against Spurs was just so big but right here we have a chance to do something special against uh, Diego Simeone we know he doesn't like us very much so to win here would be so incredibly sweet but I am scared because this team is just insane this time though four through three a more traditional lineup taylor has jorgensen jorgensen okay let's stop let's be more patient patience is always rewarded taylor gets in the box we'll shoot that one's gonna be blocked though bro this their attack is literally insane like their players are so skillful this is like a nightmare for competitor mode thankfully DePaul paul is offside okay vindal is making a great run though you got sammy at striker which means a better cross option goes all the way to kinsaysa out not gonna get to him though not a bad idea now kinsaysa was hurt that is not good oh man we're out of position here griezmann oh, okay wrench recovered there so well please don't score please Oh, Memphis. Thank you. Really saves it. Bro, it's just so hard to defend that. I saw some comments saying to turn competitor mode off, but honestly, with it off, the game is just too easy. It's not only skill moves, like the AI is a lot more unpredictable on competitor mode on. So we're going to leave it on. Just try to get better at defending these skill moves. Now, Kinsesa, okay, Varela, you're so offside, but Kinsesa was hurt. That is not good. Wrench has a chance. Sammy's calling for it. Sammy goes to Kyle Jorge instead. He leaped for that one. Looked a little bit like Ronaldo there. Clausen to Taylor to Jorge. Jorge, chance to shoot. It's blocked, Jorge. Gets it over to Taylor Volley attempt and all black is going to save it. Corner in by Varela. That is going to be Saint just and it's another save by all black. All right, we're going to go for a shorter corner here in the front. That's going to be cleared though. All right, so far though, it's not 7-0. So I would say we're doing a bit better than the last time. Mind all. Varela. Uh, Clausen's calling for it. Can say so. Could get to him. Ren and Lodi. What a tackle or interception, I mean. Oh, Griezmann. That touch was so good. Memphis. He's going to look for a track back, but San Justin good there. Yeah, can say so. Has to be taken off now. I'm going to do probably Bergwijn for him. And we go with that. Okay, that is a crazy long ball, but I think. I think we have it. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Griezmann versus Vindal. I don't like this matchup. I don't like any matchup here, really, unless it's St. Just. He's the only one I trust. Okay, maybe I trust Vindal, too. Taylor will feed Jorge on his run. Jorge is doing very well here. He's going to cut inside. Jorge. Okay, he is looking. Pretty good here. Shot is right at the keeper, though. You see the flashes of his talent, though. Okay, first half, I mean, nil-nil. I'm surprised. I thought there'd be, I thought this would be a goal fest. At least up until now, it's not. But it could very much turn into one. Okay, Varela, great steal. Klaassen tries defeating Jorgensen. Their defense is just so hard to break down. We didn't score against them last time. You can see why. They're just so good defensively. Oh, don't tell me that Griezmann is this. Okay, he's actually on side. And why are we marking him, boys? Why are we marking him? Oh, it's going to get back. And somehow they don't score from that i didn't even know what was happening there taylor through to jorge sammy 
is making a decent run. Is it going to get to him? Not quite. Griezmann is going to find. I'm going to go for the slide. And okay, Satalo to save to go with that slide. Oh, man, we're hanging on by a thread right now, though. We're just having so much trouble breaking down their defense. As I'm saying it, though. Oh, we organized. I think he's offside. I think he is. He doesn't even go for it, though. I think he was offside. That is a great ball. Jao Felix leaves it. Satalo. No. Oh, really? What a save. And somehow that's a free kick. Okay, man. Once again, hanging on by a thread. Mind you, we have to win this game to finish first. So a draw doesn't really help us much. So at some point, we got to go for it. And it is that time right now. Jorge, good touch. Taylor into Clausen. Clausen will go for a finesse shot. Clausen hits the post for the second time today. Taylor into Jorge. Jorge, chance to go for a shot. Okay, he wouldn't exactly turn there to shoot. We got 20 minutes. I don't feel that great about this. Taylor to Jorge. Jorge, cuts inside. Kyle Jorge, chance to score. Okay, Klaassen, you got in the way of a great shot by Kyle Jorge. That hit him right in the back. Who was that, Taylor? I don't even know. Probably Jorge's best move of the episode, and his teammate blocks his shot. That's so unfortunate. Okay, Tiago Messi left wing, Jorge up top, Jorgensen on the right, and Bergvine at cam. We got 10 minutes. This is the definition of going for it, because a draw or loss doesn't hurt us much. But if we win, we can actually do something. So we are going for the win, and really we'll catch that. Jorge is going to try to find Jorgensen. He does. Jorgensen, oh, his first touch wasn't the best. Oh, we're so attacking. We got to defend, though. No, if they score this, our chance is over. Thankfully, that pass is so bad. And that will be a throw in, I think. Okay, we got five minutes and possession. Diago Messi, Bergvine, he's onside. He's onside. Bergvine, far post to Kyle Jorge. He leaps and he misses it. Oh, the cross might have just not been good enough. Oh, man, that was such a good chance. I think the cross is just too high for him. Do we have another chance? We might. No, 30 seconds. Really get it forward. No, the ref blows the whistle. We actually had a chance there. And that was such like, a close game, though. For a team that we lost 7 0 to, I think this game was redemption a little bit. Like, we competed. I kind of feel like towards the end, we were the better team. Oh, man, though. Kyle Ore had a chance to win at the end so close. I mean, the stats show we actually played a better game than them. So I'll take that as a moral victory. So that does mean we finish second in our Champions League group. So we're probably going to get a tougher uh, round of 16 matchup. Actually, maybe Sevilla, Benfica. I would like those two teams. But Eredivisie, we now sit in second place behind Feyenoord. So we got to try and catch them. Now we're about to enter the January transfer window, though, in the next episode. And when a transfer window comes around, you just never know what's going to happen to your better players in a team like this. And I think Jorge has so much potential in this team. It just needs to be unlocked still. He's still pretty raw as a prospect. But if uh, certain players leave in January, if big teams come in for them, there could be a bigger role for Jorge in this team. Okay, we might might have just found Brazil's Cristiano Ronaldo in Caio Jorge, adding him to the long list of young talent we are building here at Ajax. Now, in this episode, we have the January transfer window. The Champions League knockout stage begins as we try to hold on to the top of the Eredivisie. Now, we are going to look to sign players, but we also may be forced to lose players as well. So drop a like if you are enjoying this series and let's get back into it. Now, it's about 3 a.m. in the morning and we're just comfortably sleeping away off in dreamland and all of a sudden our phone starts ringing on our nightstand. Sven missed Tad is calling us at 3 a.m. He tells us to get to the office now. We've received some unexpected transfer offers. But first, which club next? You can go to the Serie A and manage Napoli, maybe. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure which team we should go to after Ajax. We could go to the Premier League. We go to the Bundesliga. We go to Serie A. There's definitely a lot of options, but let me know what you guys think. When should we leave Ajax? Like season two, should we leave? Season three? When do you think it's the right time to move to a new club? And next, what I'm hearing rumors, Ajax have placed you on a 10-game probation after the Atleti disaster game. Yeah, we lost to Atletico Madrid 7-0. And then we also lost to Feyenoord 3-0. So honestly, I'm not surprised that maybe our job is starting to become in jeopardy. I mean, is there a chance we get fired from Ajax? And last one, we want to see some of the awards ceremony as well. Yeah, so we could do like an end of season awards show, kind of like we've done in the past a little bit. We could do like player of the year, best young player, maybe also like most improved player. Let me know if you guys actually want to see that though. So now to the very unfortunate news here. Middle of the night, we have received two transfer offers. One from AC Milan for Steven Bergvine for 36.7 million. And then the next one is for Brian and Brobby from Chelsea for 63.2 million. So we have two offers from two teams that are much bigger than us for two of our best players. I'm not going to lie. This is an absolute disaster here. Also, by the way, I saw this Inter Miami win the Club World Cup. Look at Messi. I mean, that's kind of cool. Now, these offers came one day within the transfer window starting. And we've heard from the players themselves. Robbie wants to go to Chelsea. And also, Bergvine wants to go to AC Milan. So we have to sell both of them. They don't want to stay. Talk about a crazy turn in the middle of the season. We're about to literally lose two starters into our best players and probably actually our best player in Brian Brobby. So first up, Bergvine, let's go like maybe 39. I'm happy with that, honestly. That's well over his value. So 39 million, they accept that. And I guess Bergvine's off his way to AC Milan. Now let's talk with Chelsea. I mean, Todd Bowley is spending money. doesn't care. He's throwing money left and right. So it makes sense. Uh, Lampard, put on a shirt. What are we doing here? Just walk in my office like that. Um, Let's go 66, I think. I don't want to get too much because then they walk away. If you try to get the full amount, they pretty much walk away on this mod. So uh, let's go 64, 64. 
That's a healthy amount. That'll recoup a lot of money that we spent on players. And I actually know they don't like spending that much money. So 64 million for Brobby. And I think we just lost two of our best players. It is happening. Bergvine is first to leave. Man, that is so unfortunate. I liked him a lot. He actually wasn't that good though. He had his moments, but Bergvine has left AC Milan. And then following right behind him is Brian Brobby. Man, he was so good for us. He was almost too good. That's the reason that he got this move. He outperformed the team. Chelsea saw that and they spent big bucks on him. So Brobby is off to the Premier League. And now we need to figure out a replacement might be a big change to the team right now so that does give us about a hundred million to spend now i've turned kaiore into a left wing and also given him the number seven shirt to truly match that cr7 energy and then sammy organson has finally turned into a striker and he actually went plus three up to 80 also gave him the number nine shirt as well so we kind of already have replacements for bergwijn and Brobby there in jorgensen striker and then kaiore left wing but is that really good enough like is that just a like for like replacement is that good enough honestly i don't think it is so we're gonna make a slight change to our formation we're gonna play with a central attacking midfielder now down the middle with uh, Taylor Varela both drop back a little bit together. Run three is going to be Jorge. Jorgensen and Canseso. And we're going to sign a new central attacking mid to be the heart of the team, the key to this team right now. And it's a player that we played against in the first uh, season of this Journey Man series. We not only played against us, but played so well against us. That player is going to be Atlanta United's Thiago Almada. 23 years old, 81 overall. Switching our style to have a cam down the middle and signing Thiago Almada, I think it could transform this team. And it's about time he makes a move from the MLS. I mean, look at his stats. I feel like he would be so good at Ajax. He's got insane pace and like physical stats. And then he's also got 82 finish finishing 86 dribbling really good passing too he could help Jorgensen can say so and Jorge play so much better if he's behind them being the playmaker for this team and with our budget being up now we can afford him it's very unfortunate we lost probably but I think this is the best pivot so we are gonna do let's do 48 million that is a very healthy amount 48 and they flat out accept when we were at Inter Miami we faced Atlanta United and I'm pretty sure like both times we played them Almada scored in both games so we know firsthand how good he is now this does mean Klaassen goes to the bench probably but I mean it's time for the new players to come in so just like that Thiago Almada is signed up to Ajax. A huge move for his career and also a big moment for this club in this rebuild. It's a key moment for us. I truly feel though he can unlock this team and this will definitely benefit both Jorgensen and Kyle Jorge with their new playmaker behind them, Thiago Almada. And the number 10 shirt is free so it fits perfectly with Thiago Almada. So after losing Brobby, losing Bergvine, that is the new starting 11. We are putting our faith in Jorgensen, Kyle Jorge, and also Almada to transform this Ajax side. And it's time for this new look Ajax side to make their debut. So Thiago Almada gives a press conference for his first game and he says that when he heard Ajax wanted to sign him he didn't think twice about it this is a historic club and he could not be prouder wearing the shirt for the first time so we face fortuna statard uh yikes but okay new formation we got new starters let's see how this first game goes and there's of course tiago amada making his debut for ajax i'm feeling good things i think jorgensen needs like a cam to connect him with the attack so i feel like since we have that now him and jorge might go crazy we might see the next early holland and also the next cristiano ronaldo both flourish in this team but okay we're in second place so we gotta try to stick with fine still so we gotta keep Trying to win Jorgensen. That's a great first touch. Jorgensen. Okay, the second touch was so heavy. I was not expecting that. Say so up to Jorgensen. Get it back to Can Say So. And Say So gets it to wrench. Wrench. Oh, Jorgensen, you're so offside. I think he's offside. Was he offside? Okay, yeah, he was. I was gonna say he looked definitely offside. Rella into Can Say So. Now wrench is making a good run here. Wrench. Going in. We all get a shot away, and the shot is right at the keeper, though. Okay, we're getting chances at least. Taylor making a run. Jorge plays it back to Vindal. Gets it over to Kinsaiso. And somehow the keeper saved that. That was like deflected. Okay, good start though. Almada. First touch has a chance to play to New Jorgensen. He's on side. I think he was offside. Okay, Sammy, stay on side. Now, wrench over to Sammy. Sammy into Almada. Almada plays it through to Sammy Jorgensen. The first combo play, and the shot is right at the keeper. Okay, we've had like four shots now. Still no goal, though. Okay, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Trying to mark him is an absolute nightmare. And their first chance, they're going to score. Bro, like the skill moves, when they go crazy like that, it really feels impossible to defend. We can always do better, but still. Varela are both. Just look at Varela right there. He's just standing there. There's players in the box to mark. Okay, 1-0. After our great start, we go down 1-0. I can't believe that. We're not losing this game, though. I won't allow us to. Jorgensen over to Taylor. Taylor gets it out wide to Vindal. Sammy, get it back on side, please. Vindal. Cross Sammy. Oh, it's too close to the keeper, though. Sammy to Jorge. Jorge plays it through to Sammy Jorgensen. Goes for a shot. That is well blocked, though. Good ball to can say so. Can say so. Stops. Gets it to Sammy. Sammy will turn. Go for the shot. Keeper makes a good save. Come on, tie this up right now. Taylor, cross in. That's going to go to Saint. Just he hits the crossbar, and we can't get the rebound. Still a chance, though, as Satala goes for a shot, and it's going to be back to the keeper. How many shots have we had so far? Taylor through to Jorge. Jorge. Good first touch, shot, and the keeper will save it again. And say South steals it. Almada into Sammy. Sammy, please shoot. He saves it again. Bro, we can't put the ball in the back of the net right now. It will come, though. We're getting all these good chances. This goal has to come. Sammy, header attempt. Can't get to it, though. I don't know how Almada won the header, but he did. Kyle Jorge, chance to shoot. It's blocked. 
One touch, and it's going to be... Uh, is that handball? I think it was handball on us. There's got to be a point where the ball just goes in the back of the net. Almada, dink it up over to Taylor. Taylor, that's actually a great ball by Almada. Sammy should win that, actually. Sammy, over to Jorge. Jorge goes for a volley attempt, and it goes over the net. Okay, we got to put the ball in the back of the net. Okay, we cannot fall for these skill Okay, We can't let him get past here. Okay, wrench, that's better defending. But half time, how many shots do we just have? We had 11 shots. Their keeper made six saves. Bro, we got to score at some point. There's no way the keeper keeps saving all these shots. There's no way. All right, good steal. Now, can say so has a chance to spread his legs a little bit. Goes to Almada. Almada. Cuts inside, goes for a finesse shot. Okay, Almada, talk about a potential debut goal right there. Varela cross in, Sammy up for it. Man, he's so close to getting to that. Okay, patience will be rewarded. Keeper makes another. You gotta be kidding me. These aren't even bad shots. Taylor, cross in. Jorge is up for that. Oh, you've you actually gotta be joking me right now. There's no way the keeper saved that at the little spot at the near post. We are getting so many chances right now. Jorgensen goes to Almada. Over to Taylor. Taylor will shoot, and it goes just wide. The uh, commentator said at least we're knocking out the door. We've been knocking out the door since the fifth minute. Hey, Almada has got Jorgensen. Jorgensen, good first touch. Jorgensen, okay, we finally found a goal. I can't believe it. Oh, man, I, I spent so long trying to time that pass perfectly. And Almada, Jorgensen combined for the first time. Bro, this pass by Almada, that is just beautiful. Finally, someone can score. I'm about to lose my mind this game. Okay, 1-1. We are now winning this game. They've had one shot this whole game, and it's been their one goal. We've had, what, probably 15 shots? Come on, we are winning this thing. Almada gets it over. Good run by Wrench. Now, Wrench, get it back to Kinsaysao. He does. Kinsaysao into Tiago Almada's shot, and it goes over the net. I think I put too much power on that one. Oh, no. Please, no. Please, no. Bro, your second shot can't be a goal. It can't be. It can't be your... You can't have your second shot be a goal. You gotta be kidding me. I don't even know what to say at this point. Their second shot is a goal. Where is the marking? If I'm not controlling them, like St. Just, he doesn't know how to mark. 2-1. We've had how many shots? They've had how many? I feel sick right now. Bro, like this formation has worked so well today. We've created so many chances. It's just their keeper has made probably eight plus saves. And they've had two shots that have both went in. We should be winning this game like 4-0. Literally, that's how good we played. But there's a good chance we might lose this. All right, Clausen's on for Taylor. We're going very attacking here we got a pass maybe to Jorgensen over to Jorge is he on side he's on side Clausen will try to find a pass here Almada please score that Almada oh I shot right at the defender bro Clausen Sammy Jorgensen will score it's 2-2 two -two. we only have three minutes though I can't believe this we should not be drawing this game we also should not be happy about scoring this goal we got three minutes like get back to the touchline at least we scored uh Jorgensen is a very good finish it's at least good to see that he can score now three minutes do we have a chance to maybe grab a winner now if there's any justice in FIFA we will score this winner first we gotta steal the ball though which okay then steal it there Need to stay with there. Oh, man, the skills are insane. Man, it's going to be a foul. Okay, we need to clear this and then just run. Unless they score this, which they do, I'm going to, I might actually shed tears. Oh, it goes wide. Okay, we got to kick this. I got to kick it. I know their option. We got to kick it. Head it to Sammy. Sammy, can he win it? No, he can't win it. Oh, man. This should not have been a draw. I've never felt more cheated out of a game. I literally, like, I'm in shock that we only scored twice and they scored with both of their shots. I mean, these games are kind of, like, far and few between. This doesn't happen, like, every time. But you can see, no matter what team we have, it's always a challenge. Like, bro, 19 shots to two. I mean, at the very least, it's not a loss. We stay within two points of Feyenoord. But that game did show me, like, this formation, this new setup. We could definitely score goals. We definitely created a lot of chances. So, that's a slight positive I'll take. Now, the trans window closes in about, like, two weeks. And we sold Bravo, we sold Bergvon. We kind of need a replacement for a backup striker now because Jorgensen is the only striker on our squad. So I think our last signing is going to be a backup uh, striker, of course. And I was thinking of either Mario Stroikens or Joshua Xerxes. Now we used Stroikens at Anderlecht a little bit and he looked good in the few minutes he got, but never really got to his potential. My only issue is that he's more of a, I feel like he's a winger slash striker combo. Whereas Xerxes is pretty much like Sam Jorgensen tall, good strength, probably good finishing, and he's also Dutch. But he also is a former Feyenoord player. I think he played there before he went to Bayern, right? So I'm kind of thinking uh mario stroikens might be the one we signed it's another one of our former players but i saw the potential at under like i saw the glimpses um 34.5 million that's a decent amount and we're gonna try to make that potential shine at ajax now so mario welcome to ajax so he goes on the bench he could also be a backup winger too so i think like it's probably a good thing we signed him he can also play cam as well he's a center forward but i think that'll complete our transfer window i'm putting faith in jorgensen almada kyle jorge on the bench mika gats tiago messi stroikens i'm putting faith that our team is good enough here to go for the air division and also make some noise in the champions league so we actually made it out of the group of death in the champions league group stage it was very close but we made it out now the knockout stage is about to begin the round of 16 and since we finished second 
second. We have been drawn AC Milan in the round of 16. But we also just sold Bergvine too, so there's a connection there. Now, I believe we faced them. We were in Anderlecht. This time, we have a much better team than Anderlecht. So could we pull off a shock here in the round of 16? Now, to make it more dramatic, we're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg. So first leg at home, this one is going to be, it's going to be a 2-2 draw. Okay, Jorgensen scores a brace. Uh, Griezmann scored for them. We also got injured. And also, Teo Hernandez got injured and Turam scored. Okay, that is a very eventful first leg, but we now go to Milan and it's tied up. So the second leg is a bit later in the month. Now, our next game, though, is actually the semifinals of the Domestic Cup in the Netherlands. We're facing the same team that we just faced, Fortuna Sittard. So this is to reach a cup final. And if they play like they did in the last game, I'm going to lose my mind. Now, we're going to rotate a little bit. So Gotts comes in, Stroikens gets his debut. Also, Klaus and Matazo and Sanchez. This time around, I will not take a draw. Like, there's no way they can play like that again. There's no way. And win this, we're in a cup final, which is great. Oh, man, they're already pulling the skill moves out again. They're pulling them out again. Okay, that's good tackle. Now, Amada is playing again. He's got Stroikens. New signings combined here. Okay, Stroikens. He's got Amada again. Amada can dink it up. Oh, tried to. All right, Amada cross in. Sammy there for it. Oh, the keeper. He's on form again. Amada to Sammy again. Sammy climbs. That one wasn't the greatest, but rebound header could go in. Mika Gotts. Okay, what a great header. Cleared off the line, and then it's going to be cleared again, probably. Man, that header was beautiful. Just the guy on the line was in a good spot. Amada out to Sanchez. Sanchez plays it. Okay, that's not exactly who I wanted it to go to, but Stroikens into Thiago Amada, and okay, it's taken us only, what, nine minutes to score the first goal of the game this time, and it's Thiago Amada, the new star of this team. We're not drawing this one. I'm sorry. We're not drawing it. Those 19 shots, whatever we had last game, this time we're scoring at least four or five of them. I'm about to take my anger out on this team right now. 10 minutes in, 1-0 to Ajax. There's just no shot the same team can play like that again. There's no shot. It's a statistical improbability. Get it out, please. Oh, no, no goes over the net. Oh, if they would have scored that, I might have lost it. I might have. Almada out to Sanchez. Sanchez driving forward. I love the run. Sanchez plays it to Mario Stroikens. Goes for the shot. Keeper will make that save. Swing it in. Sammy put it in the net. That was a little bit weird. Not sure what that was about. Okay, Almada tried passing it there. Not the greatest. We almost stole that. Now, I never usually play the same team twice, but after that last game, we had to do it again. We had to get our revenge or uh, draw embarrassingly again. Hopefully not. Well, to be fair, this time we can't draw. We have to win. There needs to be a winner by the end of this game. Stroikens has got... Oh, Stroikens. What a ball and what a finish. Okay, Mario Stroikens. That might be one of the passes of the season. Our new signing just showed out. Bro, Mika Gotts, they're former Andalek players, so maybe they have that chemistry. Stroikens knew Gotts would be there. Oh, what a pass and what a finish. Okay, 2-0 in 22 minutes. Bro, we cannot let them get into bad spots. Oh, that's handball. No, that's so unlucky. He just flips them all up. I'm putting a man on the line. I am putting a player on the line because I know they're scoring this. I know they are. Okay, thankfully they don't for once, and we escape. Now Stroikens into Amada. Amada, good dribbling leads to Jorgensen. Now Jorgensen gets it out to Sanchez. Sanchez has another cross. Mickey Gott's not going to get that. We need Jorgensen to be in that spot. Hey, Matazo, great steal. Now Amada is doing exactly what I wanted him to, leading the counterattack. Now Vindal, Vindal. Oh, cuts inside beautifully. Takes the shot. Keeper, good save. I don't know who this keeper is, but he's solid. Obviously, Sammy, header attempt. That'll fall, and it'll go right back to the keeper again. Okay, that's good ball. Get it back. Get it back to Ruli. No. There's no shot. Oh, there's no shot. I really thought my center backs would get that, but they did not. That might have been my fault. I tried to pass it back to Ruli because I thought I thought that was the best option for St. Just, but maybe I should have went for a slide tackle. I should have cleared it. Okay, it's 2-1. We still should be fine. I'm feeling more confident in this game with my team. Still very, very unfortunate, though. Sanchez into Stroikens. Stroikens. Good dribbling. Can he get past this player? Not quite. Right, Clausen to Almada. We got space. Almada is going to try to find Jorgensen. He does. Jorgensen, first time shot. Sammy Jorgensen, what a shot. Okay, I feel like we're starting to see the best of Sammy Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Now our full-time starting striker, and he's starting to score some goals. And once again, who's getting the assist here? It is Thiago Almada, the new duo at Ajax. Number nine, number 10, and it's 3-1. On well, this team may have taken two points from us in the league, but they're not going to take a cup final appearance from us. Look at that. First half, we got eight shots, three goals. That's a much better ratio. Okay, Mika Gatz, who has not much playtime, but with selling Bergvine, he will get more playtime. That is a good shot. Sammy, I need you to score from a corner. Show me you can do it. Oh man, that looked good. Sammy, Goes for a bicycle kick and the ball just goes where? Stroikens. Stroikens. Actually, a great ball to Amada. Amada. It's got Sammy. Sammy far post. Oh, was that was that cleared? No, that was Sammy. Sammy just had a very bad hit on it. The defender made it tough though. Stroikens. Is Jorgensen on side? Yes, he is. Jorgensen will score again. It's 4-1. This is the same game as last game, but this time the goals are actually going in. This new style and these new players, I think it's working. Even Stroikens so far in his debut, he's got two assists. He is showing out. Now that's good ball. Come on, boys. Don't let them score again, please. We let them get one goal. No more. No more goals, please. Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, I'm calling for help. This time I'm calling for help. And okay. 
blocked and just got elbowed. Thank you, ref, for calling that. Okay, good pass. This team is actually good. Maybe I should give them more respect because they've played well against us. So you can see the potential in them. But Almada, through to Sammy. Sammy's not going to quite get that. He actually almost stole it there with a, with a nice little uh, challenge. Yeah, this Almada and Jorgensen duo is about to be so good. Look at that pass from Almada. Sammy is in again. He's going to score again. That is a hat trick for Sammy Jorgensen, and it's 5-1. Revenge has never felt sweeter than this. Just Almada and Sammy are about to be a deadly duo. All right, Jorgensen and Almada both go off to a standing ovation. They should. And uh, Tiago Messi and Kinsesa are both on. Now, I don't know who was on the other side of the bracket, so I'm not sure who will face in the final, but it looks like we'll be in a cup final. Okay, Saint just what a ball out to Gots. That is crazy. Gots gets it to Kinsesa. Should be goodly timed. And say so over to Stroikens, and it's 6-1. Man, that pass by St. Jess in the back was just insane, though. This is literally what should have happened last game. Ball out to Vindal. Tiago Messi's in. Tiago Messi. Chance to even get a goal for himself, and Tiago Messi will score. Okay, everything is going in now. This keeper can't make a save for his life. It's 7-1. How did this keeper make so many saves last game? It's the same keeper. Tiago Messi this time. Oh, this game is going to make me lose my mind. Like, the way we're playing this game is literally just insane. Messi, Messi tries to go for a long ball. Can say so, can say so. I try to head it to Stroikens. And we get one more to make it eight. Tiago Messi plays it over to can say so. Can say so could make it eight. Oh, can say so. How do we miss that? All right, Tiago Messi, we're going for a power shot. From the stratosphere. That was actually not bad. That wasn't that bad. Say so to Stroikens. Stroikens goes for a finesse and it just, it just goes in. I don't know how we drew against this team in the last game. I do not know how. But this time we got a big fat win. 8 1. Fortuna sits hard. Bro, see you later. Bro, we had the same amount of shots as last game. But this time it was 8 1. All right, so in that cup final, we'll be facing PSV. So that probably should be a good matchup. And also, our next matchup is as well. So now, Ozid has jumped into first over Feyenoord. That is actually a shock. Okay, we're back home, and we're trying to pack our suitcases. We got a trip to Milan to face AC Milan in the second leg. Now, unfortunately, Fergie can't come. And he's very sad, but he also wishes us good luck. I mean, this is the biggest game of our career to date, and we're very nervous. But we head off to the airport, and we try to not miss our flight to Milan. So, scoreline is 2-2, so it's basically just a one leg now, uh, round of 16. And we are in some very good form right now so i'm actually feeling confident now no bergvine starting for them it's rafael Leal, griezmann and salamakers starting they got muller in the midfield though that's so weird i think i might go with experience this game though i might go with clausen over taylor we need that like leadership experience in the team so we're gonna do that oh, man this team is playing so good right now and we got a chance to pull off a champions league upset we just gotta try and figure out some way to stop rafael Leal and griezmann i know they're gonna be good in this game i know it so round of 16 ac milan versus ajax biggest game of our career to date all right salamakers now he's a very he's a sneaky one because they got like on Griezmann, but Salamakers is also good. He's also one that scares me. Okay, right here, this is the bad spot. We can't let him get in the spot. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Just please get the ball out. Lay out, please. Oh, the skill move he did to get away from me. I went for a tackle at the last second, and he did this tiny little ball roll right there. That little twitch? How am I supposed to defend that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is disgusting. Okay. It is 1-0 to Ace Milan. They have one goal lead just like that. Okay, this is just about to be insane. We just can't win the ball. Get in these spots. They get into it again, bro. Oh, they're gonna score again. They're gonna score again. Ruli, thankfully, makes a save. But we can't let him get to that spot. But it's so hard to prevent it. Vindal to Jorge. Jorge. Gonna try to find Klaassen. Klaassen, good touch. Gets it over to Vindal. Come on, tie this up immediately. Vindal, that is not where I wanted to cross. Uh, not at all. Man, my confidence has just fell through the roof right now just absolutely through the roof muller puts it over the net well we got to find this confidence find it bench over to can say so we got space and say so driving forward needs needs one cut back it's almada almada shoots and Ferenzi will block it man that's so unfortunate barella cross in sammy could get to that can't but okay keeper punches it out chance for a header attempt oh Mignon saves it clausen collects clausen back up to jorge jorge oh it's gonna be cleared again man that was insane and say so cross to saint just oh man he had that headed back it's going to be Varela. Varela shoots. It's right at the feet of a defender, though. Range in a good spot. Tries to dink it up to Sammy. Sammy fights for it. Jorge is not going to get the rebound or the, the loose ball. All right, I mean, that's a little bit better. Oh, no. Leao beats Wrench here with just sheer, sheer pace. And then the dribbling to Sansei, whatever his name is. We are down two goals in Italy, bro. Just that defending. Rafael Leao's dribbling. It's just so good. It's undefendable. Like, that move right there. Oh, he just destroyed us. We are down two goals in 29 minutes. Come on, we never stop believing. Oh, Jorge was in there. He was so in. Bro, the chances are there if we can get him. Say so. I was driving forward here. Over to Klaassen. Klaassen turns. Gets a very good turn. Shot away. Oh, my Neon. What a save. It's a great shot by Klaassen. Jorgensen has got Almada. Almada. 
I'm gonna try and time it, but I don't think it's time to write. And anyway, it's gonna be cleared by Firenze again. Okay, Jorge gets it back to Amada. I like that. Into Sammy. Oh, Amada handballed it, bro. We're getting so unlucky right now. Bro, I just don't think we have the players to contain Rafael Leal. We just don't. We just absolutely don't. That's gonna be Griezmann, and it's gonna be 3 0. We just can't defend Griezmann or Leal right now at all. 3 0 at halftime, we were down. Is that already is that already us knocked out? And like I felt so confident going into this game. The confidence is just gone now. Even with us being the underdogs, I still felt confident. I mean, all we can do at this point is just try and get a goal at a time, which Almada is waiting for. Jorgensen goes for a shot himself, and it goes over the net. Okay, Almada is at least showing some life right now in this team. Gets it back to Jorge. Jorge. Oh, I had a pass there to someone. Dorella up to Sammy. Gets it back to Almada. Almada is going to try to find Sammy. They've defended so well this game, too. That's another problem. Sammy, Almada gets it out to Jorge. Jorge has got Jorgensen, I think. Good ball. Jorgensen will try to pass it back. Wait, he was offside? I don't even think he was offside there. Bro, we got to score three goals in 30 minutes now. Dorella into Kinsesao. Back to Clausen. Clausen will shoot. And that goes in. Okay, what a shot by Clausen. Okay, we we are within two goals. This came out of nowhere. Kinsesao plays it back and Clausen somehow goes in off the post. Do we have a chance? We are within two goals and we got, we got 25 minutes. Come on, I feel it. We can get back in this. I feel it. It's if we don't concede, we have a real chance here. But if we concede... Obviously, chances go down a lot, and that's going to be a goal kick. I have so much belief right now. Vindal is in. Their defense is nowhere to be found. Vindal will shoot, and Vindal hits the post. There's actually no way we hit the post there. Oh, there's actually no way the post stops us from making it 3-2. Come on, we're looking like a different team all of a sudden. Jorge, it's got Jorgensen. I think he was offside anyways, though. Okay, I'm doing strike-ins for uh, Kinsesao. But well, we only got 15 more minutes. Come on, I know we can score this second and give us a chance. Jorge, over to Varela. Into Stroikens. No, Stroikens. I need you to stay for that pass. Man, time is running out. We got 10 minutes now to score two, two goals. And that's if they don't score here, which they might. And that goes over the net. We got to score on the next attack. Amada into Clausen. Over to Stroikens. Oh, man. If that if he was just making a bit of a better run, he's in. Stroikens over to Sammy. Sammy, good touch. Sammy plays it into Clausen. Clausen, he can't quite get it. Bro, my heart is literally breaking right now. I seriously felt we had a chance. And honestly, like, I think they're just the better team. I just think after losing two of our best players, even with our improvements, we're just not the better team. Amada's in, though. Man, this is the last chance of the game, though. Even if he scores this, we're not going to have time. Can't score it. Oh, man. I'm literally heartbroken right now. I seriously felt we had a chance. Mignon saves that. But full-time whistle. Ajax knocked out by AC Milan. I think simply put it, like, they're the better team. I seriously felt we had a chance, though. That's why it's so heartbreaking. But our first ever Champions League knockout game, we're out in the round of 16. Hey, if we ever end up winning the Champions League in this series on these sliders with competitive mode on ultimate, it will be one of our biggest achievements in a series. Because, like, competitive mode makes the game so much more harder. But I still feel like we could play better had a chance there. But we're out. Oh, I'm literally heartbroken heartbroken after that okay all we can do is look forward now so rest of the season we have that cup final against psv and then we have the air Divisie final which we have what we have six i think six more games seven more games left so seven games left for one point by nas and we face them also in the next episode so now without the champions league we gotta do the domestic double the domestic cup trophy and also the air Divisie trophy if we win those two things i think we can call this season a success because you gotta think about it. we lost edson alvarez we lost brobby bergvine and still we've put together a good team with that just not good enough to beat ac milan now also in the next episode we have been doing youth scouting all year long and we found a few prospects with more on the way where i think we're gonna add some more good youth talent to this team okay we just sold our best player brian brobby has left for chelsea now to replace him we signed tiago amada from atlanta united and switched our formation to a 4-3-3 defend now things looked great after that very big decision but then we were completely outplayed by ac milan and knocked out of the champions league we are just not yet good enough to challenge the giants in europe but we may be good enough for two trophies in this episode the air division league title and also the Netherlands Domestic Cup. We can still make this season a success while also continuing to build for the future. So drop a like if you are enjoying this series and also if you want to see a season two here at Ajax and let's get back into it. Now, right now we're in our office working, getting ready for this huge season finale. And while we're preparing for these big games coming up, we're also looking at some youth academy players. Now there's three we're looking at right now who after watching their highlights, we think all three of them are ready for promotion to the first team. But okay, first comment, you should stay at Ajax for some more seasons as it's a quite young team and also gonna take time to develop yeah it's guaranteed right now next season we'll be at ix again plan is to have a whole nother season two at ix to try and grow these young players even more now beyond the second season at ix that i'm more unsure about and next one, remember to check those two youngsters on delight if they're good you might sign them yeah so we did look at them i mean they were good but they weren't like amazing though we'll keep an eye on them but the youth players we found in this episode they look so much better and last one two videos in one day is amazing respect the grind once again i appreciate that and yeah there was a news latin player crew episode over on tyster plus yesterday so if you missed it link will be in the description now once again this is the 
season finale. And we're going for two trophies here. We are one point behind Ozzy in first for the Air Divisi title. And then we are facing PSV for the Becker Netherlands Domestic Cup final, if that's how you pronounce it. So two trophies that might be tough to try and win, but we're going to try to do our best to secure both. Do the domestic double. And also among that, we have found three youth players that all three of them look like maybe future stars. Now, first one is Kobe Okoto from the Ivory Coast. He's a left-footed right winger who's 17 years old. He's 5'7", 72 overall, and he's got some really good dribbling stats, like the perfect right winger to cut in on his left foot. And then next, we have Christian Gaetan from Colombia. Now, he's a 6'2 center back slash right back who's 19 years old. And this kid, well, I should actually say, man, this man is powerful and also pretty quick and also pretty good on his feet with the ball. So a very good center back prospect. And then last is going to be Julian Hulse, an 18-year-old midfielder from the Netherlands. Now, he's 5'11", so pretty standard height, but he's pretty much an all-rounder. He can do everything on the field. And he's also extremely hard working with a lot of stamina. I mean, I kind of see maybe the next Frankie de Jong and Julian Holst. Now, along with those three, we also have found a bunch of other youth prospects who some look good, some maybe not as good, but we have built an insane youth academy here throughout the year. We know Ajax are known for being one of the best youth academies in the world, and we may have just produced three stars. I think Gaetan, Okoto, and Holst are ready to get promoted to the first team. So Gaetan promoted, Okoto promoted, and also Holst officially promoted. So all three of them are all exciting prospects, which mean obviously high potential. If we can grow them up and improve their skills, we could be looking at the next Ajax like big stars, and they could play a huge role in season two. So in this episode, they'll get their chances here and there to show what each can do if they're actually ready for a first team spot. But we also got to focus on winning these two trophies too. And first game is one of the most important games of the episode. It is first versus second against Azed. If we win, we would take a two point lead over Azed into first. If we lose, that could be like a title decider. We're out. So first game is literally a Eredivisie title decider, maybe. So all three new youth players make the bench for this season finale, and we'll see if they get their chances. But we need the starters to bring home these two trophies. And if we win this first game, it is a large step towards the Eredivisie League title. History is written. Time to write the future. I mean, that's a very nice way to put it. We are in search for our third league title. We won the MLS. We won the uh, Jupiler Pro League. We now look to win the Eredivisie in our career. Now, we played so well in the league last episode, we just got destroyed by AC Milan, though. We played amazing in the league, and I want that to continue, and it almost was a beautiful start. Now, Amada has been so good also since joining. He has made uh, Jorge, Jorgensen, both much better. Hey, Azad having a good start. They're passing through us pretty well. Oh, how did he just break off a tackle there? Is that a penalty? Oh, no, it's not. It's just a great tackle. Oh, man, that was very dangerous. That was a pretty rough tackle in the box. I'm kind of surprised. But defense leading into attack because Sammy Jorgensen, a chance to put us up 1-0, and he does. Oh, just how beautiful is that? Defense leading into an attack like that. And it's Sammy Jorgensen, the man we've given the keys to our attack. He scores the first goal in a big game. And wrench, that was a great through ball, too. All right, 1-0 to Ajax in, like, probably the 11th minute. When we suffered heartbreak in the Champions League, we don't want to suffer it again. Kayo into Taylor Taylor. Good turn. Oh, he just got taken out. Ref, that's not a foul. Bro, Taylor needs a stretcher. Oh, man. They just destroyed me. Uh, Shitalo gets the ball. We'll clear it and we survive. Say so. Up to Sammy. Sammy gets it to Wrench. Wrench will try and play it over the top to Sammy. What a ball by Wrench. Sammy Jorgensen, what a finish. Okay, both of our goals are Wrench and Sammy Jorgensen. It's 2 0 in 20 minutes. It's the same two combining. This ball by Wrench is beautiful. And then this finish from Jorgensen, bro, he is becoming a deadly striker right now. Like right before our eyes. 2 0. This has been a great start. Like both times, they look dangerous. Uh, they almost scored. We just come down the field and score ourselves. Or hey, long ball to can say South can say South tries to head it back to someone. That's not going to work. Grello wins it back though. Taylor, Sammy, Sammy. Oh, I was gonna try to find Almada. Now we are gonna have like an end of season award show at the end of the season finale, so make sure not to miss that. If you guys like it, we might make it a regular thing. And also, Ore is on a run here. Can he make this goal a regular thing? Okay, that was a very ambitious effort, but I respect it. Almada, Almada, through ball to Sammy. Jorgensen, and he's gonna score again. Sammy Jorgensen, Almada, it's just the cheat code. 32 minutes in, it's 3-0. And this is against the first place team. We're just not messing around anymore. Almada, beautiful through ball to Sammy. And uh, by the way, that's a 30 minute hat trick for Jorgensen too. So this has been an insane start. Almada, great ball to Jorge, Jorge. Gets it back to Kenneth Taylor. His shot is gonna be right at the defender. Hey, Almada to Kayo. Kayo is in. The Brazilian, CR7. To maybe make us, it's gonna be 4-0. Oh man, what a clinical finish. It is 4-0. And when you guys said his name was actually Kyle George, not Jorge. So I'll try to remember that if that's right. Oh man, this is a great finish right there. Oh, we are like smacking Azet. The same way we smacked like Feyenoord in the last episode. This is supposed to be like top four teams in there to visit. And now we just gotta not let them back in the game. Okay, this is dangerous. Really? Let's get it out. Good kick. Don't let him score. Before halftime, St. Just gets to it. Taylor will clear that, I think. He should. Yes, he will. And that's halftime. Someone's hurt, though. Is that Sammy? Oh, Sammy might be hurt. Oh, man. Okay, Jorgensen is hurt. I don't know how bad, though. We're going to see if he runs it off. See, give him, like, maybe 10 minutes. Oh, no, Sammy. You scored a hatch in 30 minutes. You can't get hurt. Oh, man. I think we got to take him off. I don't think he's going to run it off. He's kind of, like, 
really holding that shoulder, so I don't know. Someone get Sammy some Icy Hot. Because, sir, we need you. That's going to be a corner. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take him off just in case he doesn't make the injury worse. Um, You know what? Let's bring uh, Kobe Akoto on. So let's put Kyo George up top. And then the Ivory Coast Youngster Youth Academy player will get his chance at right wing. So the first of three of our Youth Academy prospects we found gets his chance in this game. Let's see what he could do. I mean, he looks like a baller. He's got like the wristband. He's got the high socks, the bright shoes. Looks like an absolute baller. Are we about to concede here? Because what is this run? Oh, okay. Varela, good tackle. And we get the ball out. Taylor to Kobe. Hey, Kobe's dribbling. It's kind of insane there. What a ball to Kyle George. Oh, George can't get it, though. Hey, that was a good first impression, though. Almada, long ball to Okoto Okoto. Good first touch. And he cut inside. Oh, I think he tried to nutmeg him. He does have five-star skills, so he's got that uh, flair trait. Oh, that's a good ball. No, don't him score. Oh, get it out, please. Get it out. Where's the ball at? I'm just pressing clear. I am trying to clear it. It goes back to Ruli. Oh my, what just happened there? Okay, Vindal, what a tackle. Almada through to Kyle George. Kyle George, chance to shoot at a weird angle. That was a very good block. All right, whipped in. That is to St. Just. He will score that. No, he hits the, he hits the, I think, crossbar, and Kyle George puts it in. It is 5-0 to Ajax. Bro, Kyle George is playing so much better the last two episodes. After giving him Bergvine's starting spot, he's become like a new player, like he literally is. The Brazilian CR7. Alright, since it's 5-0, let's bring on Holst and also Gaetan for their debuts. So now all three youth prospects on the field together. Since we're up 5 0, why not? Alright, Gaetan, first chance to defend. Gaetan, he's just a powerhouse back there. He's got really good, like, on-ball stats, so he's just a very good footballer. Again, what a tackle by Gaetan. All right, Amada gets it over to Holst. Holst, first touch as well. All these youth players are showing out right now. Julian Holst can go for a finesse shot. Oh, man. All three of them are playing so good. The future of Ajax is on show today. Corner in. That is not going to be anything, but this, we're going to shoot. Volley by Holst, and it goes over the net. Hey, ambitious attempt. All right, final sub. Let's get the son of Messi on, Thiago Messi. Let's just get all the youth on the field right now. Hey, Julian Holst has a chance to play it to Kyle George, and he almost actually scored that. Man, this Aza team are in first. We are absolutely just making a joke out of them. Can't score that, though. Holst, good first touch. In the box, Julian Holst shoots, and it's going to be a save. I don't know if it's Julian or Julian. I have no clue. But Kobe Akoto in the box. Kyo George. Oh, Kyo George. We got two hat tricks in this game. One for Jorgensen and one for Kyo George. I have no clue why we have just destroyed Azed this bad. I have no clue why. You've seen the teams we faced that are like teams we don't even know where they're from, and they just like play so well against us. This is the first place team we've destroyed them. Make it make sense. Oh, Gaetan again another steal. Almada plays it to Kobe Akoto. He will go for the shot, and Kobe Okoto scores his first goal for Ajax on his debut. This might be one of the best games of FIFA I've ever played, just in terms of just sheer domination. All three youth players have also shined in this game in their own ways. Okoto gets on the score sheet. Are we going to ruin it by not getting the clean sheet? Are we going to? Oh, of course we are. It's going to be 7-1. Of course we can't keep the clean sheet. Are they going to score another? I think it's score another. Okay, really saves it. Okay, all of a sudden towards the end, they've actually come to life. Is that going to be it, Kobe? Yep, that's going to be it. That's full time. Okay, 7-1 though. What a game. Jorgensen and Kyle George, both hat tricks. And then all three youth prospects looking amazing out there. The future of this team is looking bright. And that win puts us two points above Azad in first in the air divisi. Like, man, that was just such a good win. But there is some very bad news as Jorgensen is injured. I am terrified to look. Okay, he's only out for eight days. Okay, only eight days. I got so worried. Okay, we can deal with that eight days nothing is he gonna is he gonna miss the cup final actually uh no he should be back by the cup final so that's good oh man i got so worried though now even the world is taking notice espn fc tweets that ajax have done it again that youth players julian holst kobe akoto and christian gaitan are each rated as some of the best prospects in world football i mean i'm thoroughly impressed with all three of them i think next season all three could play vital roles in this team they might even in this season finale still but okay our next game is the domestic cup final against psv a chance to win another trophy which i believe would be our one two i believe our fifth trophy right we know this will be trophy number six so win this we'll have six trophies in our career so far now unfortunately i don't know why but saint just is a red so we can't play this game so we're gonna miss our best center back for this cup final now i don't know who i play akpaguma or christian gaitan honestly i think i'm gonna play gaitan this game i trust them enough to do a good job at the back hoping i don't regret that so we face some familiar faces at psv a youth player starts in a cup final and a chance to go for trophy number six in this journeyman series now, we are playing this in our home stadium. That feels a little bit unfair, but I don't know if it's always played there. Now, the trophy is invisible. There is no trophy there, but there is a trophy. Come on, I want trophy number six. Jorgensen is back. He's fine. Christian Gaetan, a big moment for the 19-year-old. And let's get this trophy. Talo up to Amada. Amada gets it to Taylor. Taylor. Okay, George, I need to come up for that. Does come up Weindahl. Back to Kenneth. Taylor goes for a shot. Keeper is going to grab it easily, though. Jorgensen out to Kyle George. Kyle George has Jorgensen, I think. Jorgensen. 
We'll get that. The header attempt is right to the keeper again, though. All right, not a bad start. Seems like Kyle George is finding space in their defense right now. He is the outlet. Now, does he have a cross? Someone cross over to, uh, who is that? Is that, I think it was Wrench. Trella to Weindahl. We got space. Weindahl tries to feed in. Sammy Jorgensen, is he onside? I think he was, but the ball was going too fast. Wait, no, he was offside. Right, this game's a little bit nerve-wracking, but can say so. Into Tiago. Almada will shoot, and that is the first goal of the cup final scored by our new playmaking star, Tiago Almada. 1-0 to Ajax. It really feels like we just unlocked a completely new level with this team right now. Ever since signing Almada, trusting Jorgensen, trusting Kyle George, formation change, I feel like we truly unlocked something special with this team. Now, what I'm seeing here is uh, PSV are trying to play with a very high line. You can see their defenders getting into our attacking third. So if we win the ball back... Players like Jorgensen, uh, George, can say so. Our counterattack could be very deadly, but also their attack could be deadly. Oh, that was a great turn, but really great save. I can say so. We'll just steal it from Verskarn, our former player. I like to see that. Now, once again, the counterattack. It could be deadly. Almada going to try to play it over. Gets it all the way to Wrench. Wrench. Okay, what a touch by Wrench into Jorgensen. Oh, that would have been such a nice goal. That touch by Wrench was actually insane, though. Okay, that's a great attack, but Shitalo makes a good defensive play. He's got to try and cover for the young Christian Gaetan here, but so far, Christian is holding his own. A very high-pressure game for him, but he's really good on the ball, so I have confidence. Look at that pass. You could tell he's just a very good footballer. Jorgensen out to Kyle George. Kyle George heads it to Taylor. I was going to go for a volley there. All right, good run by Axe here. Shitalo needs to come over. Taylor needs to try and up defend. Shitalo, please. Get in front of him, Mark, and please. Okay, Taylor did great there with that help defending. Ball is still in our box, though. Uh, Wrench gets it up for a corner. 40-second minute corner. Taylor, easy clearance. This is right back in the box, though. Dangerous. Okay, Kyle George just literally destroyed that dude. Somehow, that's not a foul. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, man. Gaetan needs to try and recover here. Okay, I don't know how Christian Gaetan actually got that ball, but he did. And that is halftime. Okay, towards the end, they looked a lot more threatening, but for now... It's just 1-0 to us. This is dangerous. Gaetan needs to try and defend this. All oh, gets through. Shot hits the post. And what? Was he offside? Okay, he was offside. But oh man, they almost just scored. All right, PSV are knocking on the door. Taylor to Almada. Almada's got options. We're going to try to play it out. Oh, Almada. The passing is just insane. Now, wrench to Jorgensen. Oh man, I thought he was going to dive for it. I thought he was going to look like uh, Robin Van Persie. Come on, we need this two goal advantage. I feel like right now we're playing good enough to get it. We just got to find it. Jorgensen, good ball to Kyle George. Now, Kyle George has a cross far post. Actually, off uh, that guy's. I thought it was handball. I guess not. And Vindal is doing such a good job on Bakayoko. And I think he just took him out at the same time. Oh, the dribbling by Christian Gaetani. You can see the confidence in him. You get a center back that that's that's that good on the ball. The confidence is just flowing. Oh, wrench. We got we got Almada in the box. Goes to Kyle George instead. Kyle George. What a header, but what a save. Man, he's really looking like Ronaldo there. Barella cross in. Jorgensen gets to it. Oh, it goes slightly over the net, though. We are so close to the second good ball. Very good ball, actually. Gets through. Don't like the drag back. Oh, we let them get the drag back. But Chitalo, great defending. And then Taylor almost stole it there. No, goes back in the box. Bakayoko. Oh, I missed a tackle. Really makes the save, though. Okay, we're doing Tiago Messi on four can say so. So that is the first change. Some fresh legs out wide. That corner will be cleared and we'll do a second clearance. We don't score this second, though. I feel like PSV are going to score. You can just tell how things are going. We got to take the advantage, that two goal advantage. Drive some in there. They drag it back and they're going to score. I can just feel it coming. Okay, PSV make it 1 1. Yeah, we just can't get the ball in the box here. Base opened up. Good first time shot and it's 1 1. All right, 70 second minute. It's tied up. Right now is where we show we are champions if we are. Amada to Varela. Varela. Didn't get it. To Amada. We got space here. Oh, Amada's first touch was so heavy. He took it so far away from him. Okay, great steal though. Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Oh, I was waiting for Tiago Messi. Please get that. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna at least keep the ball. I am starting to get a little bit nervous. Into Tiago Messi. Tiago Messi gets it over to Kenneth Taylor, and he hits the post. All right, 15 minutes. Oh man, there's so much space here. Oh, they back Verscarin. Our former player actually just scored that. You've got to be joking. They find two shots towards the end of the game, and they both score them. Oh, it's just so unfortunate. We played so good this game. Okay, we need we need subs. All right, Klaus down for Taylor. That's it for now. We got 10 minutes to tie this up now. Come on, boys. I know we can do this. Messi, good first touch. Jorgensen gets it out wide to Wrench. Wrench plays it to Almada. Almada in to Klaassen will shoot, and Benitez somehow saves that. Come on, Tiago Amada. Cross in. Sammy. Oh, we can't quite get to it. Header, though. It's one. Get it to someone who could shoot, like Varela. Varela shoots. Oh, the rebound is going to be out. We got five minutes. Gets it up. Oh, is that a foul? Is that a foul on us? Wait, how is it a foul on us? Boys, it's got to be right here. Find all. Down the middle. Two. Almada. Tiago Almada shoots. He 
actually hits the crossbar. You gotta be kidding me. Is that our final chance? Bro, you cannot be serious. We just hit the crossbar. There's 30 seconds left. Oh, I'll get them all forward. I don't think we have time. I don't think we have time. No, we don't. We're actually gonna lose the cup final like that. Bro, we were the better team for like 75% of this game. And at the end, by the 70th minute, they all of a sudden turned it on and played better than us. That is one of the worst cup final losses I've ever had, I think. Like, we should have won that. There's no way we should have lost it. And then towards the end of the game, we hit the post and crossbar twice. Oh, I can't even watch this. I feel sick. There's actually like no trophy there. So if there's a small consolation, where's your trophy at? But I cannot believe that we just lost that. Man, now after that heartbreaking defeat, we have to go face the media. We say the obvious, the team is very down right now. We felt that was our final to win, but our team is very young. This is a very big learning chance for a lot of them. I mean, before you can succeed at anything, you have to fail. And this young team just failed. We just couldn't get it done. And that's part of football. Hopefully the Champions League exit and this final loss will push like some of the younger players to put that energy into getting better. Doesn't make it any less heartbreaking though. So now it's just the Eredivisie, which we have four games left, a two point lead. We must win this league title. There's no other option here. We must get it done. So our next game is at home. We win this. We get back on track on pace for the final four games and we claim this Eredivisie league title. And I felt so confident we were going to win that. I honestly felt so confident we were going to win that final, but just sometimes you can't get it done. Like hitting the post twice and then them scoring goals like that towards the end. It just wasn't meant to be for this team right now. But hey, we control our destiny for this league title. So we still have chance to redeem ourselves. Now Vindal into George. Taylor gets it to Almada. Almada, good first touch. Actually, it was too heavy of a touch. Almada into Taylor. Taylor feeds in Sammy Jorgensen. There's no angle here, though. Sammy cuts it back. He tried to, but he played it right at the defender. Uh, Sammy, turn your body around. Now, us missing St. Just in the final, is that a factor? I feel like not really, but it's honestly hard to say. Now, Kyle George is in, though. Okay, Kyle George is just on a new level this season. Okay, that angle is terrible. The angle is terrible. Cuts it back, and somehow he's going to save that. Corner in. St. Just is back. Header right to the ground, but back to the keeper. Taylor gets it out to Kinsaysa. Kinsaysa, long shot. Good shot from Kinsaysa. Come on, score this first goal. Get us off to a good start. We need this momentum. Like, we need that first goal. All right, Amada this time into Sammy Jorgensen. Is that header from Sammy? I think it was. Okay, Amada has Jorgensen. Jorgensen, are you going to break away from there? Oh, he does. Jorgensen. Always oh, not quite quick enough, though. It's a good idea. Oh, Taylor, great steal. This could lead to a counterattack. Jorgensen picks it up, tries to play it to Almada, and that counterattack was so ruined, though. Almada up to Kinsesa. Come on, this first goal. Our energy feels low right now. We score this first goal. It will improve. Sammy. Oh, he was up for the header. Taylor to Almada. Over to Kyle George, but he's not going to quite get it. He was actually defending pretty well right now. But is that about to change? Because Tiago Almada right in front of goal will shoot, and the keeper will make another save. Am I even surprised at this point? No, I'm not. Corner in. To St. Just, not going to reach it. That is cleared. And I think it's a foul on us anyways. Uh, apparently not. I don't know what that foul was for. Gets it over to Wrench, who is finding space. He's going to cross it in. Great cross. Oh, that wasn't a fall to Taylor. Varela is on his moped right now, and Varela will score. Okay, what a goal by our CDM. The first touch to push it that much forward. Like, he had momentum right there. Okay, it's about time. One nil to Ajax. Great run. Come on, we got to get this energy right. We may have failed in two competitions, but we can still succeed in the big one. Or, I guess, the semi-big one. Now, problem is, that's a good ball. That's a good pass. And we just got cut apart. Of course, we finally score, and then they do this. I thought Chitalo would block that, but I guess not. All right, 44th minute. We are, this game is tied up. Taylor through to Jorgensen. Okay, that pass had nothing at all on it. I don't know if I'm convinced by Taylor as much. I'm not sure about him. He's definitely good, but he's supposed to be like one of the highest potential players in this team. And I'm honestly not sure about that. Watch, because I said that he's going to score. Okay, Jorgensen, great combining play with Kyle George. Kyle George. Oh, we got to finish that. Kyle, we got to finish those. Morella cross in. St. Just, he was up for that. Falls to Chitalo. His shot is terrible. And then it's going to be cleared. Morella into Almada. Almada tries to go for a quick shot, and that is blocked. Man, I don't know if that cup final loss has just... Just got the energy out of this team completely. We got to find it if we want this league title now. Taylor. Okay, Taylor. Great ball to Kinsesa. That is a great pass. Now, we only got options here. Kinsesa stops. Into Jorgensen. Needs one runner. Is going to find Taylor. And he almost just scored. Come on, make this 2-1. Where's the corner goal? Sammy. Man, they can never get to it, though. Good ball to St. Just. That shot is blocked. George into Almada. Almada. Chance for a finesse shot. That one looks good. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay, 60th minute, Tiago Almada makes it 2-1. Man, right when I saw the power ball right there, I knew that was going in. Like, that was just perfectly timed. Got all the space. Shot's not getting blocked. Beautiful. Okay, Julian Holst and also a Kotor coming on. So two of the three Youth Academy prospects are on the field. This team needs that, like, young youthful energy right now. Okay, Julian, I mean, that's a great steal. That is exactly what I brought you on for. The energy. He's the definition of an energy-type player. Holst plays it through to Tiago Almada. Almada. 
takes a touch. What a finish. It's 3-1. Literally instant impact from Julian Hulse. Steals the ball, gets the assist, and it's 3-1. Man, I feel like next season, if all these players improve, we could be even more special and maybe get over that mountain. But for now, let's just secure this game. Find all in to Hulse. Hulse. Gets it over. Almada into Akoto. Akoto. Man, his dribbling is really good. You can just tell. Good pass. Wrench. Sammy gets it over to Julian. Host, and he's also going to score. Okay, 68th minute. The youth academy prospect gets a goal. Same as Akoto did in the last game or the first game. Do I have to say it again? The future of Ajax is looking bright. I mean, he's going to get spot here. He's, no one's marking him. Good left-footed shot. All right, 4-1. We are now on our way again. Almada to Sammy. Sammy, good first touch, actually. Gets it to Kobe Akoto. Akoto tried to back heal it to, uh, I believe, Vindal or Ren. I kind of thought, you know, we'd be lucky if one of these uh, youth players had a good debut. We'd be lucky. Okay, that's a bad miss. But I'd be lucky if one of them had a good debut. Honestly, all three have had really good debuts. Shows how special these players could be. Like, each have shined in their own way. Okay, Julian, Holst, ball to Kayo, George. Oh, he should have scored it, though. That first touch ruined it. Rella to Kobe. Makoto can't get shot away. Okay, they're going to want a space here, which I don't like. We don't want to let them get another goal. And they're going to get one. It's 4-2. I don't know where all that space is coming from. All right, might be the last chance to attack. Actually, nope. Almada loses it. Okay, we've been a little bit too chill towards the end of the game, but thankfully, it's not going to matter much. Now, they're going for one more last attack here. If they score a third, I'm going to be so mad. Tallo, good tackle. Gets it out. Okay, I guess doesn't get it out. But that is full time. That game wasn't that easy, but we still win 4-2. Julian Holst off the bench provided that jolt we needed. And we are one step closer to that Eredivisie title. All right, so fast forward a few weeks later. Today is the biggest day of the season. Also, the final day of the season. The Eredivisie League title has come down to the final match day. So we're getting ready. We're putting on a nice suit to arrive at the stadium. We got Fergie, our good luck charm. And then before we leave, we get a message from David Beckham, who wishes us good luck. And then also from Eric Ten Hag, who says, make sure your team is ready. So we head off for the final game game of the season, which is going to be at home against Utrecht. So still a two point lead over AZ. A win will secure the Eredivisie League title for us. A loss or a draw, then it's up in the air. So we need to win this game. Now, I don't know why, but Vindal is out with the red. So that's great. I think since Sanchez has forced a weak foot, I'll play my left back. I think that's probably fine. He probably do a good job there. Other than that, same starting 11 as usual. We got the youth prospects on the bench. Just one final game to win and we will be league champions. Come on, after a season of so many ups and downs, give a chance to end on a beautiful note by winning this league title title which would be our third and also trophy number six so all we gotta do is just get the job done okay Utrecht actually a good start here which makes me a little scared but he just played it out there I don't know what that man is doing well we can't mess around today we gotta have a fast start uh Jorgensen I think he's offside I think he's just offside good attempt but uh yep he was offside now Almada plays it to Kintesa that pass is kind of ruined Kintesa gets it back to Almada though Almada into Sammy Jorgensen, this time he's onside and he scores. Okay, nine minutes in, one nil to Ajax. Come on, this league title is ours to grab. So once again, it's Almada though. Almada to Jorgensen, I don't know how many assists they have together, but it is one nil. Come on, I don't want to leave this as just a one goal lead. I want to secure this trophy and I want us to do it as the champions we are, Jorge. Into Taylor, Taylor's shot keeper is going to make a decent save. Oh, Almada, can we win the header? Almada actually wins that. I... Did not expect. Taylor, another chance. Keeper makes another save, though. Cross in. That is not going to reach anyone. Wait, Sammy? He actually could have maybe got to that. Okay, now this guy is literally just running like he's a psychopath. Are they going to pass it? Oh, okay, Shatalo did so good there. Bro, that was, like, scary how fast he was running. Now, counterattack leads to counterattack. Okay, George, that pass was terrible. Bro, this team, we should not be taking this team lightly because they've had a very good start, actually. But we are Ajax. We are the team to beat in the Netherlands. And say so. Gets it back to Almada. Almada. Gets it over to Taylor. Taylor should score that, and Taylor will score that. Okay, 27th minute, 2-0, and a very large step towards this league title. I mean, once again, do I have to say it again? It's Almada. Almada gets the ball, picks the right pass, and just like that, it's 2-0. Well, we're not stopping here. We need to show the world that we are the champions. We are Almada. Good first touch. Goes for the shot. It's going to be blocked, though. Okay, they got a chance here. They got a very good chance, and I brought Talo all the way up, and it caused the space, and it's 2-1. And it's just like, you make one mistake, one risk, it doesn't work, and you get punished for it. Okay, 2-1. We should not have conceded that. We can't make mistakes in a game of this magnitude. Taylor, show me why you should still be in this team long term. Okay. I didn't think that was going in. Bro, the keeper didn't even move. Taylor, I take back everything I said. Everything. How did this go in, though? Was it just that good of a shot? He had so much space, but it's a super long shot. I mean, keeper. I feel like he had such a slow reaction to it. It is a good shot by Kenneth Taylor, but still. Uh, is it just too high for the keeper? No, I, I don't even know. What a goal, though. Okay, very good response after making a huge mistake defensively. So, I feel better. Well, at this point, we just can't let him score again. We can't do it. We cannot let them score again. We just cannot do it. Just clear it. We'll clear it. Just be safe. Okay, that's halftime. 45 more minutes. Hold the lead and we'll be champions. Rella and Taylor. Come on, boys. Wrap this up. Taylor, show me again. 
Taylor, show me again. Okay, that shot was terrible. He did not show me again. Now, Shitalo picks out Almada. Almada is going to find Sanchez. Sanchez cross in to absolutely no one, but that header into Kyle George, and the shot goes just wide. That looked like a very good attempt. Come on, don't let them back in this game. That's a very good run by... They got some good players. Like, they're dribbling. They keep looking dangerous. Makes me a little bit nervous right now. But Jorgensen through to Kyle George. This should be 4-1. Kyle George will make it 4-1. 64th minute. This league title is so close. Man, Sammy starting out as a right mid made his passing so good that he can make passes like that. Having your striker be able to do that, but also be like 6'3", whoever tall he is, 6'4". It's a very big uh, luxury. By the way, Kyle George, he has 15 goals in 18 games. Talk about the Brazilian CR7. Okay, do not let them score again. They're going to score again. Oh, man, the defense. More so just good attacking. It's bad defense and also really good attacking. Two goal lead with like 30 minutes left. I can tell when this game started. This team, they are not bad. Right, Sanchez, long ball. Varela should win that. He does. Now can say so. Jorgensen gets it over to Kyle George. Kyle George takes his time. And the shot goes in. It's 5-2. Bro, Kyle George, he might be the best player in this team. I don't even know. It's honestly like a three-way fight between Almada, Jorgensen, and Kyle George. I don't know who's quite better. They're all so good at what they do. But okay, 5-2. That should be done and dusted. All right, we're getting some subs on. So Holos is on. Um, Gaetan's on. And also Klaassen is on. And we've given him the captain's armband. Because if we lift this trophy, I feel like it should be Klaassen. And also, this might not be the final goal of the game. Because Jorgensen is in. Jorgensen, using his stride, will... Oh, he's not going to score. I should have got closer. Oh, I shot too early. I'm so sad. Almada cross in. Sammy can get to that one. Tiago Messi goes for a volley attempt into the floor. Yeah, Clausen. I'm not sure if he's going to be here next year. Someone's injured, but it's definitely their player. I'm not sure if Clausen will stay next season. So if he doesn't, this will be his last time, his last game. And he gets a little trophy in his final game. So it's a nice way to end it. Now, Almada, you are shooting this. And we are shooting it from absolute distance. And someone's face just got destroyed. And we got another free kick, so we're doing it again. Thiago Almada goes for power shot. Man, that thing has power on it for sure. Jorgensen through to St. Just. Why is he on a run? I don't know, but he is. It's 6-2. Where did our center back come from? I do not know, but this has been an astounding win. How do we have like one good game like this and then a bad game? It's just a very vicious cycle that next season we got to try and stop. If we're more consistent, we could be one of the most deadly teams in Europe. It's just where is the consistency? But full-time whistle sounds. Ajax win the Air Divisi, and we claim our third ever league title and trophy number six. So, I mean, this team has suffered a lot of heartbreak this year. Champions League, the cup. But for once, we get to celebrate something. And Clausen, maybe his final game for Ajax, gets to lift the trophy. I mean, this Ajax team looks a lot different than when we joined, even after selling Brobby and Bergvine. But this team, we've transformed them at least. We've won the Eredivisie. Now, we need to take them to a new level next season. This is still just the start of this Ajax rebuild. But it does feel good after losing both those uh, Champions League and Cup games to at least claim the league title. It's very nice. So, final standings. We win the Eredivisie by two points. I would have like to win it more convincingly but i mean our first season was pretty nuts so really quick let's see who won the champions league champions league winners are going to be chelsea over Bayern. okay brian brobby leaves us and goes on to win the champions league man that's that's pretty crazy um europa league is won by napoli and then leo win the conference league if you want to check on our former teams the premier league was won by manchester city okay so after pep guardiola they win the league again united finished in third interesting and the mls is like mid-season but right now uh inter miami whoa whoa inter miami are in 18th place what is that about? Maybe they lost uh, Suarez and stuff or something. I don't know. But at least we can say we are league champions. So final stats, Jorgensen 24 and 10, Kyle George 18 and 3, Kenneth Taylor 17 and 23. Maybe my disrespect was unwarranted, but a really good season by so many players. And now it's time to showcase them a little bit in our end of season awards show. So right now we're going to recognize some of our best performing players this year. And also, by the way, whoever wins an award gets plus four to their potential. So first up is most improved player. Now this player, as the season went on, just kept getting better better and better and better. Our most improved player is going to be Wrench at right back. He played the second most games for us and he grew plus five overall. So Wrench says, thank you. It's an honor. And he gets plus four to his potential. Now next is best defender. This one is pretty obvious. The winner is going to be Jeremiah St. Jesse. All year long, he was our best defender. And Jeremiah says this trophy is going by his nightstand. Now final trophy player of the season. Now there's multiple players that could win this, but player of the season award is going to go to Sammy Jorgensen. 24 goals, 
10 assists, club's top scorer, and one of the highest average match ratings in the team this year. Sammy says it's a great honor to win this trophy, and he thanks everyone at IX for believing in him. And then we, of course, thank everyone for attending the awards ceremony. So each award winner will get plus four to their potential next year. Now, if you guys like the idea of us doing like an awards show at the end of the season, and we do it for season two, we'll do votes next time so you guys can decide who wins the awards. So let me know if you want to see that. But next year, I'm expecting big things for this team. We have built an insane youth academy too. Season two at IX could be special. Okay, our second season as Ajax manager starts now. So in our first season, we won the Eredivisie League title, but we also fell short in the Champions League and the Domestic Cup, losing in the final to PSV. This season, we won't settle for the same failure. With all the young talent in this team from signings, from the Youth Academy, we are ready to make Ajax a force in Europe again. And our goal this year is to win the Champions League. And we're going to need a few more signings to make sure we're ready for this season. So drop a like if you're still enjoying this series and let's get back into it. All right, right now we're in down town Amsterdam. We were running a few errands. Now we're about to go meet with the Ajax sporting director, but first I gotta show you my new car. I mean, as Ajax manager, we had to buy a brand new red car and one that looks this nice. We gotta be rolling around as Ajax manager in some respectable wheels. And I would say this is pretty respectable, but okay, off we go to meet with the sporting director to try and fix up a big plan for this season. But okay, first comment, please say at Ajax, bring back the Champions League glory days. Yeah, so we had interest from uh, from other teams to become their new manager, but we decided to stay at Ajax for one more season at least. Next one, you should train Sammy to get more aggression. That way he'll win more headers and of course score more goals. Yeah, maybe we should send Sammy to go train with uh, Luis Suarez, his old teammate. That'll definitely get his uh, aggression up. And by the way, Sammy Jorgensen now has the has potential to be special tag. If you guys remember, he won player of the year last year, which meant plus four to his potential. So Jorgensen could go crazy this season. And last one, at the end of the career, you should have a trophy cabinet part where you show every trophy you won. You know what? That's a very good idea. And instead of waiting to the end to do that, we're going to do that right now. So welcome to our brand new trophy cabinet. This is where we're going to showcase every trophy we win in this journeyman series. As you can see, our three trophies from the MLS, the two from Belgium, and also the lonely one from the Netherlands. Obviously, we're going to try to add more trophies to this trophy cabinet, but now we got a place to see them all. Now it's time for our meeting with Sven Mislintad, the Ajax sporting director. Now we tell Sven that we got big plans for this season. Ajax have not won the Champions League since 1995. We're going to look to end that drought, and I think these young players need a big goal to motivate them. So once again, our goal is to win the Champions League. Now I think it's very ambitious considering the team we have, but throughout the season, if these young players develop like a model, Jorgensen, Kyle George, we could quickly transform into a team that could challenge for the Champions League trophy. I have belief in this team, but we're going to have to make a few moves here. Of course, also, we have brand new kits for this season, which we'll show a little bit later on. But our budget for season two at Ajax is going to be 56 million. I mean, hey, that's not bad. I feel like we could work with that. Now, our captain, Clausen, I think it's time for him to leave. I liked using him a lot, but his overall is dropping. He's 32 years old. He's the first player we're going to look to move on. We get an offer from Marseille for 6.7 million. We're just going to accept that. Out with the old, and it's going to be in with the new. Now, for his replacement, Placement. I think we already found him in Julian Holst, the youth player we found towards the end of last season. He's 73 overall. He's 18 years old. He's maybe the next Frank and De Jong. So I think it's going to be just a Holst for Klassen replacement deal. We are trusting the youngster. And I think that's going to be the theme of this season, trusting these young players. Now, you guys also told me this, that Ruli is looking to leave Ajax in real life. Now, he was a very solid keeper for us, but I don't think I'm heartbroken if he leaves. I think we could replace him with someone pretty decent. And Bayern want to sign Ruli right now. If we can get like 6 million, I think I'd sell him to Bayern. So let's ask for 6. They accept 6. Okay, I'm cool with that. So we're also going to to sign a new keeper. But oh man, it's a sad day at Ajax. Klaassen is leaving the club. Bro, he was so underrated. I thought we'd sell him in the first season, but he was actually good enough to stay. It's just all good things come to an end. And now Ruli is up next, leaving the club. Our keeper spot is very important. We gotta make sure we make the right decision in replacing him though. So let's go after a new keeper right now. I did look at LaFont. Of course, more of a younger keeper. He's got potential, but I feel like 82 overall, he's not that big of an upgrade over Ruli. And with our goals this season of winning the Champions League, he might just not be good enough right now. I think instead, I'm gonna go for a more experienced option. And that is Cat steals from Wolfsburg. Now he's 33 years old from Belgium, but he's 85 rated and he's also 6'6". I feel like he's the best option to replace John Marulli. Also because we'd only have to pay about five to seven million for him. I mean, if that's true, that's a bargain. So I'm going to try six point. Let's try 6.4. See what uh, Wolfsburg said to that. 6.4. They want Vanden Boomen. Now I actually am looking to maybe sell Vanden Boomen, but I feel like we could do this for cheaper than that. So 6.75. They accept that. That much for an 85 rated keeper, although he is 33 years old. I would say that's worth it. And this should leave us with no doubt we have a solid keeper at the back. So first signing of season two is going to be Castiles. We have a new starting goalkeeper. Now, honestly, I would have liked to go with a younger keeper, but there just weren't many that were better upgrades than uh, Ruli. So the next best option was Castiles, and he has joined Ajax. Now he joins this team right in time because the Eredivisie season starts so quick. It's already time for the first game of the year. Now, honestly, I like this team a lot. I like the bench. I like the young players we got. I like the more experienced players. I have a lot of faith in this starting 11 and also a new captain, Jeremiah St. Just, that I'm not sure I want to change it that much unless we get some offer from a big 
team that we can't deny or reject, which could definitely happen. But I think for now, we're going to start the season with this squad. Castile is being the main change in starting 11. So press conference before our very first game of the year. Now we say, obviously last season, we won the league, but there was also a lot of disappointment. The boys have worked hard all summer long, and we're looking to make a big statement this season. And Ajax is officially back. And in our first game, we have a chance to make that first statement. But first, let's show off the new kits for this season. So that right there is our new home kit. I mean, it's the standard Ajax, the white, the red down the middle. It's very standard, but it's nice. It's got the little light collar trim. I like it a lot. Now that is the away kit. The away kit, I would say that is a pretty, pretty kit. The white collar, white sleeve cuffs. It is just nice. It's a nice blue. Like honestly, on the teams we've done this year, that's one of my favorite kits we've done. And then this year we actually have a third kit. We went for like a black and gold style. It's pretty simple, but it does look good. It pops. So I would say we have some very fine kits this season at Ajax. Very fitting for a season where we plan to win the champions. Like win everything if we can. Although it sounds insane. That's our goal this year. First game, we are looking to make a statement here. Now also this season, of course, we're going to try and win the air division again, defend our title. But I think we're going to heavily focus on the champions league and we might go through this season a little bit quicker than last season. Cause I feel like we already won the air division. We kind of dominated it. So it doesn't exactly need to be a main focus of the season, the air division, but we still want to win it first game. We still want to make a statement. It's been a whole summer of development for a lot of these young players. I want to see it on the field. Gorilla, Sammy lays it off. Wrench can say so. Gets it back to wrench, wrench. We'll slide it over to Sammy Jorgensen, and his shot goes way over the net. I mean, that had a lot of power on it. Now, along with Sammy, St. Just and Wrench both got also potential upgrades from their awards they won. So we didn't forget about that. Say Sal gives it to Wrench. Now, Wrench, the potential upgrade. What about the shot? The shot goes right at the keeper. Say Sal with Sammy gives it over to Almada. Almada, the ball went through his feet there. That was a little awkward. Jorgensen up to Kinsei Sal, who's got space. And Say Sal gets it back to Sammy Jorgensen. We'll shoot across goalkeeper will make the save. All right, Amada corner in. Sammy is there for it. Sammy header. The keeper is going to be, it's going to be right at him. Hey, at least Sammy got the header on target. Second time around. Sammy again, not going to get it. Out to Taylor. In to Ranch who takes the shot. And keeper makes another save. Okay, we are putting pressure on their goal. And the keeper makes another save save how many times am i gonna say that another corner in that time can't get it taylor gets it into saying just the new captain will shoot and i'm not gonna say it this time you already you just saw it i'm not gonna say it oh, of course we have all those chances they come down the field and they might score please get the ball out oh if they would have scored there i would have been so mad after all our chances find all to taylor taylor good run now taylor could he pick a cross out to jorgensen it'll be a corner another corner in can't get it say so into St. Just. He's going to try and shoot it. It's blocked. How many shots already? Hey, at least we're putting pressure on their goal. If it means anything. Now that right there was an absolutely terrible pass from Vindal. That might be the first mistake I've ever seen him make. But that pass was not online at all. I can't even be that mad. Like it's early in the season. I tried passing it to Shitalo, but the pass just wasn't even close. Probably like early season sharpness, rust. And one mistake and it's 1-0 to the other team. Taylor to Almada. First time shot Almada. And we hit... We hit the crossbar. We're not starting the season like this with this much unluckiness. Taylor to Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Oh, he's going to lose it. Amada to Taylor. Taylor has Kyle George. Has him. Shoots. The keeper saves it at all. I would. I try to go for a shot with Amada. And he went for a slide tackle, of course. Bro, I don't know what their. I don't know what rating their keeper is, but it can't be higher than 75. The fact that he's making all the saves is a little fishy. All right, Kenneth Taylor, chance to shoot, and it's right at the keeper. How many shots do we have in that first half? You know what? This is the same team that we had that game against last season, where we. It was like the same thing. We had so many shots. I think we drew it two two. Right? It's the same team. Yeah, 11 shots to one. If I remember right, we did this last season, then we faced them in the cup, and we beat them like eight one. I can't believe this is the same team. Tammy. Out to Kyle George. Come on. We can't. We cannot do this again. Taylor is going to find Almada. Almada, one more pass to Kinsaysa. His shot is, for some reason, right at the keeper, though. Like, bro, I'm aiming at the far post. Sammy. Oh, I thought he was going to get that. Taylor to. Oh, why is it Chitalo? I thought it was uh, I thought it was Kinsaysa there. Kinsaysa. Taylor finds Tiago. Almada. I am just looking for a perfect shot now because every shot is blocked or saved. Sammy could get that. Can't get that. That's going to be a good first touch by Kinsaysa and he's going to lose it. Yeah, see, now I'm trying to look for like an even better shot, but it's kind of like waiting too long for it. George to Vindal. Vindal has got Sammy. Sammy is going to get it out to Kyle George. Good passing. Kyle George gets it into Taylor. Taylor. Okay, bad pass. Almada to Kinsaysa. Kinsaysa out to Wrench. Wrench back to Kinsaysa. Kinsaysa. Could score this can say so finally someone can score now at the corner of my eye the keeper like dove very weirdly there we're gonna see it right now but i'm not sure what happened but at least we scored and can say so that's a great volley though it's bounced up it's kind of like a half volley yeah what is the keeper doing he makes all these saves and he does that i mean like why would he jump i guess he just he knew he wouldn't get it or what this right here is a very weird game but you know what at least it's 1-1 almada out to kyle george kyle george has options kyle george also has jorgensen jorgensen good first touch he's gonna turn 
The strength by Jorgensen gets it back. Oh, Amada. I thought he was going to uh, control that. Okay, Varela wins the header, though. Taylor. Oh, Taylor's going to lose it. Man, if they score this, oh, you've got to be actually joking with me. You've got to be joking. 78 minutes of football, they've had two shots, and they scored both shots. And it's the same team that did this last season. It's just one touch, there's space, and he finds it, and it's a great shot. Okay, Holst on, and also uh, Stroikens on for Conceição. I have no words for this first game. Find all. Into Sammy. Sammy gets it over to Almada. Almada shoots. Oh, thank you. Okay, 10 minutes left. It's 2-2. Can we please win this game? First game of the season. I'm already about to lose my mind. Oh, man. Thank you, Almada, for finishing this. Thank you. Good finesse shot into the back of the net. Come on. We need to win this game. We need to win it. Okay, they're starting to press for some reason, which makes no sense. Jorgensen is going to feed in Kyle George. Oh, Kyle George, do you have the pace? I'm not sure. He's going to try to cut inside. Gets it to Tiago Almada, and it's going to be such a good block. Come on, boys. Find the corner goal. Sammy gets to it. It's going to fall. Oh, could have felt for a rebound. Varela. Natalo gets it to Kyle George. Kyle George has Captain St. Just. And someone, Sammy actually blocked the shot. Bro, St. Just had a perfect angle for the goal and Sammy was in the way. Okay, we got three minutes. Oh, we're not going to win the header though. Oh no. Are they going to get the final chance? Are they going to get the final chance? Please just give me a chance. Oh, they're going to keep the ball. Bro, this is the same exact game. They're going to score here. They're actually going to score. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I, I cannot believe this first game. I literally cannot believe it. They've had three shots, I think, and they scored all three goals. Fortuna Sitard might be my new most disliked team ever. I cannot believe that they just did that to us. First game of the year is going to be a 3-2 loss. Now, we all know what kind of game we just saw. I actually don't even know what I just saw. Oh, man. 20 shots to three, and we lose 3-2. 4.7 XG to 0.8. I mean, hey, if you want a glimpse of, like, the challenging uh, settings we play on, to make this series, like, the toughest challenge yet, you just saw... I literally still can't believe it. Okay, we just sold Univar for 20.2 million. Now we have a lot of wingers and he wasn't, he just wasn't gonna play, so it's sad, but it need to be done. And also Venden Boomin is living as well. I just feel like he didn't really play much, didn't impress much. And with the uh, holes coming through, we don't really need him. So he is also sold. Oh my 96.4 million for Francisco Canseso from Roma. They're offering a hundred million for Canseso, and we could even get more. Okay, we gotta think about this. I mean, Roma, I guess you could say they're a step up from Ajax and Jose Mourinho is trying to steal Conceição from us. And the fact that Conceição is actually Portuguese, it kind of actually makes sense that we can't say no to this. If we can get over 100 million for him, I think we have to accept that. We can't say no to that. So we are speaking to Jose Mourinho right now. Bro, 100 million for Conceição? That's literally insane. Now, I like Conceição, but he's not a 100 million player. I'm going to ask for... I don't want him to walk away. So I'm going to go for 104. 104 million for Conceição? You accept that? That's a lot of money. Ooh, 101. 101 million for Conceição? I'm doing it. Conceição, I liked him a lot. I really liked him, actually. But 100 million? We can't say no to that, especially because it's Jose Mourinho and it's Roma. It makes sense for Conceição. We just sold one of our highest rated players. I I was not expecting that. Oh, okay, now PSG offer 95.3. Okay, PSG. I'm going to do the same thing. 101.5, and then Conceição can choose PSG or Roma, so they accept that. Conceição, it's up to you now. Oh, man. Okay, that happened very quickly. He's already leaving. Now, I don't know where he's going. Let's find out. Where did Conceição choose? He chose to go to Roma. That makes sense. 101.5 million though? Bro, that is insane. So now we have almost 182 million to spend. But now we have a problem though. Because it'd be great if we could say, okay, let's spend that 182 million on one player on a great winger. But that's not what Ajax does. They don't spend more than like 50 million on a player ever. Maybe actually like 30 or 40 million. So to replace Conceição, we can't just go out and buy anyone we want. It's got to be someone who would make sense to make the move from his team to Ajax. And also someone that's not too expensive where it's so unrealistic for Ajax. Now, I did take a look at Ansu Fati, because apparently in real life he's linked with a move away from Barcelona, but I feel like if he moves away, it'll probably be to like a Premier League team or another La Liga team or a Bundesliga team. I don't think Ansu would go to the Eredivisie. And I also was thinking about Yanezai, but I kind of feel like he doesn't really like move me that much. We need to go for like a future star here, because that is the Ajax way. And I think I've identified the future star. His name is Matteo Cancellari from Italy. Now, he's a right winger who's left-footed. He's 23 years old, currently playing for Hayas Verona. And after all the scouting we've done the past few days, he seems like the best possible replacement for Conceição and the one that makes the most sense because this way we get a right winger who's left footed who can cut inside. As you can see, he's pretty well rounded for a winger. He's insanely fast and also 95 agility and then ball control, dribbling, short passing, long shots, 91. Only thing lacking is finishing, but to me, he's the perfect replacement for Conceição and also the most realistic one. And he's still going to cost like 45 million, but I think this makes the most sense. Now it is a downgrade, but it's the Ajax way. So I'm going to offer 42.5 million and see what they say to that. They just flat out accept that. Okay. I think we're signing our next 
next future star. Now, I'm gonna call him Mateo because that last name I do not know how to pronounce. And Mateo is a sick name, so I'm calling him that. Now, to me, his stats look a bit better than his overall. So I'm hoping that translates on the field. But let's do about 70k per week, a little signing bonus. Mateo, are you joining Ajax? Yes, he is. We have signed a replacement for Conceição. We just made about like 50 million for the club and also maybe signed the next future star of Ajax. I feel like he's a player that compliments Almada, compliments uh, Jorgensen and Kyle George, and he'll fit in perfectly in the attack. Maybe even better than Conceição did. But Mateo, welcome to Ajax. So he takes a number 11 shirt. And first things first, we're definitely going to try and train up his finishing. But okay, we were four years into a little change and Mateo is now in the starting 11. Now, honestly, I don't see any other moves we need to make. I have so much faith in this team despite that first game. I like the bench. Like, I don't want to take time away from Hull, or Thiago Messi, Stroikens. So I think we are done with signings. I think Cancelidi and Castiles are our two pickups. And we're going to try to do a Cinderella story and win the Champions League. Even how insane that sounds. And since our focus is the Champions League, we're about to play the first game of the group stage. Now, I feel like being Ajax, we're always in the group of death. Because this year, our group is Liverpool, Sevilla, and Sparta, Praha. I mean, that's the thing about playing in their division. You always get a tough group, I feel like, no matter what. Now, I feel like last year, Letico Madrid Spurs was a little bit tougher. So I think we should beat out Sevilla to make it out of the group. We should. But first game is going to be at Anfield against Liverpool. Talk about a rough start. Now, new captain Jeremiah St. Just in his press conference says that he feels like there's a different energy around the team this year. After all the heartbreak from last season, we are looking for redemption this time around. And first game, we are facing the mighty Liverpool. And also, it's Mateo's uh, debut at right wing, our first time using him. So a little bit of a new look Ajax team. After that first game, we need a win in this one. We need a shock win at Anfield. It's so funny. We make our goal this season to win the Champions League. That insane goal. And then the Champions League gives us Liverpool at Anfield in the first game. Like, there's no way to make that up. We set our goal before the actual group was actually set. So talk about just uh, insanity. But if our goal is to win the Champions League, this is a chance to make a very big upset at Anfield. But this is one of the hardest places to play in Europe. So you can imagine this one is going to be tough. And already it's tough. Find all good tackle. And we will just clear the ball. Mateo. That could have been his first touch for the club. Instead, it goes right back to Salah. Marking Salah, Luis Diaz on competitor mode. I'm about to lose my mind this game, I think. Come on, to steal the ball, please. Vindal, good steal. And Kyle George gets it out. Now, Jorgens is making a run, but I don't think we're going to reach him. Let's go to Almada first. Now, Thiago Almada has got space. That's his spot. And the shot goes over the net. Almada to Taylor. Now, Kyle George has space here. Kyle George is kind of in here. I'm going to shoot at this weird angle because I thought it might go past Allison, but it did not. Now, Salah, long ball to Jota. That's a great ball. Fabinho. Gets it in. Oh, the Liverpool passing is insane. Ben said St. Just, great tackle, though. I mean, this is going to be counterattack city for us because look at their press. If we can get the ball out, which we almost did not there, there's space in their defense. There is space. Now, Varela into Mateo, the new signing. Okay, he actually couldn't get that pass. That was a little bit too much. Uh, had too much power on it. Oh, this is a great move, though. Oh, their passing is just so insane. Jota shot. Castiles. Great save. Vindal will get it out, too. All right, not a bad defensive play. Okay, that's a good pass. Oh, Jorgensen out to Mateo. Mateo into Almada. Almada waits for something. Gets it out to Kyle George. Kyle George. Jorgensen back to Kyle George. Kyle George tries to find something. We can't find it. Man, Liverpool got back so well there. All right, Taylor's in though. Taylor finds Jorgensen. Jorgensen just needs... Oh, just that second touch was so heavy from Jorgensen. If it's not heavy, we can go for a shot there. 35 minutes of just very high pace action. All right, Kyle George is being very patient here. Finds Sammy. Jorgensen, but okay. Gerard Moreno just came by so well there. Wait, who's hurt? Oh, I thought it was our player. Luis Diaz is hurt. That's not good for them. Now, that ball is absolute insanity to Jota. Oh, I thought he was going to go uh, right. Thankfully, Wrench recovers, and it's going to be a corner. John Bailey in a very dangerous spot, but Kyle George, good defending. It's going to be another corner. Come on, get the ball out of our box. Almada. Oh, Leon Bailey. What is that second touch? Declan Rice finds Fabinho. This passing is quite, quite nuts. Oh, what a skill by... Jota trying to mark Bailey and okay, we made a good tackle. It goes right back to them. How am I supposed to defend this? Castile's good save. We are trying our absolute best. Corner in, out. Taylor will get it out a second time. It's actually handball by Taylor, I think. Nope, on them. Okay, what an insane first half. We have a final chance here. We might have a final chance here. Almada over to Kyle George. Kyle George has Mateo. The new signing, first time shot, and Allison makes the save. Oh man, I thought we'd uh, catch him off guard there. All right, final corner of the first half. Almada in. Sammy. Up for it. Oh, clear off the line. Is it going to be a chance for Kyle George? Oh, it was actually, I think, handballed by him. What an insane first half and still no goal to show for it. And we get 45 more minutes of this. Findall up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen takes on Virgil van Dijk. It's quite a matchup. Now, Taylor. Taylor dinks it up to Mateo. Mateo, I thought he would actually reach that. He almost did. 
Almada in front of goal will shoot and he will score. Okay, that came out of nowhere. Just Almada found so much space in the box. It's 1-0 to Ajax. Bro, Taylor just picks the ball off Salah and then just plays it right into Almada. Good turn and the goal is wide open. Okay, 1-0 in the 50th minute. Kyle George up to Jorgensen. Back to Almada. Almada out to... Oh, Vindal finds Kyle George. Kyle George into... Okay, someone please shoot Taylor. Someone please shoot. Oh, it's going to be saved. Okay, Mateo collects. Goes over to Almada. What is happening here? Someone shoot. We just hit the post. That was just pure, like, I don't even know what I just saw, actually. Okay. Oh, they might score off it. Castiles makes the save. And, oh, I should have done that. Why did I do that? I am trying to not let them have possession. I thought that was the right choice. St. Just to Castiles. Okay. This is just pure chaos. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing. Jota out to Salah. Come on, boys. Don't let them tie this up. Jeremiah, good spot. Oh, goes back to Salah, though. Bro, the balances in this game are insane. Salah, please stop. St. Jessica tackle, and we do get it out once again. We survive. All right, counterattack for the ages, maybe. Because Kyle George is going to find Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it to Almada. Almada tries to find something. I was actually aiming for Taylor there, not Varela. All right, first sub for us is Thiago Messi on for Kyle George. That is the first sub for some fresh legs. Leon Bailey's in, though. He might score. Thankfully, it goes back to wrench, and okay, we almost just cleared it into our own net. And now there's a lot of space for Thiago Messi. Thiago, crossover. Oh, man. Jorgensen was actually so free right there. Jorgensen to Mateo. Mateo cuts inside. Was that a foul? Okay, he just got fouled, I think. Taylor collects. Almada is going to find Jorgensen. Jorgensen is going to try to go for a low-driven shot, and Allison can't save it. 80th minute. Are we about to win at Anfield? That was just like a prayer of a shot at a weird angle. Almada plays it into Jorgensen, and it's just such a weird angle. I think Allison wasn't expecting it again. What a smart shot by Sammy Jorgensen. Okay, Matazo on for Taylor. We got 10 minutes now to hold a two-goal lead. We might get a win at Anfield. Now, our new signing, Mateo, is actually injured, which is not good. Hopefully, he runs it off, though. I don't see him holding his arm, so I feel like he probably will. Don't let them score one. Please get it out. Oh, that was so dangerous. Yeah, he is good so that is also very good almada long ball to jorgensen jorgensen versus van dyke okay that touch by van dyke was really good don't let them get one goal need to tackle that okay jeremiah oh that was a, like a fingernail tackle jorgensen gives it to tiago messi to seal the game at anfield might shoot and he also might score oh man three nil we just beat liverpool at anfield this is like the most chaotic game of fifa i have played in such a long time this game was so much closer than three nil but i think we've actually done it i can't believe the game we just played we just won three nil and it easily could have been like three one to them that game was just chaos but we just beat jurgen klopp and liverpool talk about a statement on the opening match day of the champions league and now it's time for match day number two so sevilla beat sparta pra so if we could beat sevilla here we would take a very very good lead in first place now i think i'm gonna start tiago messi this game i feel like he played a uh, decent last one cancel he's a little tired so tiago messi in for him i think other than that we leave the team as it is the confidence in this team is growing right now so come on boys we win here we put every team in the champions like on notice and ajax may be actually back there's no way this can be as chaotic as the last one there's no way now kyle george has vindal making a great run and i see tiago messi free at the far post but can tiago messi get it he actually does, but the header is right at the keeper, though. Thiago out to Almada, into Messi, and okay, Jorgensen, the shot is right at his back. All right, Jeremiah driving the ball forward into Taylor. Tries to get it to Jorgensen, but can't. Now, there were a lot of comments saying that Taylor should have won the Player of the Season award. And I mean, come on, Taylor in played games did not play that well. He did score and stuff, but all the goals and assists he had, I would say probably like 80% of them were in Sim games. And thank you, Castiles, for making that save. But yeah, a lot of his assists and goals were in Sim games, not in actual played games. That's why he didn't see him as good to me as he did in terms of his stats. But this season, I have faith, but Ceballos will score the first goal for Sevilla. I mean, right here, this is just kind of a good shot. Just lose track of him. Not marking. And it's also a good shot. It's 1-0. Okay, we need to find a response here. Uh, George gets it to Taylor. Taylor into Sammy Jorgensen. Whenever I criticize Taylor, he does something well. I mean, if it, if it works, it works. Jorgensen makes him 1-1. Literally, just right on cue. Good ball into Taylor. Taylor. Good pass in Jorgensen, and it's also a good finish. Okay, 1-1. One, one. But I'm trying to be like Jose Mourinho, you know, winning the Champions League with Porto, like the underdogs. I want a story like that this season. I really think we can do it. I think this team is good enough. If we play good enough, we can definitely do it, especially with us focusing on that. Okay, Jorgensen into Kyle George. We got space here, Almada. Oh, I'm going to pass to him there instead. Kyle George 
goes all the way is gonna find almada and we just were so patient there all of a sudden it's 2-1 to ajax okay we just literally ran down the field and scored defense into attack i will take it 2-1 Varela into almada almada now jorgensen was calling for it okay that was that block from behind by Ceballos. but uh, we do get a look at yen this game and okay he just destroyed me i guess that's what i get for not signing him good tackle though messi gets it up to jorgensen jorgensen into tiago tiago waiting for almada We'll find Tiago Almada, but it's well defended. Man, so VR are pressing like Liverpool. Like, it's kind of surprising. Oh, Messi, we got to get that ball through, though. We can't get the ball up to the press like that. Almada to Taylor, Taylor to Varela. Back out to Tiago Messi. Tiago Messi into Jorgensen. Jorgensen, great turn. Stays on his feet, goes for the shot, and it's going to be a save. Come on, Sammy, I want to see you score from a corner. He's been so close. It's always cleared off the line, though. Out to... Tiago Messi finesse shot that is blocked. Rebound is back in the box, but it's going to be cleared. Now, Taylor out to wrench. Wrench cross up to Sammy Jorgensen. Good header, but another good save. This keeper is making it not uh, not through one right now, even though it should be. Okay, Satalo, we're shooting that, and it goes all the way through. Those volleys always look so bad. But hey, first half 2-1. I'm not exactly mad at that. Now, that's a very good through ball to uh, Rafa Mir, but Jeremiah St. Just, another good tackle by him. Find all up to Kyle George. Kyle George gets it over to Sammy. Sammy will wait for Armada. Oh, wait, that's actually Taylor. Of course, Taylor is going to score again. I should just criticize him every single episode because he keeps proving me wrong. Two goals for Taylor and it's 3-1 to Ajax. Great play though by uh, Kyle George and Jorgensen to build that up. Come on, this is how good we can play against these big teams in Europe. 3-1, Ajax might be back. A win against Liverpool, a win against Sevilla would mean that. Just that first team, Fortuna Sitar, bro. I just fear them. Like, I don't fear many things in life, but I fear Fortuna Sitar. Even though I know that's probably not how you say their name. Okay, Amada gives it to Vindal. Vindal stops. Gets it to Tiago Almada. Shoots. Why was that shot on the ground, Tiago? Needs to be better than that. All right, their passing is starting to deteriorate a lot. And we got a pass here to Kyle George. Oh, man, that's very good defending, though. All right, three subs. New signing Mateo is on. And also two youth players, Holst and Gaetan, also on. Like that first game for Mateo at Liverpool was uh, a rough one. Maybe in this one, he can score his first goal for the club. Okay, Ziek. What an insane cross. Castiles is coming to life. He's actually making some insane saves. Corner in. That should be out by Taylor. Not the greatest clearance, but it's good enough. We need to get the ball out, though now shot is right at castiles he will grab it all right jeremiah saint just out to mateo what a ball by our center back mateo is in now mateo oh man jorgensen i need you to like track back there give a pass for mateo come on don't let him back in the game do not let them back in the game that's a weird ball please get it out please get it out i don't know where the ball is we're gonna clear it and that one was a little bit stressful mateo out to holst holst a good ball to uh to wrench now this chance is a little bit ruined okay wrench goes for a very ambitious pass to holst good ball in oh okay gaitan just saved a goal right there messi get it back to find all into Taylor. Taylor gets it to Tiago Messi. He's onside. Tiago Messi could get a crossover to Mateo. It's going to be cleared. Header one, and it'll be right in front of uh, the keeper. But that's full time. That was a weird ending. But 3 1, another win in the Champions League. We start off with two wins. My confidence in this team is growing by every game. And I think Ajax are actually back. But okay, after that game, we get back home. It has been a great start to our Champions League campaign. But the work never stops. Now we're working in our beautiful living room, trying to still look for ways we can improve this team. Now, although last two games, our defense has actually not been that bad, we only conceded one goal i still feel like we're a bit too open to the back now i think i might go from pressure every touch to balanced i might go to that and then lower our depth like more to 50 to play more like traditional style to see if that helps us concede not as many goals we're still gonna have like the front three pressing but maybe not so much as like a complete all-out press style because this team could definitely use some balance now we give a little interview before our next game and we say that we like what we've seen so far from our new signing mateo canceliti that he hasn't scored yet but he's doing a lot of good things in the field and if that continues the goals will come oh man it is not good news. Jeremiah St. Juste has a dislocated shoulder. Is going to be out for four months. The only positive is it's not six or seven months. So four months. That means uh, he should be back by the round of 16, maybe if we get there. Man, that might force us to buy a center back though in January. It might force us to, just in case. So for now, I think Gaetan comes in and he has to play a big role in this team. I think we give the captain's armband to probably Taylor. Oh, wait, no. Who do we give the captain's armband to? Maybe Wrench actually. Who's the oldest? I think Vindal is actually the oldest of the team. So maybe he goes to Vindal for now. Man, that is so unfortunate though. He's such a good center back we're gonna have to deal with it though so 136 million to spend in january and once again i might have a center back already in mind who we should sign but hey after that first game loss we won the next nine games so we're in first by two points that is pretty nuts and then champions league we are a shoe in for first in this group already as long as we don't just completely collapse i feel like this
this season we can truly make some noise in Europe, especially if this young team continues to improve. Okay, we just sold our starting right winger, Francisco Canseso, to Roma for 100 million, something we were not expecting to do. Now, we did replace him with the Italian right winger, Matteo Cancelliti, who's been a pretty solid replacement. It's also been a very solid start to our season. First place in the Eredivisie and also top of our Champions League group five games in. We want to make a Champions League dream run this year with this young and exciting team, but the transfer window is approaching very fast and you just never know what could happen. So drop a like if you are still enjoying this series and let's get right back into it. So right now we're outside playing with Fergie, getting some nice fresh air. Now we love this house in Amsterdam, but a year from now, we're not sure if we're going to be living here anymore. We got a lot to think about, but obviously right now we're going to focus on this season. Now we go inside and go look at our phone and we actually have a missed call from Lionel Messi, of course, our former player at Inter Miami. So we'll have to try to remember to call him back soon. Now, the big news we got at the end of the last episode was that our captain and best center back, Jeremiah St. Juste, is out for four months with a dislocated shoulder. Now, we have simmed ahead a little bit, so he's going to be back in eight weeks. But because of that injury, we might look to sign a center back in January, just in case we get another injury. But we're not in January just yet. We have one game before that, and it's against Sevilla in the Champions League. So if we win, we finish top our group. If we lose or draw, then potentially Liverpool finish first and we finish second because we know Liverpool, they're going to beat that bottom team. So we need to beat Sevilla here. Finishing first in this group is so important for us. And also, by the way, look at the team's growth. Like Jorgensen is up to an 86. Like Kyle George, 83. Almada, 85. Even Cancelidi is at 82. The growth in this team the past few months have looked really good. Now, press conference before this big game. We say that we don't want to finish second in our group. We want to show that we're the best team in our group. So the players understand the importance of this game. Now, only change for this game is going to be Thiago Messi coming in for uh, Cancelidi. And also, of course, uh, youth prospect Gaetan from Colombia will start in place of injured Jeremiah San Juste. So boys, win this game, finish first in the group. Let's get this job done in Spain. Come on, we're already through the knockout stage, but finishing first is so important. I don't want to get PSG, Bayern, Real Madrid. I don't want them in the round of 16. I want a clear path to like the quarters and semis. So if we can win in Spain, we'll show that we are uh, rightly winners of this group. Kind of surprising Liverpool have played so bad in the group, but I mean, they could still finish first over us. Okay, this is a good start for Sevilla, but okay, Gaetan, great tackle from our youth prospect. Now Almada is going to play it over to Sammy. Sammy gets to him. Sammy Jorgensen volley. Oh, if you would have scored that, that would have been nuts. Okay, he plays it up for a corner. I'll take that. I really thought that had a good chance going in. Honestly, it did. Sammy could get that header. Will not. Barilla. Jatalo gets it into Thiago Messi volley. Oh, that looked good, but it's blocked. Okay, very high pace start. Oh, no. I was going to go back. Kyle George over to Almada. Almada shoots and Almada will score. It's 1-0 in seven minutes. Thiago Almada makes it Ajax 1-0 against Sevilla. Okay, this is a flying start. Absolutely started this game with the right mentality. Like Kyle George, great assist. Almada, great finish too. Okay, let's keep this up. Well, we want to try and do the unthinkable and win the Champions League with Ajax. Like I said before, it'd be our Jose Mourinho moment. Like winning the Champions League of Porto, this would be our moment like that. But I mean, it's going to be an absolute challenge, but if these players play as good as I know they can, we have a chance at least. Okay, Varela. I don't know what kind of technique that is of tackling. Amada to Kyle George lays it off. Okay, that was actually a horrible pass from Kyle George. All right, Kenneth Taylor. He is a, he's a favorite in the comments. Not exactly my favorite. Okay, Jorgensen, if you would have scored that. He's looking like Robin Van Persie out there. Also a great pass from Taylor. I'll give him that. Whenever I criticize Taylor, he plays well. So that's why I'm criticizing Kenneth Taylor. Because he always plays well at handball. That's handball. By Ceballos, we got a free kick. Okay, it looks like Almada is probably the best free kick taker. So, Tiago Almada looking for his brace from the free kick spot. Looks good. Feels good. But, Tiago, oh, it's going to be deflected. All right, wasn't the worst attempt. Now, Tiago cross in. Sammy, fight for it. Okay, Sammy just, like, teleported there. I'm not sure why. Now, Varela goes for a long shot. Varela hits the crossbar rebound. Oh, no, is that a card? Oh, Varela could have been sent off there. He's got a yellow card. Hey, Varela, we need you to relax a little bit. Find all. Almada. In to Kyle George. Kyle George off to Kenneth Taylor. Good shot, but a good save. Okay, we are putting a lot of pressure on Sevilla. Sammy could get to that. Okay, the keeper came out for that horribly. Kyle George with a power shot. That's deflected almost in. We are getting a large amount of chances. It's just where is the second Sammy header? Oh, there's the second Sammy Jorgensen. He's starting to score from corners. He has improved so much this season already. I think now 86, he's gotten a lot better at corners because corners sent in, fights for it over two guys into the back of the net. Okay, 31st minute, 2-0 to Ajax. Okay, don't let Sevilla back in this game. That's a good ball, but uh, Varela, good interception. Oh, Tiago Messi through Ti to Tiago Amada. It's Tiago to Tiago. And Tiago Amada should score that Oh, man. 3-0 to Ajax. We are smashing Sevilla right now. We have came to Spain with the right mentality today. Kyle George up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen has got Thiago Messi. He plays it to him, actually. The Inter-Miami boys combining, and Thiago Messi can't get the finish. Man, the ball bounced up so awkwardly. Jorgensen, though, what a pass. All right, we are swinging this one in. Beautiful. 
Sammy gets to it. Oh, in the back of the net by Sammy Jorgensen again. Might be an own goal, actually. I don't know why it's... They're acting like it's an own goal. Yeah, it was an own goal. Man, it should be a Jorgensen goal. I mean, it's on target, right? Okay, the defender kind of headed it in, but I feel like that should be Sammy's goal. That's kind of unfortunate. It should be Sammy's goal. What? Yeah, it's a Montiel own goal. That makes no sense. But it's 4-0, though. That makes sense to me. Bro, we are transforming this Ajax team before our eyes right now. Like, we are taking the next leap. And I think our now defensive style of balance is helping the team a lot. Not concede so many goals. Okay, Jorgensen after after that bad after that good last pass that one was terrible oh no Oh, I slid him with Varela. What am I doing? I don't want to get a man sent off and they might score anyways Oh, they're gonna score. I went for I went for the tackle. How did Castillo save that? I gave up I thought they scored Hey, Castillo's he may be a little bit old, but he's done really well for us and first half 4-0 pretty much perfection We're getting sent over to Tiago Messi the son of Messi looks for an angle finds one Takes a shot, and it's going to be blocked. And Amada's shot is also going to be blocked. Back-to-back, Tiago's shots both blocked. Messi to Amada. Amada's got Taylor. Okay, goes out to Kyle George instead. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. But that is into Jorgensen. Goes for a volley, and it's going to be uh, intercepted. And we're looking good, though, right now. Very good. What's kind of funny in this series is every team we've been at, I feel like I've made like a very strong connection to Anderlecht into Miami. I feel like every team, we truly make it our team for some reason. I don't know why. It's like different than a normal series. Because we're continuing in the same save, I guess it feels a little bit more like attachment towards it. I don't even know what I'm saying but you know what I mean. Oh, that's a good ball. Okay, what is that volley attempt? I don't know, but it's right back to Castile's. Honestly, Sevilla have not been very good in this game. I guess that's why they're not making it out of the group. French Jorgensen, Jorgensen is in a fine. Tiago Messi again. Now he's got Kyle George, far post, Messi cross, but okay, that was actually a good cross. Just Kyle George went to the wrong spot. Taylor to Jorgensen, Jorgensen, long shot. It goes over the net. All right, now Messi's on the left wing and he might score. First shot on the left wing, it's going to be saved. Man, Messi's looking for his first goal, though, of the game. He's not like he's not trying. Jorgensen can't get that. Now, Cancelidi and Holst are on. We got the uh, youngster also in the midfield. I feel like one more goal, this game will be done. I mean, are they going to make this game? Because this attack actually looks pretty good. Their first good-looking attack of the game. But defense is a bit too strong right now. That's a good ball, though. Oh, very good ball. Good pass over. Castillo's good save. No, get it out. Please get it out. Oh, Sanchez gets it out. The ball was just right in front of our line right there. Gaetan on Montiel. Gaetan. Gaetan. Oh, Christian Gaetan. What defending from our Colombian Youth Academy product. Okay, Jorgensen to Thiago Almada. Thiago Messi, you got to score this. Thiago Messi, you must score this. You must. How does he miss it again? He's gotten like three clear chances. Corner in. Jorgensen header. That goes just wide. Monas, one more in this game's done. Jorgensen, you were just on that man's back like a backpack. Cunha, crossover. That is dangerous. Okay, Shitalo, great defending. All right, that is full time. Literally nothing happened after that last chance. So, 4-0. That game was won in the first half. And we finished top of our Champions League group. We are looking to make a statement this year. And I think we just did. And that right there is the confirmation. So, we should get like a pretty decent round of 16 matchup. Which will be in this episode. Well, we are officially into the January transfer window. So, we were sitting in our office. And we get a knock at the door to... Turns out that it's Lionel Messi. And he's like, hey, long time no see. He says, you didn't return my call. I tried to call you. And we say, oh, my bad. Yeah, I totally forgot. Now, Messi says, I was trying to tell you that we've agreed personal terms with Barcelona for Thiago Messi. And we say, you went behind our back to make a move to Barcelona? And he says, hey, I tried to warn you. I wanted to tell you first. But it's been a good year and a half at Ajax for Thiago. Now, I want him to play for Barcelona. Xavi wants him. They've already agreed personal terms. Now, it's up for you to agree a fee with Barcelona. And Messi says, I'm sorry it had to happen like this so it looks like we have no choice in this matter tiago messi is going to barcelona we can do nothing about it and just like that tiago messi has officially left ajax now playing for his father's club i mean as much as we feel like a little bit betrayed you can understand messi he wants his son to play for his club but now we just lost our best winger off the bench we only have gods and okoto now so we need a replacement for tiago messi in january and maybe even a center back too now earlier we talked about cole palmer and i feel like right now loaning in cole palmer might be a good bet so we're gonna try to do that right now i don't want to just outright buy him pep put a shirt on the man is shirtless in my office or might his office i don't even know i'm scared but the more realistic thing to do is to loan him in i think so we're gonna get this done see if he accepts it and uh see if cole palmer could join us on a six month loan hey pep's got abs okay cole palmer has accepted his loan so now he's on loan to ajax for six months i mean tiago messi had so much potential but at least cole palmer is a very good option off the bench too we also loaned in one more player and this one makes me very very happy we were able to loan in kamal miller from anderlecht he's been with us since day one from inter miami to anderlecht 
now at Ajax on a six month loan. So he'll be in place of St. Just for now until he's back officially. But we have another like very capable center back. And we got the deal done by sending them Akpo Guma on loan. So it was kind of like a swap loan deal. So pretty much Palmer replaces Messi. Uh, Miller on the bench now. I mean, honestly, he's definitely going to start from here on out. But it still makes me sad that we lost Thiago Messi. We might see him down the road. Who knows? But I have so much faith in this team that we are not doing any more business in this season. We are sticking with this team and trusting them to do something in the Champions League. Do the unthinkable here. So table update. 23 games in, we have a four-point lead in the Eredivisie. Trying to defend our league title. We are in the semifinals of the Cup again. Facing Excelsior, so we should beat them and reach the final again. And now our next game, though, is going to be the Champions League round of 16. Yeah, the big one. So we finished first in our group, which made me think we're going to have an easy run of 16. You know, a team that's not that good, a team we could easily get past and make it to the quarterfinals. Well, I was just completely wrong. Round of 16, we have been drawn Atletico Madrid, the team that beat us 7-0 last season and probably the toughest team we faced so far at Ajax. We now face them in the round of 16. Our luck at Ajax is just so bad. This is about to be an absolute battle. Now, we are going to, though, sim the first leg, play the second leg. And yeah, I'm scared. So, first First leg is going to be, it's, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one draw. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, no. Chitalo got hurt. Almada scores. Uh, Botman scores for them, but now Chitalo is hurt. But we can't lose our other best center back. He's actually our best center back in terms of rating. Is going to be out for five weeks with a groin strain. Okay, could be worse, but I mean, it's a good thing we got Kamal Miller then. It's a very good thing we signed him. Bro, our luck is just absolutely insane right now. Insanely bad. So we're about to play the second leg. It's 1-1 one, one in aggregate, and Vindal has a red. He's suspended for the second leg. Now, Chitalo is actually he's kind of back but i don't i don't know how fit he is though to play okay what do we do here obviously i think saint just we can put him for vindal and either miller or saint just play there because they're both so quick i mean can chitalo play he looks like he can actually he actually can play so i might we might go with that back four i don't know we might have to do that could this get any more dramatic now we face atletico madrid it looks like chitalo is gonna try and play at center back so we go with that team against a coach that doesn't like us a team that beat us 7-0 could our champions league dream come crashing down right here but oh man we've had such a good season so far it could literally come crashing down right now against a team that we do not like. Doesn't like us and we don't like them. And also after losing Thiago Messi, Cole Palmer on the bench, we'll see if this team can just get past Letico Madrid. But hey, I'll say this. We are a different team than the team they beat 7-0. We are a much different team, Taylor. Through to Kyle George. Okay, Kyle George is shot right there. I should not have taken that first time because uh, that was not that good. All right, Kamal Miller, first interception uh, using him for Ajax. I trust him with my life. Now, Almada, good dribbling here. Almada goes for a shot. Tiago Almada into the back of the net. Oh my, what a start. Almada is a star. He's one of the best like central attack midfielders I've used this year. That is how we start. Just a prayer of a left-footed shot goes right into the corner. Okay, I'll take that. Come on, we are the Cinderella team this year. I can feel it. One goal lead, seven minutes in. Come on, we're not the same team that they faced last. We are not the same team. Almada to Cancelieri, goes over to Kyle George. Kyle George. Oh my, we have had scored two goals in the first 11 minutes. Mateo to Kyle George, and it's 2-0 to Ajax. This is the most unbelievable start we've had all series long, I think. In a game this big, Mateo, great cross, but this is all Kyle George. He's so far away there, and he still gets his head to it. Simeone is not happy right now. Okay, two-goal lead. With so much time left, we can actually do this. As long as we can defend, we got Kamal Miller, Jeremiah St. Just in the same back four. The two center backs I trust the most, Castiles. Thank you for making that save. Oh, we can't let him score that quick. Oh, we need to steal it. We need to steal it. Oh, Mateo, great steal and keeps it in. Beautiful. Now, Wrench, right back to Mateo. Mateo. Oh, that pass from Wrench was actually terrible. Please get it out. No. Come on, Miller. Oh, it's going to be in the back of the net. Wrench played such a bad pass. I don't know why that pass was so off. Okay, it's 2-1. Man, I mean, Miller was left out to dry there. We cannot make mistakes in a game like this. That just made me so much more nervous, the fact we let him score that. Taylor up to Kyle George. Kyle George tries to get it. Sammy. Oh, that was handball by, I think, Kyle George. Come on, they're starting to play a little better. I knew if they scored, they would get in the game. I just knew it. We got to try and stop this. Good shot. Actually, a bad shot. All right, Taylor's got space to work with. Now, Jorgensen, I think, is in here. Jorgensen? Actually went for Kyle George instead. Oh, man. Wasn't a bad idea, though. Miller, great tackle. Man, Miller is just as good. Now, George over to Amada. Varela, you got space for a shot, maybe. Varela goes for a long shot. Oh, man. Old Black was full stretch there. What a save. Come on, Amada. Good corner. Come on. Get it to Sammy. It's actually going to go to St. Just, and it's going to go to Old Black instead. Oh, Chitalo. Great steal. He's injured, but he's playing through it. Amada has got Kyle George. Kyle George. In again. Volley is right at the keeper's chest, though. All right. Tiago's got space. Almada. 
to stretch his legs into Jorgensen. That's some very good defending. Yeah, those passes aren't going to exactly work as easy against Atletico Madrid. They got Bernardo Silva. Bro, this Atletico Madrid team is insane. How have they made so many good signings? They got Barella, Memphis, like Correa. Bernardo Silva to Atletico Madrid is insane. Oh, this passing is very good though too. Oh, he's going to get through and he's going to score, bro. Angel Correa, his dribbling is just so hard for me to defend. Two goal lead erased. It's 3-3. 43rd minute. Oh, man, we had a two goal lead. How do we ruin that great start? Bro, Letico Madrid and Fortuna Sitard are my two least favorite teams in the save. For clearly obvious reasons, Mateo would get a good cross. Actually, a good one. It's going to go to all black, though. And that is the first half. We're right back where we started. It's tied up. Come on, we have belief. 45 more minutes. we got to show it, though. Don't let it come crashing down here. Ball gets through. Oh, Bernardo Silva, bro, and him Correa. I just can't. Why do I have to defend these players in these spots? Memphis. Okay, Castile's amazing save. That was disgusting by them. Jeremiah into Taylor. Taylor gets it to Almada. Almada keeps it over to Mateo. Mateo gets it to Wrench. Wrench back to Almada. Almada tries to get it to Sammy. Sammy was right there open, bro. It was an insane pass. Wrench, I need you to stop him. I need you to stop him. Oh, we made a tackle, and it actually... It got through, and Castiles makes another save. Okay, Jean Felix is on for Memphis. You know what? For right now, uh, Memphis is playing so good, that's actually fine. Just get this ball out, though, please. Okay, he was offside. Oh, we got lucky there. I am getting extremely, extremely nervous. All right, Mateo is driving forward, though. Mateo finds Jorgensen. Jorgensen, oh, man. Gets it to Jeremiah. Jorgensen keeps it. Plays it back to Kenneth Taylor. Oh, his first touch. He got closed down. Bro, I don't like anything about this. Varela, good tackle. Jeremiah gets it out. George up to Jorgensen. Almada. Almada needs to win it back, but Jimenez gets it to Molina. Oh, man. We're like just struggling right now a little bit. Wait, Memphis is still on. I don't know who Felix actually came on for. Maybe uh, Correa? That's actually probably a very good thing. Bro, they're just keeping this ball right now and not letting us touch it. This is nuts. Memphis, we need to steal this. Jeremiah, I need you. We got to steal this ball. This passing is nuts. Miller on Memphis. Memphis. Oh, man. The skills. It's just so incredibly hard to defend we got it out the last second though bro this second half has flown by we got 20 minutes left come on let's be a little patient let's find a very good shot here teo varela gets it over to taylor taylor to kyle george good ball get it back to taylor taylor tries to go for a shot it's blocked teo wins it into almada into sammy taylor first time shot oh that looked like such a good chance bro this goal is here for us almada oh man we're gonna shoot we're going to shoot with Almada. Jorgensen, rebound. Mateo. Oh, it's going to be cleared again. All this pressure, Taylor. Gets it over to Almada. Almada will shoot. Oh, it's going to rebound back to Atletico Madrid. I can't believe it, bro. It's like the, the most awkward of chances. Oh, Jeremiah, good tackle on Memphis. I am terrified right now. Okay, Miller, Miller, Miller. Good interception there. We got one minute left. Oh, we can't get the ball to Mateo. It's going to extra time. It might go to extra time. As long as they don't score here, it might go into extra time. Oh, okay, ref blows the whistle. Felix had the ball there. We are going to extra time. I can't take the stress of this right now. Okay, Mateo's got to come off for either Palmer or Stroikens. I'm going to do Stroikens. I trust him more. That is our only change in extra time. We got 30 more minutes come on we gotta win this bro if we lose this i will be heartbroken just like never before mata taylor jorgensen jorgensen i need you on a run and i need a model with the ball mata looking for jorgensen jorgensen goes to him volley get it to your okay get it to Almada. Almada shoots and all black makes the save oh the ball was right there corner swung in sammy is there header all black will make the save again come on get this corner goal get it to sammy sammy gets to it all black will grab it comfortably Stroikens up to jorgensen jorgensen it's gonna wait great dribbling Stroikens. Stroikens is in Stroikens in front of goal all black makes another save and he will grab it we are getting chances like actually more than them almada good first touch plays it oh kyle george wasn't in there miller miller on felix what a tackle okay they got the last chance of the first half no they don't oh man i am stressing so bad right now 15 more minutes okay jeremiah is rinsed so i think i bring on sanchez for jeremiah i gotta do that do i bring off kyle george for palmer do i do that no i can't do it 15 more minutes to decide our fate hey sanchez great steal in his first touch jorgensen to amada amada Gets it to Kyle George. Kyle George. Oh, we try to find Jorgensen. Players, are stamina is lower now. So the passing is not as crisp. Oh, no. Miller. Miller, I need you. Miller, just save me. Oh, man. Almada driving forward. Lays it off to Taylor. Get it out wide. Oh, Stroikens, I need you to stay there. We got five minutes left. That's it. Oh, the game is just slowed down so much. Like, both teams don't want to lose it at the end. Sanchez, Sanchez, good steal. We have one final chance here. If we get the ball forward, we do. Kyle George has maybe Jorgensen. Kyle George in the box. 
Jorgensen shot and we've actually won it at the very end oh my Sammy Jorgensen and Kyle George just send us to the Champions League quarterfinals literally the last minute I cannot believe what I've just seen I have never been more stressed in a game ever than this oh my Jorgensen makes a very good like run to the near post there and then the finish all oh, the finish is beautiful on his right foot it's beautiful did we just knock out Atletico Madrid please ref 120th minute please ref ball the whistle just ball the whistle please please yes he does we have actually beaten Atletico Madrid oh dude my heart that's like one of the most satisfying wins I have ever gotten in any series in any FIFA that game was just so sloppy and like so awkward at times but we get it done final minute we win it Simeone see you later oh man one more time 30 seconds over at a time literally final kick of the game it is Sammy Jorgensen to send Ajax to the Champions League quarterfinals literally magic I won't lie I'm slightly in shock here I was feeling so much deja vu like last year when we got knocked out by AC Milan I thought the same thing was gonna happen in the round of 16 but Jorgensen did it and Kyle George honestly everyone Kamal Miller saved me in extra time I don't know how many times the entire team pulled through and that was barely the round of 16 we still got so much more to go so next up is the Champions League quarterfinals so Ajax uh, Juventus be Real Madrid Real Madrid out early that's that's pretty crazy uh Chelsea be PSG Liverpool through uh, Dortmund Bayern Spurs and and also Manchester United oh man we could have Manchester United in the quarterfinals is it us versus Eric Ten Hag in the quarterfinals no okay it's Borussia Dortmund okay out of all the teams left I think I would have taken either Spurs or Dortmund so I'll take that but Ten Hag still in the Champions League that's kind of crazy so Borussia Dortmund we're gonna play both legs I'm not simming one of them we're playing both first one is at home now everyone is fully fit so St. Just is back so Tallow is fully fit uh Miller I feel like I have to start St. Just and Tallow I can't replace them and Vindal left back I can't replace him either so for now Miller will be on the bench but as a super sub if we need him that's definitely a good thing to have but we go with pretty much team that got us here and now we play the Champions League quarterfinals and oh yeah I forgot Dolberg is actually playing for Dortmund our striker at Anderlecht now we face him and by the way that's not a bad team at all right there for Dortmund not a bad team so first leg at home let's just try and continue this dream run for that last game was one of the craziest games ever like it's hard to play again after that but hey it's a Champions League so Borussia Dortmund Ajax we now go again a knockout pretty much two leg tie now once again this Dortmund team they don't look insane on paper but they got the few players that they're a very sneakily good team I think now Kyle George has room though Kyle George has a lot of room Finesse shot by Kyle George. This goes right at Koble. Man, we face another great keeper in Koble. First, it was All Black, now Koble. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Jeremiah, good tackle. Jeremiah and Chitalo both fully fit again. Both playing their best. Now, Mateo. Mateo's on a run here. Mateo. Cancellati shot. Oh, he just hit the post. That shot didn't even look that good. It was so slow, but Mateo hits the post. Oh, man. Bino Gains. We know him from the Kensington series. We know how good he is. And yeah, so far, he's pretty good. He just gets by me there. Julian Brandt needs to be stopped. Needs to be stopped. Chitalo, how do you let him go around you there? That's not what I wanted to do. Please get the ball out. Please, Taylor. 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 Good steal. We can't let him just chill in the box like that. Now, Kyle George is in. If it's timed right, it is timed right. Kyle George. Oh, his first touch was so tough. Oh, man. That ball just bounced up too high for him. Come on. Score the first goal in this quarterfinals. Barella over to Wrench. Wrench. I feel a shot there. I feel it. Okay, what a shot. Again, that shot didn't look that fast, so I didn't think it was that good, but it actually was a great shot. Sammy corner balls to Chitalo can't get a shot away though okay Taylor that's a great block on that pass Mateo Jorgensen Jorgensen could play it to Almada and he's onside he's onside first goal of the quarterfinals goes to Ajax and it's Tiago Almada again I thought he was offside but I think it was just timed perfectly or their player was keeping him onside that I didn't see I mean Jorgensen yeah that player kept him onside okay great start Almada again he wasn't even looking there wait what that's like some exorcist stuff but 22 minutes in it's 1-0 now Kyle George out to Mateo Mateo good first touch Mateo has a chance to pass it over to Taylor Taylor to Kyle George, the shot. Oh, man, I got a weird shot animation there. I need just, like, the normal run-through shot. I got a little side foot. Honestly, though, we're looking good this game. As soon as I say that, we lose the ball, of course. It never fails to be a jinx. Sayo to Almada. Almada, good first touch, but it's also very good defending by Schlotterbeck. Come on, we have the momentum. Tiago Almada again. The shot goes right at Koble, though. Mateo to Almada, who is in front of goal. And he's gonna score. Okay, Mateo just finds Almada, and there's so much space. It's 2 0. Okay, when I said I wanted a dream run this year, I just said it. But right now, we are doing it, and I almost can't believe it. I mean, their defenses look actually kind of decent so far. They're just, we're so spread out. Shula and Schlotterbeck. And Almada has a brace in 34 minutes. Oh, Mateo. Was that even necessary? I don't know, but the finesse shot goes just wide. Right, Julian Brandt. Okay, that skill was terrible. It goes right to Taylor. Competitor mode zero. Tyster one. Jorgensen. We'll go for a shot, and Koble makes a save. Can we actually get that? I think we can. Back into the box, it'll be a corner, I think. Come on, make it three. 
I just want more goals and goals and goals. The last one was so stressful. Chitalo in off the crossbar. It's 3-0. What am I seeing right now? We are thrashing Brissy Dortmund. That barely went in. Okay, maybe a bit more than maybe, actually. But Chitalo, what a header. Oh, this first half has been perfect. And we lost two goalie in the last game, so I'm going to try not to be too confident here. I know Giddens gets it to Dolberg. Dolberg, please, no. My former player. Oh, I just got no, I got no one to mark Brandt there. If I leave Dolberg, he's going to score. So I got to mark him. And I need someone to mark Julian Brandt there because no one is. I, I jinxed it again. I said it. Okay, 3-1 is still a great score line. It's still only the first leg. We got a lot of football left, but we should not concede that easily. And that is the first half. Yeah, that goal has us a little mad now. Wrench into Jorgensen. Jorgensen, good first touch. Plays it back, tries to. Now, wrench could cross it in, although Sammy's not in the box. Was a good cross. Okay, Malin, great ball out wide. See, this is what we can't do. Cannot give the other team life when we are 3 0 up. Ball in. That is going to be over the net, thankfully. Oh, man, it's Cancellieri. I was saying that so wrong. You know, Mateo, I apologize. For my apology, I want you to score this. Why was that shot so bad? I was saying his name very wrong, though. I'm going to stick with Mateo, though, because I still can't say that consistently. Okay, Kenneth Taylor is having quite a good episode, not scoring-wise, but stealing the ball like that. Almada gets it over that pass to Mateo was going to be uh, intercepted. Back to Almada. Almada, it's got Jorgensen. Jorgensen, first time shot into the back of the net. It's 4-1. Great response after conceding that goal. Three-goal lead restored for Ajax. And do I have to say it again? It's Almada, Jorgensen combining once again. Great finish right there. First time shot. They were not expecting that. Okay, that's a good ball, though. Dolberg. I know he likes to go near post. I know it. It was literally, we molded him into the player he is. Okay, we got to try and keep possession. I just don't want them to have the ball, honestly. Because if they don't have the ball, they can't score. That should be clearly evident, although we have a good chance of scoring. Because Wrench... To Almada, first time shot. Oh, it's going to be blocked. Good ball to Casper Dober. Okay, this time I'm going to get Brand. I'm going to get Brand and call for help. Okay, call from Kong for help. I actually made it worse there. Actually made it worse. And Dolberg is still going to score. Oh, I'm about to lose my mind. It's just like, how do we let Dolberg in there? He gets one pass to Ian Brandt. We can't mark Dolberg. I have no words about that. It's 4-2, though. I have literally no words. Three goal lead, back to two. And they are trying to make this even a bigger lead. Okay, St. Just. I didn't even control him there. He just made a great tackle, though. Now, Taylor through oh no that was supposed to go to almada why would that go all the way okay the ball does find almada kyle george could head it actually won't and it will be cleared jeremiah should have that he does jeremiah okay maybe we should head that not with our feet please if they make this one goal game i literally might lose my mind okay i'm gonna do kamal miller on for vindal so saint just to left back and then cole palmer on for mateo so we have not used the uh, cole in the episode yet now good ball in behind thankfully the pass is right at chitalo and we will try and keep the ball we do good ball into dolberg dolberg please chitalo great defending there bro they're pressing like crazy right now look how many numbers they have up if we steal the ball we can definitely have a chance to score saint just Tackle is not quite good enough. Come on, Miller. Will get the ball out. Oh, Amada can't control it, though. Yeah, they're in a back three. Were they in a back three? I think they were at the start, right? We got three minutes. As long as we don't concede, we'll take a two-goal lead to Dortmund, which is good. Although, right here is dangerous. Shallow, just get the ball out. Just get the ball out. We just fouled him. Okay, I actually don't want that advantage because that free kick is so close. Instead, I'll take this. Bino Giddens. Come on, Miller. Come on, Miller. What a tackle. Wait, you're telling me that's a penalty? You're telling me that's a penalty? There's actually no way Come on, Miller has committed a penalty. That's not a pen. We got the we got the ball. We cleared the ball there. We literally cleared the ball and the ref calls a penalty. You have got to be joking. Castiles, please. Castiles. Oh my, that that is the best penalty I think I've ever seen. It is 4-3. I cannot believe what I've just seen. I've never seen a penalty also taken that good. I've never seen one from the CPU. 3-1 to 4-3. Do we have one more chance here? Oh, it's going to be stolen. Oh, and Jorgensen can't get it. I can't believe that. A three-goal lead down to just one goal. This is the most dramatic Champions run I think we've ever had. And that penalty at the end was not a penalty. Like, we just got robbed. Okay, what's happened, happened. We can't change anything, so all we can do is look forward to the next game, the second leg. We have a one-goal lead. We're currently driving to the airport to fly to Germany. We have to make sure we get the team's head right. Don't focus on the last game. Just focus on winning this game. So we head to the team plane, and we board our flight to Germany. Germany. It comes down to this. Are we going to reach the Champions League semis or does it come crashing down now in the quarterfinals? We are here on an absolute mission. Beat Dortmund to get back home. I have never felt the need more to win a game ever than this. We are just one win away from the semis. We cannot lose this game here. We just can't do it. Okay, they're pressing immediately and I am not sure why. Vindal is in. Vindal will get it over. It's going to be Mateo Cancellini, and it's going to be already 1-0 to Ajax. What? Bro, they came out with, like, an insane press. They all just got forward. I know competitor mode, they definitely are playing more aggressive, but not at the start of a game like that. One steal, and then uh, Mateo has an open net, puts it in. Okay, that is that is quite literally a gift from Dortmund, and also a dream start. Come on, two-goal lead. We cannot, we can't ruin this now, man. Now, George, great ball to wrench. Wrench gets it over. Mateo, good first touch. 
Through to Jorgensen. It's good defending by Shula. I should have played it farther. Fine dog in back. Tracking him. Malin. Good defending. Oh, Mateo. Great steal. Wasn't even a foul. Okay, Jorgensen. Wait for Mateo. Time it right. Through to Mateo. Scored the first. And will score the second. Mateo scores. Our Kinsesa replacement is starring right now. He hasn't scored that much since signing him. That ball went through uh, his legs, by the way. But he scores two in a huge game. And it is 2-0, 12 minutes in. Three goal lead is back. Okay, Malin, please stop. Malin, I beg of you to stop. Find all. We'll steal it, kind of. And we get it over to Kyle George. Man, they are getting forward a lot right now. And it's leading to some very uh, good counterattacks just like this. Kyle George into Jorgensen. Jorgensen over to Almada. Almada. Dribbles around him, and he will put it in the back of the net. It is 3-0 within 20 minutes. Okay, this is a lot like last game. A great start for us. Can we not collapse now? And also, can the ref not call any dodgy penalties? Their game plan is getting destroyed. Like, they are pushing up so much further than the last game and getting so much more aggressive. Like, trying to force us into a mistake, I think. And so far, we have not made a mistake. Taylor to Almada. Almada will go for the finesse shot. Cole will barely save that. Corner in by Almada. Jeremiah St. Just goes over the net. Corner swing in. Taylor. Taylor, good clearance. Now, this is a little bit dangerous. Come on. Don't let him score. Vine Dog, good interception right now. This team is executing the game plan perfectly. Now, Taylor has Mateo. Mateo is not going to reach that. I don't think he is. He actually almost could have stole it there. And she gets it over to Almada. Almada's got options here. Can he get it to Kenneth Taylor? His shot is blocked off Schlotterbeck. Oh, that's a good through ball to Bino Giddens. Okay. We need to not let them score here. St. Just. Oh. I didn't think he was going to go for a pass there. I thought he was going to shoot. Okay, we got fortunate there. Bro, like, their press is absolutely insane right now. I guess it's all they can do. Four goals down. Tiago gets it over. Oh, man. Vindal to Kenneth. Taylor will shoot, and it is currently 8-3 to Ajax. Their game plan was uh, not smart in this game at all. Like, I don't know why they're pressing so much. Kenneth Taylor, good finish, and that's a 4-0 first half for us. And hey, we are not stopping. Kyle George up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen won't reach that, man. Shula, that is a panic clearance, though. Over to Almada. Into Matteo Cancelletti for maybe his hat trick. Can't get the shot away. Almada, Jorgensen. Jorgensen to score one more. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. It is 5-0 to Ajax. We have absolutely shocked Dortmund here in Germany. And I feel like we haven't exactly even played great. It's just there's so much space. They're pushing up so much. Like, we currently have, what, a six-goal lead in aggregate? I think this might be done. One more goal, and it will be done. Hey, wrench. Actually, a great ball to Kyle George. Can you keep it in? Oh, it's actually be a corner. Oh, man. Nothing is going Dortmund's way. You know what? This is karma for that penalty in the last one. It's absolute karma. We just hit the crossbar post into Cancellati shot. Kobol saves it. Come on, I want to make it 10. Almada, cross in. Jorgensen header was uh, a little awkward. Actually, very awkward. Okay, there's an attack for them. And Castiles does make the save. Will this be the goal that seals it? Vindal into Kyle George. Will shoot. And this game is sealed. 6 new in Germany. This young Ajax team just made an absolute statement in the Champions League. I could not be more proud. We jumped a result and that is how the game ends. 10-3 on aggregate. We have made it to the Champions League semis. Now, Bayern already threw. Chelsea threw it up on Liverpool. And then United and Spurs are currently 1-1. There's a chance we could face Ten Hag in the Champions League semis. There's a chance. But we have done the unthinkable. Brought this insanely young team to the Champions League semis. So next episode, we're going to finish the season. We've already pretty much defended our Eredivisie title. I mean, there's no catching up we've only drawn and lost one game each now we are in the domestic cup final so we have a chance for redemption there after the final loss last year and once again champions league semis it is about to be insane we have taken this team so far farther than we even thought we would but just how much farther can we go okay when we became the new ix manager our goal was to recapture that ix magic that they lost after tenog left the club now in almost two seasons we are so close to achieving our goal we're staring down a second straight air divisie title a domestic cup final and maybe even a Champions League final. We have built such a young and exciting team. Can we pull off one of the most insane Champions League dreams of all time and win the Champions League with Ajax? So drop a like down below and let's get straight into it. So we find ourselves at home, at least this temporary home in Amsterdam, and we're about to enter one of the biggest months of our career. So we need to be ready. We go to the kitchen, we cook a nutritious meal, and then we start pumping ourselves up, getting our mind and body ready for what's ahead.
ahead. Of course, Fergie is helping also, but this right here is a career defining episode for us. But okay, first comment, we try and continue this career mode into EAFC 24. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, but this series will end before the new game comes out. So when FC 24 actually comes out, we're gonna start a whole brand new series. Not sure which team yet though. Next one, you should do your own custom awards for the end of the year ceremony. Yeah, so we are gonna make like the award ceremony a regular thing in all our series now at the end of every season, except this one though, it's a really short season. It's only like three episodes. So we're gonna skip it for this one season. But from here on out, every season will have a awards ceremony at the end. And we're gonna have like bonuses, like potential upgrades in these awards ceremonies too. Do you think about Premier League next season or it isn't time yet? Yeah, so where do we go after Ajax? And is this our final episode at Ajax? I think once we finish the season, see how we end it, we'll get a better idea then. But I do have some things in mind. But first up, first game is a chance for a trophy, which would be trophy number seven in our career, I believe. Now, last year we were in this same cup final and we lost it to PSV. This time we're facing FC20 and a chance for redemption in this domestic cup. We can't lose the same final in two back to back seasons. We're a much better team now than last year. I think we can get it done. I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous though. For this cup final, I think we have to go with the regular first team. I would like to play Miller, but St. Just and Sotalo, I mean, they're the Ajax partnership here. Miller is there for cover. So we go with that lineup against an FC20 team that I don't remember facing anytime recently. So a win here could start this uh, season finale off with a beautiful trophy. And I mean, hey, this trophy there to visit the Champions League, the trouble is still on. Even how crazy that sounds. So the KN VB Becker trophy. We're going to try and add this to the trophy cabinet. So we're kicked off. We can't be nervous. We got to know we the better team and we got to play like it. Okay, this is a fast start from this team, like a very fast start. I'm getting deja vu. I am getting deja vu Castiles. What a save. That is how we start. Okay, we have not had the ball yet. Barely. So this is not good. We are trying to absorb all this pressure to start the game. Just we can't concede first. Stay in front. Stay in front. St. Dress did not stay in front. Castiles does make the save though. By the way, Almada is now the top scorer of the team. He has had an insane end of the year. Now, Taylor into Kyle George. Kyle George is shot blocked second time around and it goes in oh my the ball fell for kyle george and he just fires it in it's one nil to ajax basically our first actual like venture into their attacking third oh man kyle george stay with that that is beautiful one shot one goal great way to start this season finale i feel like it's gonna be a close game though this team they're passing looks really good and they're attacking third and are attacking third actually it looks a little bit dangerous vindal should get that though vindal does and he will st just st just another tackle okay boys we need to get this ball out they're playing very aggressive kind of like dortmund did and we know what happened to dortmund so and the taylor out to mateo Mateo, good to collect that. He actually, oh, he will. I thought he did, actually. That was so close. Bro, with how good they're playing and passing, I would be surprised if we keep a clean sheet this game. I'd be surprised, which means we got to score some goals here. Jurgensen, Kyle George, over to Vindal. Vindal is going to go all the way. Get it back to Kyle George. Kyle George shoots and it goes just wide. Come on, keep this pressure on. Mateo, do Almada, Almada. Oh, I was going to try to get it back to Kyle George. Kyle George is finding a lot of space right there. Jorgensen, now the other side, Mateo finds space. Mateo, we're going to try to dink it up far post to Kyle George. It is very awkwardly defended, but well defended. Almada, Taylor, over to Kyle George again. And Kyle George has a brace in the first, like, what, 25 minutes? Okay, Kyle George, this is his final. Whoever their right back is, Kyle George is just torching to shreds right now. The Brazilian Cristiano Ronaldo, that's what we're calling him. And he's got two in this cup final, 33 minutes in. Now, I don't exactly remember, but I thought last year in this final, we went up 2-0 and then we ended up losing 3-2, right? I think it was something like that. It was something where we had a lead and we lost it. So we've done it before. We can't do it again. Once again, I feel like this team is going to score at some point. You can just tell when the other teams attack. Looks this good. You could just tell when they're going to score at some point. Oh, ball gets by Jeremiah. Come on, boys. I saw that pass. Vindal, great defending there. Oh, that's a great ball, though. Castiles, Castiles. That is an amazing save. Now, defense leading into the attack. Kyle George is on a hat trick. Gets it over to Taylor. Taylor needs to get it over to Varela. Oh, man, he got fouled there, actually, I guess. Is that a foul on us? No, okay, that ref actually called it. Now, I think this is probably for Almada, right? It's got to be Almada. Yeah, he's got probably the best free kicks. Okay, we're going to go for an outside the boot shot. Why not? So, Tiago Almada will try and score one of the most insane free kicks, maybe of all time, if it goes in and... It was on target, at least. All right, that should be halftime. So 2-0, solid first half. But this game is not over yet. Varela up to Almada. Almada is going to go for a power shot. Keeper will save it. Come on, if we score this third, I feel like it might give us that little lead we really need to take control of the game. Varela volley attempt. Oh, okay, that defender just one touch stopped that shot. Taylor, Varela over to Kyle George. The man on a hat trick. Will he find it? Okay, Kyle George hat trick. He's like CR7 shows up in the big games. Well, I guess kind of. Oh, man. I feel like he hasn't actually scored that much recently. But cup final, he's got a hat trick. And that's how he completes it? Oh, Kyle George. That shot is so good. We are loving that. 3-0, 51st minute. We might be finding redemption here. For that cup final last year, that loss, that's probably one of the most hurtful finals I've ever lost. So we can't suffer that same pain again. The longer we can prevent them scoring one goal, I think we can keep them out of the game. Castiles, Kyle 
Shadow George into Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it over to Amada. Amada will find. Oh, should have found Mateo. He was going to be so in. Come on, don't let him score. Don't let them get even one goal here. St. Just. Oh, I should have cleared it. I Thankfully, Castile saves it. I try so hard to keep possession. Sometimes I really should just clear it. It's such a bad habit. Ball in, though. Good header right at Castile. Mateo. To Jorgensen, Jorgensen. I try. I started to get it to Kyle George. Is that a foul again? That's a foul again. Okay, this one's kind of better. Do we give it to someone else though? I mean, no one's really close to Amada. I feel like we might score this one actually. I'm feeling confident here. They put a short man to the right side of the wall, which is not a good thing. Oh, it hit the wall. My confidence was unwarranted. Find all up to Amada. Amada, chance to go for a super long shot. That is deflected. Mateo might get that. Mateo gets it. Oh, someone's got to be in the middle right there. Okay, here we go. Amada will find new signing. Mateo. Cancel lead. He'll keep it in. Oh, yeah. How do we not score that, though? Come on. 4-0. This might be over. Jeremiah. St. Juste will send it in our captain. I think we have just sealed this trophy. Absolute redemption from last year. And, of course, it's got to be the captain, Jeremiah. Beautiful header right into the corner. Well, not exactly the corner. You know what I mean. It's so funny. Two of my favorite players in this whole entire journeyman series, two of them have been Jeremiah St. Juste and also Kamal Miller. Both center backs. Not something I was expecting. Usually, it's always, like, the strikers, the goal scorers. But I just really like them both as defenders. And what a pass by Mateo. Oh, Jorgensen can't finish it. Okay, let's get some subs on. So Hull's coming on. Uh, Cole Palmer. Sanchez and also Kamal Miller is on. It's a good thing we started out with this game being a, a comfortable win because our next game is the Champions League semifinals. And if I know anything, I know that it is not going to be easy at all. Almada up to Kyle George. Kind of funny Jorgensen has not scored in this game. But will he score here? Because Kyle George finds him. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. But Hull's chance to shoot. Varela, chance to shoot. And... Okay, what a shot from Varela. All right, might be our last chance of the game. Sammy Jorgensen. Okay, he will score right on cue. The almost 90 rated Sammy Jorgensen scores. He is becoming Holland. And this has been a beautiful way to uh, start the season finale. Beautiful header and also a beautiful 5-0 scoreline. That lonely Eredivisie trophy from the Netherlands in our trophy cabinet is getting a friend. And we might also get one more here because Jorgensen is in. Into Sammy. Oh, just passing around him. It's 6-0. As the commentator said, a masterful performance by Ajax. And that is full time. We have got redemption from last year. Okay, that, that felt really good. That was just complete domination. We withstood like their early attacks. Where I really thought they were going to score. I thought this might be like last year. But once we scored that second, it kind of really just slowed down. So the defense won it early part of the game. And then the offense just took over from the rest. So uh, trophy number seven is invisible. It's probably got something to do with like the realism mod. Kind of, uh, I guess, a little glitch. But we're going to pretend, Jeremiah. St. Just is lifting a beautiful trophy because he is. We have won the KNVB uh, V Becker Cup. What is it called? I forgot what it's called, even though it's right there. All I know is it's a domestic cup and it's going in our trophy cabinet. And it will not be invisible. It's an actual trophy. But this is just step one. We want the Eredivisie title. And then our dream is to win the Champions League with this team to do the unthinkable here. So we still got a lot left to go. All right, now it's time to reveal the Champions League semis. So Manchester United, Chelsea, and Bayern went through along with us. So it could be a matchup between us and our former boss, Eric Tenaga at Manchester United, our former team. But the Champions League semis, it's actually going to be Chelsea we get matched up with. Other side is United versus Bayern. And by the way, they're up 3-0. So if somehow we can beat Chelsea and do the unthinkable, it might be a matchup with Eric Ten Hag in the Champions League final. First, though, we got to deal with Chelsea. The now Pochettino-led Chelsea. Now, after the semis were revealed, we actually got a call from Eric Ten Hag. And of course, we wished each other good luck. And Ten Hag said, hopefully we see each other in the final. So press conference before probably the biggest game of our career so far. We say that it's no shock to us that we're in the Champions League semis. This is the new standard for this club. In our time here, we have changed the mentality of Ajax. And we are shooting for that Champions League final. Now, the funny thing is we keep facing like our former players in these games. Now, he's not starting this game, but Brobby actually went to Chelsea. But their team, um, Nkunku Matueke, Jude Bellingham, Enzo Fernandez, Edson Alvarez, Koulibaly, Fofana, Chilwell, James. I mean, that Chelsea team is very, very good. Very scary. They are most definitely the best team on paper. But first leg at Stamford Bridge in London. This team, we have a dream. And I feel like we're ready for this moment. Hey, we said it at day one of this season. Our goal is to win the Champions League. And we've somehow made it all the way to the semis after that last minute winner against Atletico Madrid. Then knocking out Borussia Dortmund by a mile. We have gone through every emotion possible there is in the Champions League this year. And I feel like we're not done yet. So Stamford Bridge playing against Chelsea. And we are chasing Ajax's first Champions League win since 1995. So we are kicked off. This is, I feel like, about to be insane, but you just never know. I don't know what to expect. Now, I would like a fast start here. If the team shows up, 
It'll be insane. Almada, long shot. Talk about showing up. Tiago Almada from like 30 yards out. You have got to be kidding me. That is how we start two minutes in? Bro, Tiago Almada is becoming like one of the best midfielders in the world at Ajax here. He's got like 35 goals, like 17 assists, and now that's his like first goal of the semis. Are you kidding me? Bro, this team has some kind of magic around them right now. There's something else going on here. It's exactly that Ajax like Champions League magic we were looking for. And we are not going to look to stop here because Almada... Through to Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it over. Oh, okay. Rebound. Taylor. Oh, Mendy, how someone made that save? Oh, we should have scored that. That should be in the net, Taylor. Chance to go for a shot of his own. Mendy will save it. Okay, this is a great start, though. Almada cross in. That goes to no one. Barella. One touch shot, and it goes right to Fofana. Man, Chelsea haven't even had a chance to attack yet. This right here is their first attack, and they give it right to Jeremiah saying, just take. This is a good start. I am liking what I'm seeing right now. Vindal, Vindal, 3 to Jorgensen, Jorgensen, go to first touch. Oh, okay, he should light off. Okay, Jorgensen, dribbling is insane. Back to Sammy Jorgensen, shot, and Mendy makes the save again. We are showing why. We are in the Champions League semis. Jorgensen hits the crossbar. You've got to be joking with me. Taylor, Vindal, okay, we gotta, we gotta keep this up. Get it out to Varela, Varela. We'll get it over to Wrench. Wrench in to Mateo. Mateo gets it back to Wrench. He shoots. Mendy somehow saves that. And I don't understand how. Okay, we are absolutely all over them to start this game. Amada through to Kyle George. Oh, Reese James gets a foot in. It's an Alvarez player that was here when we joined, but he left as we joined. Matawake against Vindal. Vindal does well there. Then lets him get by him. And then uh, Shitalo. Great defending. Kyle George. Oh, Reese James again stops him. Yeah, Kyle George. Last game, he had a good matchup. This one against Reese James. Definitely a lot tougher. I wonder if we're going to see Brian Brobby at some point. Great tackle by Wrench, though. Mateo through to Sammy Jorgensen. Sammy's in. Sammy waits. Oh, Sammy Jorgensen on his weak foot puts it wide. We timed it perfectly right when Mendy went down, but it all oh, just goes just wide. Okay, first 25 minutes, though. First 28 minutes, we have been by far the better team here, which is extremely surprising. Mateo, far post. Vindal to Mateo. Mateo gets to it. Mendy's going to save it again. Mendy is the only reason it's not 2-0 right now. We have had some very good looking shots, but Mendy is just stopping them. I don't... He is going to stop that one. I thought that was a for sure goal. Okay, Mateo. Good first touch into Almada. Almada dinks it up to Sammy. Koulibaly gets it out. Taylor out to Mateo. Mateo into Almada. Almada lays it off for Kyle George. And Mendy will make the save again. Bro, we got to score at least one of these. All these chances. We got to score at least one. Taylor, I see you. Okay, actually goes to Kyle George again. His shot, it's going to be saved by Mendy again. Corner in. Sammy. Perfect. Oh, the header was so bad, though. Man, we are putting just so much pressure on them, though. Enzo gets it over. Okay, this is their first actual attack that looks any decent. Oh, when Kunku destroyed me. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, just get it out. That is some really good defending. It's not done yet, though. Bellingham in the box is dangerous. Bellingham, please stop. Bellingham, please stop. Gets it over. Sterling slides it over. And Enzo Fernandez makes it 1-1. All of our attacks and our inability to score have left the door open for Chelsea. That's how it is. We knew they had the players to do this. Like, if they get in the attacking third and they have time, their players are good enough to score. If we get that many chances, we got to take them. Okay, 1-1 in the 40th minute. That is so against the run of play, though. Come on, just keep playing our game. We're playing good right now. Just keep playing our game. We'll find the goals. Almada dinks it back up. Is that handball? Oh, that's not handball. Reese James just deflected it. Almada again. Almada. Has room to shoot. Oh, that one went wide. Barella wins a header. Come on, we get one more chance for halftime. Teo into Almada. Almada, first time ball into Sammy Jorgensen. Will shoot across goal. That, that angle was tight. That was an easier save for Mendy, but corner in. Sammy, there for it. Header cleared off the line. Rebound all the way goes in, and it goes right to Mendy. How many chances do we just have in that first half? 45 more minutes in the first leg, and it's 1-1. Hey, though, we're at Stanford Bridge, and we are the better team. Like, outplaying a team like Chelsea at home, that is a very big statement that we are here for a reason. We're not here by just luck. Okay, Almada just steals it from Nkunku. I love that. Rella waits for Wrench. He's in a fine wrench. Now they're getting back in numbers. Wrench over to Kenneth Taylor. Kenneth Taylor. Chance to shoot. I waited too long on that one. Rella out to Vindal. Vindal has got Taylor. Taylor in the box. Could track it back. Get it back out. Kyle George cross. Okay, that was a terrible cross. Wait, handball. Actually, a good cross. Oh, man. What do we do with this? I think I might shoot this. Yeah, I'm shooting this. I don't think I'm going to... I don't think we can even pass that in like that. All right, Amada. See what you can do. We're going to try to catch Mendy off guard. He thinks we're passing it, but it goes right to the corner. Oh, man. And Kunku is just a danger man, so he's running down the middle. Ball gets to him. Okay, Jeremiah kept that. Let's keep it out. Thank you. Get the ball over to George. Yes, we do. Jorgensen, good first touch. Jorgensen, the fact that he started a career as a right mid means that his passing is so good. 
And he's got a chance to score here, and Mendy will save it again. Mendy, he is having the game of his life right now. That shot right there wasn't even a bad shot. That was powerful, had everything on it. Somehow he stopped it, though. Sterling, Sterling. Oh, wrench. Great defending. Gets it, Mateo. Mateo. To Almada. Almada's gonna find something. He might find Jorgensen. We'll try to. That ball had no lift to it, Almada. Barella, great steal, though. Into Kyle George. Kyle George waits too long, and it's gonna be blocked. Man, this is just one of those games right now. Hadawake cuts it back. Telling him he is going to do something. We're staying in front of players good, though. Like, that right there was good defending. We got 20 more minutes. I like the way we're playing. It's just somehow we don't have the lead here. Almada, Jorgensen makes a little darting run there. Going to get it back to Mateo. Mateo finesse shot. Oh, I think that skimmed uh, the roof of the net. Or the crossbar, I think. Okay, 15 minutes. We are making a controversial decision here. Kobe Okoto is on for Kansaliti. And then uh, Stroikens is on for Kyle George. They were kind of tired. But Kobe Okoto, the youngster. I think he's, what, 17 years old? From the Ivory Coast. Gets a chance in the Champions League semis. Need that fresh legs on the wing to run forward, I think, and help uh, Jorgensen out. Although this is dangerous. Vindal, good defending, though. Telling him, oh, he's going to find in Kunku and Kunku. Going to track it back. I know he is. Vindal, that is such good defending. We need to get the ball out, though. We need to get the ball out. Varela, man, that is some of the best defending we've done at Ajax. Could it lead to a counterattack? Oh, man, Fofana steals it. Varela could steal it, though. Steal it back. Yes, he does. Taylor out to Stroikens. Stroikens finds Jorgensen. Jorgensen, good first touch. Get it back to Almada. Almada, oh, man, we have a shot here. Patience will be rewarded. Wrench finds space into Jorgensen. He shoots and Jorgensen scores. 83rd minute, Jorgensen makes it 2-1. Okay, patience was rewarded again. We could have like took a rare shot there, like a bad shot. We kept it though, we found a better shot. And we just swung it around and Chelsea, like we're so out of position there. And Jorgensen, great little turn and shot. So these are like Holland type finishes. He is literally the next Erling Holland. 83rd minute, one goal lead for Ajax. Come on, don't let them, don't let them tie this up. Shitalo, Shitalo, oh, gets it over to Nkunku, Nkunku. Saying just good defending. We can't get it out, though, and, and Kunku is going to score. We got switched over to Shitalo here, and I feel like I couldn't move. I'm pushing up with Shitalo right here, but he's not moving. I think it, I don't know if it's switched, not in time, but even if I run forward, I think we're screwed there. I don't think we can even get to him. And that time, I actually tried to clear it, but the Chelsea players are just right around St. Juste. And this now is going to be tied up. Let me get just one more chance to try to make it 3-2. Jorgensen has Stroikens. Stroikens header. Oh, he went for like a looping header and it goes over the net. Okay, they get one final chance here. And this ball right here is insane. Don't let them get some late winner in this first leg. Please don't, Jeremiah. Just get it out. Okay, we clear it. Might give them a final chance again, but we need this to be nil-nil going back home. We need it to be. Ball into Nkunku. Nkunku gets it over. Sterling. Okay, wrench. Great defending. That should be the first leg. Oh, the stress of this. Of course, it's not going to be simple. It's going to be 2-2 heading back to Ajax now or Amsterdam. Okay, we played so much better than the scoreline shows, though. We should have had like four goals this game. But tied, going back home now. So a week later, we're getting ready for the second leg at home. And Pochettino, he says he knows he's under pressure right now. That in football, no one's job is safe. And that the club will do what they want to do after the season. So it sounds like depending on this outcome, Chelsea might actually fire Pochettino. I mean, that is interesting. But now it is time for the second leg. I feel like United 3 0 open Bayern, they're probably already through, at least pretty close to. So, if we can beat Chelsea here, it might be an Ajax versus May United Champions League final. But there's one big hurdle to get over first, and that's Chelsea. We are just one game away from the ultimate dream, one game away from the Champions League final. This right here is what dreams are made of. I mean, the fact we brought Ajax to the Champions League semis is already an achievement, but the Champions League final with Ajax, that would take us to a whole nother level. So, Chelsea Ajax tie game. Let's see what we can do. If Chelsea play the same way they did in the first leg, I feel like we have a good chance. But if they play better, then it's going to get much tougher. And I have a feeling they're definitely going to play better. There's no way they play as bad as they did. Which already Alvarez cuts it back. St. Just, great defending though. Jorgensen, Almada, Almada. I'm waiting for Kyle George. Good ball to him. Now Kyle George, great first touch. Kyle George gets it to Sammy Jorgensen. And Mendy will make the save. How many times have I said that? Iago Almada, cross in. Players are up for it. That's going to fall kindly, but... Oh, it was handball by Mateo, I think. Taylor, out to Wrench. Wrench, Jorgensen is calling for it. Crossover goes to Kyle George instead. It's to be cleared by Koulibaly. Okay, Bellingham and Sterling combining very well here. Sterling is in. Wrench should get back. I'm trying to block that pass to Bellingham. Somehow it gets through, though. And that's going to go in, and Castiles will make the save. Cross in. That is out by Vindal. Good clearance. We need to get this ball out quicker, though. We can't let them just linger in our box with it, because that is how we concede every goal we ever concede. Bellingham stops. Okay, great tackle. Wrench out to Mateo. He's got space, but no support. Does Mateo need it, though? Mateo's in. Mateo could try and stop. He does. Gets it to Taylor. Shoots, and it's a one-goal lead for Ajax. Okay, that run by Mateo was so good. And then Taylor's, like, unmarked in the box here. He gets all the way to the byline. That stop destroyed uh, Reese James. And then 
Taylor's unmarked. Chelsea just couldn't get back. We have a one goal lead 17 minutes in. We believe in this team right now. We believe. Come on. We can totally take this over. Almada. Long ball to Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Could he get that? He's getting close to it. Reese James under pressure, but we'll get it to uh, Mendy. In these, in that first game, Chelsea were sneaky. They'd play so bad and then all of a sudden turn it on. It's just a little bit scary. They have the players to do it. Alvarez to Nkunku. That's going to be a good ball into Enzo Fernandez. Doing some skills. Gets it to Nkunku, who I thought we had covered. Castiles, what a save. Bro, Castiles is coming up so big for us right now. Kyle George, get it out to Mateo. Mateo, headed back to Wrench. Beautifully done. Now, Wrench, a dink up to Mateo. Good first touch. Oh, the shot goes just wide. There's no way. It is so close to going in. Mateo did so well. The shot, it just, the shot just curved out. A two-goal lead in this would be absolutely huge. Find all. In to Jorgensen, Jorgensen. Oh, okay, cool. Bali. That is a great tackle. He's honestly done very well on uh, Jorgensen this game. Man, I'm out of way. Okay, he's just running now. Please stop him. Just, okay, Varela. Varela. What a tackle there. Gets it over to Alvarez. Alvarez gets it over. We got to block these shots. Bellingham. Get in front of him. Chitalo. Oh, he just went around me. He just went around me like I wasn't even there. I guess I shouldn't have went for the tackle because that's what allowed him to get around me. But Bellingham scores and it's tied up again. Man, I'm trying not to let them linger in the box, but he just went around me. I went for a tackle and he just went around it. It is 3-3 a goal by Captain Jude Bellingham. And this is tied up again. Man, I am stressing right now. But we're playing good though. We still have belief. Varela, Jorgensen. Tries to get it to Mateo. That pass was bad by Jorgensen. Okay, Reese James with an insane pass, but Wrench should get it. He does. Okay, we need to just play our game and good things will happen. Mateo over to Almada. Almada driving forward. Has passes. Keeps it though. Gets it out to Vindal. Back into Almada. Almada. Come on, patience. We'll find a good shot. Patience. We'll find a good shot. Mateo into Jorgensen. Jorgensen shot. It's going to be blocked though. Sterling, please stop. Sterling, please stop. Don't find the man in the middle. Wrench, wrench. Good defending and we will calmly keep possession. All right, they might get the final chance of the half. Chitalo, good defending and that is the first half right there. Oh man, 45 minutes and we're currently tied up. We are so close to achieving the unthinkable. If we just play a good 45 minutes here, we have a good chance. Selling him over to Sterling and Kunku is is unmarked but castiles with maybe the save of the season a one-on-one -on -one moment he makes that save that literally might just save our hopes in this game because if they score that that is such a bad way to start taking out his chance is not over yet alvarez will stop gets it over sterling sterling jeremiah trying to mark him tightly oh okay the skills the skills bellingham hits the post okay they almost scored twice we just got very lucky find all to taylor taylor almada get it to varela now almada get on a run varela into almada almada we're going to go for a shot. Is that handball? No, it's Koulibaly blocked it with his body. Okay, Vindal, great steal. They're playing more defensive now, though. They got numbers back, but Jorgensen still might find the space. Shoots, and Jorgensen now hits the post. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That was the chance that Jorgensen scores like nine times out of ten. I mean, they hit the post. We hit the post. I guess it is fair. Oh, and Kunku, stop. And Kunku, please stop. Oh, you got to be joking with me. We cannot do much there. There's nothing you can do there. It is 4-3 to Chelsea. This move right here by Nkunku. Oh, my. You just you just can't stop that. That is disgusting by Nkunku. For the first time in the semifinals, we are now down a goal. And we got 30 minutes left. Find all Jorgensen to Kyle George. Kyle George could find Jorgensen. Jorgensen needs to score this immediate response by Jorgensen. Oh my, Kyle George just feeds him in and it's 4-4. Could not be a more perfect way to tie this up. I mean, it's literally just immediate. And Jorgensen makes up for that last miss. 65th minute, this is tied up again. This is insane. Okay, very good pressure. We steal it there from uh, Chelsea. Now Taylor will drive this forward, get it to Jorgensen. Jorgensen out wide, in two. Oh, that could have been right into Jorgensen. That was going to be such a good pass. Bellingham, Varela misses that tackle, but it's fine. As long as we don't let them get past us, we'll be fine. It's when they get past the midfield, just like that. That is where issues are caused. But Jeremiah, good positioning. Almada, good ball to Kyle George. Kyle George might have Jorgensen. It's going to be blocked, though. Okay, at least we keep it. Almada to Varela. Varela. Oh, man, I saw passes there. Everyone was behind a Chelsea player, though. I should have just kept it. Taylor over to Kyle George. Kyle George. Chance for a finesse shot. He got tackled from behind. Okay, Mendy thought that was going through. That was a little awkward. But this game is like slowed down all of a sudden. The passing movements are very slow between both teams. And we got 10 minutes. Vindal, Vindal, is that a foul? Oh, it's a throw in for them. Come on, I do not want them with the ball in these kind of dangerous spots. Vindal, good interception. And we're going to get this out. Mateo has space to run. Mateo can go for a long shot that's not going to be blocked. And Mendy makes a full stretch save. Oh, man, that was such a good shot. By Mateo steals it, actually. Okay, wait, that wasn't Mateo. I don't know who it was. But pass into Kyle George, lays it off to Kenneth Taylor. No, it's Almada, and he can't get a shot away. Oh, Varela, steal again, Almada, to Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets it around to Thiago. 
Almada shoots and Thiago Almada scores. 89th minute. We may have just reached the Champions League final. Oh my. That was all Varela making that steal. Pushed up like taking a very big risk. And then Thiago Almada gets the ball and that finish from a tight angle into the back of the net. Have we actually just reached the Champions League final? Okay, we're getting all tired legs off the field. So Stroikens on, um, Cole Palmer's on, and also Kamal Miller is on for Vindal. So Jeremiah Sandrus to left back. We are going defensive. We got two minutes. Actually, a minute left. Come on, how much out of time? How much out of time? time do we have we got two minutes they got maybe one more chance for an attack if they get forward here they are gonna get forward okay and kunku just steal the ball and we'll be good good through ball though to matter okay come on defending vindal no saint just makes the tackle we are gonna clear it and we have actually done it ix are in the champions league final i cannot believe that we actually just did that in the 89th minute i'm shocked saying it's one thing you want to reach a champions league final actually doing it though i can't believe it one more time the goal that sent ix to the champions league final scored by tiago almada this is the ix magic and we have officially recaptured it bro i am still in shock i can't believe we just beat chelsea now united have not played their second leg versus Bayern, so we're about to find out officially is it it gonna be manchester united in the final it is gonna be it is gonna be manchester united in the champions league final i i cannot believe that it's actually come down to this they beat byron 4-1 in our first ever champions league finals against our former team our former boss our mentor eric ten hag you cannot write this up so before this final we do claim our a trophy of our career with a back-to-back air -back title and it was by 11 points it really wasn't even close so air divisie we got the domestic cup win that's two trophies this season and we got one one more to play. I cannot believe this. So a week before the final, we meet with Eric Ten Hag and Ten Hag says that he's proud of us. That those three years at Manchester United, he knew we'd be a coach one day in the Champions League final. And he says, win or lose, for both of us, it's an honor to be in this spot. And we say to Ten Hag, best of luck, coach. So Eric Ten Hag's press conference, he says the United players have been in this spot before. They know what it takes to win a Champions League final. They have that experience. So he says he thinks that'll carry them to this win. Now in our press conference, we say that people have called us the underdogs. We love hearing that because when people underestimate us and we prove them wrong, it's that much sweeter. These young guys are ready for this Champions League final. Okay, we have some shocking news here though. Of course, we know when we were at Manchester United, we signed Kylian Mbappe. Well, he's actually suspended for the next game. I don't think we can show it anywhere. No, we actually can't. Okay, see, he got a red card. So he's suspended for the Champions League final. I don't know how that happened, but no Mbappe for United. So it's gonna have to be Rasmus Hoyland starting up top. I mean, he's still 88 rated. So I mean, it's still a good striker, but no Mbappe is huge. So for United, Hoyland, Bruno, Rashford, Cass Samido, Sengabe, Ramirez, Davies, Martinez, Delict, Laird, and Costa in goal. Now for us, the same 11 you'd expect. This is the biggest moment of our career. And I can't believe we're facing the team we built, the players we signed, the players we found like Miguel Ramirez. But Champions League final, Ajax versus Manchester United. Can we achieve the dream? Now, if you guys remember, we faced United when we were at Anderlecht in the Europa League and they knocked us out easily so that was our first meeting with tenog as opposing managers now this time is completely different we have a good team now and it's also the champions league final that's playing at our home stadium now i'm guessing this was like predetermined earlier in the year and just somehow we made the final so we got the luck of playing at home so champions league final at home how special can this be against the team that we built and we won the champions league with them before it all comes down to this our whole time at ajax could also come down to this champions league final against uh manchester united against ten hog we're kicked off this is about to be literally nuts now miguel ramirez is quite literally the next ronaldo so we know he's like what probably 90 rated by now we know he's a danger over to mateo mateo has space mateo has a chance for a finesse shot Matteo Cancelidi has scored the first goal of the Champions League final. Six minutes in, Ajax take the lead. Bro, the long shots today have been like in our favor. I'm, I'm telling you, it's the Ajax magic. These players have like an aura around them today. And Matteo, what a finesse shot over Diogo Costa. Ten Hag, not happy about that. I, I can't believe it. That could be, this is literally the best start possible. Seven minutes in. Still so much game left though. Now, Marco Zidente is no, not starting. I don't know if he's on the bench, but he was our midfielder when we were there. Ten Hag's going with a very defensive Singade Casemiro pair. Now, Kenneth Taylor, long ball up to Mateo. Mateo almost got that. That was a very good ball by Kenneth Taylor. Ramirez gets it to Hoyland. Hoyland gets it over, but Wrench very smartly got the ball there. Okay, we're going to go for another long ball here up to Wrench. Wrench into Jorgensen. Jorgensen gets a good touch there, but oh, Mateo needed to stop a little bit. Okay, Ramirez, I need you to stop, bro. He's so quick and the dribbling is insane. Gets it over to Sangare, but Taylor, Taylor, good tackle. I am feeling very optimistic here all of a sudden with that start. Before it was a dream, and now I'm seeing it become reality. Jorgensen, finesse shot. Oh, that went off of Almada's head, I think. Yeah, that was handballed by someone too. Rashford, Dinkin. That's going to be out by Kyle George. Jorgensen, out to Kyle George now. George, Jorgensen, we got a runner here. Jorgensen's going to hold it though. Hold it. 
Play it late. Kyle George. George. Oh, no. Vine doll. I need you to run a little bit closer there. Barella. Almada to Kenneth Taylor. Kenneth Taylor will shoot. Delic blocks it. Barella over the top to Wrench. Wrench cross in. Oh, no. That needs to go to Sammy. Over to Mateo. Mateo volley attempt off Martinez's face. Almada cross in. Sammy Jorgensen. Okay. Davies got so high for up for that, but Vitalo could shoot. That is... Okay, we're putting so much pressure on them. Oh, that pass is... The header was so bad, though. Man, we've had a great start here, but still so much game left. Taylor, good tackle on Miguel Ramirez. Varela sees a runner. Great ball to Kyle George. Kyle George is going to find Sammy Jorgensen. The shot is blocked, though. Okay, Taylor has now stole the ball from Ramirez uh, twice in very quick succession. Come on, keep this pressure up. Just keep it up. We'll find this another goal. Kyle George is going to shoot that. Oh, Costa will make the save. Has to made a long ball to Hoyland. Man, they're struggling right now. Hoyland over. Okay, thankfully, Wrench is marking Rashford. Defense is doing a great job so far. We might get the final chance the first half, which looks like a very good one because Taylor will try to feed in Jorgensen. It's going to be out by Martinez. Taylor wins that header. No, he doesn't. Okay, it's going to be the first half. Hey, currently 1-0 to Ajax. 45 more minutes and we could achieve the absolute unthinkable. We just got to keep playing our game and we're going to find these goals, I think. Wrench to Almada. Almada is going to find Taylor. Taylor, good first touch. Can't get around Delic, though. I thought he would. Okay, Miguel Ramirez, that's a very good first touch, but I think Vindal will catch up eventually. Miguel Ramirez will lose it, I think. Okay, Vindal, great job. And he keeps it in. That is some of the best defending I've seen all season long. Okay. Taylor, long ball to Mateo. Mateo heads it to Jorgensen. Jorgensen fights for it. Okay, he's going to go for the header, and it's going to go to Costa. Rashford tries to get it to Hoyland. Jeremiah, though. Jeremiah has Hoyland marked up. And the pass is very calmly played to Chitalo. Okay, Varela went for a tackle there. Missed it. No, this is dangerous. Hoyland will stop. Play it to Miguel Ramirez. Jeremiah gets it. It falls for Hoyland. And it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's just so unlucky. We made a good tackle. And it just fell right to Hoyland. Ball into Ramirez. Jeremiah. We made a good challenge there. Did Miguel Ramirez actually pass that back to him? I don't know. But the ball just went right to Hoyland. It's a powerful finish. We are tied up in the Champions League final in the 60th minute. I can't believe they just scored like that. We just got to keep playing our game. Almada. Mateo. Gets it to Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Into Taylor. Taylor. We'll find... Kyo George and it's 2-1 to Ajax. That is an immediate response and that was worked so well. Oh my, we are getting closer and closer. I can't believe it. This is such a well-passed move. Taylor, the final pass, just uh, layered at right back is probably a weakness for them. And he kind of just let Kyle George run right in front of him. But the finish was beautiful. Lead restored. 63rd minute. It is 2-1 to Ajax. I cannot believe how close we are to lifting this Champions League trophy. Bruno gets it over. Okay, I'm not going to talk too soon. Bruno shot. Oh, Bruno shot Kosin. I knew if Bruno had a chance to shoot, he was going to score. Oh, I tried to get in front of him. I really tried to. You just got to be kidding me. Gets to him. We got players in front, but he shoots right between them. And it's just past Castiles. Bro, immediate responses from both teams. Within a span of 10 minutes, we both took the lead and now it's tied up again. And it's not even the 70th minute just yet. This is insane. But you know what? We keep pushing. Almada, Taylor, Jorgensen. First time shot and it goes just wide. Oh, that shot. It felt so good. Just takes the first time, tries to catch Costa off guard and goes just wide. Final 20 minutes and I am absolutely terrified. That's a good steal by Wrench though. Mateo to Almada. Almada going to pull full back out. Now Mateo is going to go for a cross. Goes to Kyle George. Oh, Delict got it out and he also fell. Bruno gets it out wide. Rashford gets the, gets the touch on Wrench there and the dribble into Hoyland. Hoyland gets it over. Just get it out. Okay, Castillo's will grab it. Oh, man. Bro, I've never been more nervous, I don't think. Almada's got options. Almada gets it over Mateo instead. Almada. Almada. They're laying off him. Goes for a shot, but it's going to be right at Costa. Okay, Rashford is going to be away here. Chitalo read that pass so well, though. Okay, Bastoni is on for Casemiro in the midfield. I don't know about that. But 84th minute, we got six minutes left of regular time. Both teams are looking for a winner. Great tackle on Hoyland. We got three minutes. Ramirez. Ramirez. Stop Ramirez. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, get it out, get it out. Okay, we get it out. 89th minute up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen turns. Kyle George is in. Kyle George is in to maybe win the Champions League final. And Costa makes the save. No. We were inches away from sealing it. Almada, cross in. Sammy doesn't get to it. Needs to. Okay, Taylor, that's good enough. That's wait. Is that a free kick? Is that a free kick to us? Oh, no, it's for them. I thought we had a free kick chance. Oh, man, is it going extra time? Are we going to extra time? Wait, they get a chance here? Okay, we go, we go to extra time. I thought he was going to get a chance there. Champions League final. We got 30 more minutes of this. We almost 
won it at the end though okay everyone's stamina doesn't look that bad so i'm not making any changes yet i literally can't believe we are in the champions league final right now and we're in extra time and it's 2-2 against eric ten Hag. up to jorgensen jorgensen see this is where tired legs are gonna start playing a factor here for both teams mateo mateo goes for a finesse shot is that gonna be a corner that's a corner tiago amada cross up jorgensen gets to it but it's over the net oh that header looked good amada to mateo come on we're young we got the fresher legs mateo out wide wrench gets it back to jorgensen oh no mateo was so free there we're literally so close it feels like all right jeremiah making a forward run into kenneth taylor he's gonna shoot man i accidentally didn't put any power on that oh we're getting nervous we're getting very nervous here we got five minutes left of this first half they're starting to press more so i'm getting scared of losing in a bad spot but if we break through it kenneth taylor chance to give ix the lead mateo we just hit the crossbar you gotta be joking with me almada will not win that but varela does varela to taylor in to Jorgensen. It's stopped by, I think, Sangade. Okay, good ball out. Okay, we got to defend this, boys. Jeremiah might have the pace on Holland. He might, might, might not. He's in the box. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Chitalo, double tackle. They're going to come back in. Long shot. Castiles will make the save. This might be the craziest Champions League final I've ever played. Corner to end the first half extra time. That's going to be weirdly. Taylor collects it. Taylor. Let's get it out, Taylor. Okay, Taylor, what was that? I don't know what that was. But we're going to the second half extra time. Bro, we hit the crossbar. We are so close. It feels like to winning this. We are so close. I got to make a sub, I feel like, but I don't want to take anyone off. Like, Mateo's almost scored. Taylor's almost scored. They're the most tired players. I think I leave it because I, I don't think I can't take off Mateo. He has looked dangerous all game long. And we got 15 more minutes of this. All right, working around the back. Find the outlet. In to Tiago. Almada finesse shot. Oh, the shot had no power on it though. Okay, Anthony's on. I didn't realize that. Bruno gets it over. This looks semi dangerous. Gets it back. Gets it. Okay, Castillos, please. Okay, Castillos, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me in the Champions League final. Varela up to Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Oh, try to play risky pass. Taylor. Taylor blocks it, but it's gonna go right to Bastoni. Davies. Davies gets it over. Okay, Wilson gets it over to Anthony. Gets it. Get it right back to him. Anthony in the box. Doing skills, of course. Find all good defending. We're gonna get it out. Ball will fall. No, Bruno. Oh my, Bruno puts it wide. Oh my, my life just flashed right before my eyes. We got three minutes here. Do we have one final attack? Ball up to Taylor. Taylor, we need something. Taylor, we'll grab it. Almada is making a good run. Almada shoots first time. Mateo almost gets to it. Ball is there. It's gonna get clear. Taylor, we get the final chance. Okay, we get the final chance here. Taylor, Varela swings it over. Wrench into Tiago. Almada stops. Plays it back. Varela shoots. Jorgensen volley. It's going to be cleared. And oh man, we are going to a penalty shootout. Bro, I can't. I cannot believe this final. I can't take the stress of this. We were so close to scoring there. They were too. Champions League final versus United versus Eric Tanag is going to go down to penalties. I, I cannot believe this. Okay. They have by far the better penalty shooters, which is not good. I'm going to do Kyle George first, then Mateo, then Almada, then Jorgensen, then Varela. Let's do that. I can't believe this, but penalty shootout to decide the Champions League final. First penalty, Bruno Fernandez, Castiles needs to save it. It's going to go in the back of the net. Okay. One nail to United. Kyle George. We are going top right, top right, and into the back of the net. Marcus Rashford, he's going to go, he's going to go right. I thought he was going left. Matteo Cancelidi, we are going right again, and Costa makes the save. Callum Wilson will go left, and he hits the post. Tiago Almada, come on, we got to score this. Tiago, we're going left, got to score it, we score it. Pellegrini will go. Oh, he went down the middle, what a penalty. We got to tie this up right here, Jorgensen. Sammy Jorgensen, top right into the back of the net. Anthony, from the penalty spot, Castiles makes the save. We are one penalty away. Alan Barella to win Ajax. The Champions League final goes in the back of the net, and we've actually done it. Ajax win the Champions League, the first since 1995. I can't believe, well, I can't believe what I've just seen. That is one of the best Champions League finals of all time for me. Maybe the best. And Alan Varela and Castillos are the main heroes today, at least in the penalty shootout. I can't believe that we just beat Eric Ten Hag. We just won the Champions League with Ajax. The fact that the game was that close went down to penalties. That is like one of the greatest games of FIFA ever on this channel. And it ends with us winning the treble air divisi the knvb becker cup whatever it's called and then the champions league i'll say it for like the fifth time this season saying we want to win the champions league is one thing but doing it is a whole nother thing and i cannot believe that we just did it jeremiah saint just will lift the champions league 
for Ajax in our home stadium too, in front of the home fans. This might be my favorite Champions League win ever on this channel. I can't believe we just won it like that. The late winner against Atletico Madrid, the late winner against Chelsea. Like this Champions League run was just full of magic. Like the definition of recapturing that Ajax magic. Bro, into Miami to Anderlecht to Ajax and we've won the Champions League. How incredibly special is that? And with such a young team, this team will forever be known as one of the greatest Champions League teams of all time. And talk about young players, Kyle George, Jorgensen, Mateo, Almada, Taylor, they're all young players. We have achieved the ultimate dream and I can't believe it. One last time, Ajax Champions League winners. I am still in shock. And would you look at that Ajax treble tops, winning the Becker Cup, the Eredivisie, and also the Champions League. It's a season nobody connected with Ajax is ever likely to forget. We just literally wrote ourselves into the history books. Wherever our career takes us, this might be the most special moment we'll remember. Just doing the most unlikely thing with this team. And now after that, you gotta imagine that we just became the most coveted manager in world football. Every team is gonna wanna hire us. But final stats, Almada 36 and 18, Jorgensen 28 and 11, Kyle George 17 and 5, Taylor 13 and 23. The ages of our top scorers 25, 22, 24, 24, 23, 26. Such a young team and I can't believe we got it done. Now, winners of the Europa League is going to be Arsenal won the Europa League. Conference League is won by uh, AC Milan. So, out of curiosity, the Premier League was won by Liverpool. So, United finished fourth. Oh, man. That's a rough season for Tenog, honestly. Um, Dortmund actually won the league in the Bundesliga. And then Barcelona win the league in Spain with uh, Thiago Messi. I still can't believe that we just did that. Like, we are now in the history books as one of the best teams in Champions League history. But now, what is next for us in our career? Now, when the summer started, the first thing we had to do was sit down with Eric Tenhog. And he said, if I was to lose to any man in the world, any team. Although it hurts, I'm glad it was you. I'm glad it was Ajax. And then a few weeks later, we're back home and we are starting to pack our stuff up because we are no longer going to be living in this house, no longer living in the Netherlands. Us and Fergie are going to be on the move again, this time as the most coveted coach in world football with our status right now. So we get a call from David Beckham. And after a while of talking, he says, where are you going to go next? And we tell Beckham, we have a good idea. We are going to the most competitive football league on the planet. And that is coming very soon. But drop a like if you enjoyed this one. I'd appreciate it so much. I'm um, on screen is a video that you probably will like. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.